like for instance, there's probably gonna be a podcast. Me and Laura are gonna be on this. And Down. I'll tell you, it'll be sexual in here. Down. What? What? It's awesome because like Alright. Three, two, one, go. Guess who's coming to dinner? <laughs> we're alive. <laughs> Woo! Oh fucking hell. We're up. We're up. Here we go. We're buzzing. This is it. Gotta say, sweet setup. Yeah, thank thank you. Sweet setup. Thank you, thank you. Good setup we got going on. <laughs> Just ask your yeah, sister do that? I did it, actually. Oh, yeah? Hey, I spray painted it, and then uh, the spray paint was bleeding onto it, so I took a hand brush, took my sister's hand paint, and then I uh, yeah, went over it again. It's not bad, eh? I like it. I have a lot of big fans liking this shit right now. Yeah? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you do. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. They better like this shit. Better like this shit. Um... Daniel Haystead, everybody. What up? Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Haystead underscore fitness. That's the fitness page if you want to get lean, mean body cuisine. <laughs> <laughs> the cuisine cuisine. That's it. That's it. And then regular handle, just at Haystead. There you go. That's it. Yeah. That's it. I wish I would put something in there for you. Love it. We'll Good to be it. here. Link in the description. Link in the description. Yeah, I always yeah. wanted to say link in the description. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> link in bio. <laughs> Fuck yeah, link in bio. <laughs> Gotta say, I, Jay's been showing me that all these fucking podcasts for like weeks now, and yeah, it's yeah. like, can we just fucking get to it? Yeah. Get me on already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid wanted to get in quick. Yeah. Real quick. Good way to start the day. Good pump downstairs. Yes. Pre game. Good, good, yeah, good yeah, meal. Yeah. Good meal after. Woo. Yeah. yeah. No. In your ear. Every time uh, Jay says he showed it to you guys uh, while you're working, and he says you get you give us good feedback, it's really nice to hear. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's good. To hear. It's really nice to hear because we have no idea. We haven't showed anybody. I like the setup. The setup's fucking. Mad. Setup's nice. Eh? I was not expecting this. <laughs> this was not no, expected. No. He thought it was in uh, one of the other rooms in the oh, house. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. It's like I didn't know it was in your bedroom. bedroom. Yeah. It's I in the bedroom. I come in here. It looks like a fucking studio. We got like <laughs> shit <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, sure. You guys can't see, but there's pads everywhere. Yeah, yeah. We've sound. talked a couple of times about couple. it. Yeah. Oh, all right. <laughs> Fuck me, right? No, you're good. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get a pan view at one point. No, probably not, but... So you it have to be on it. Keep it a miss. Yeah, get on it. And then you can see it. Strictly hot birds. Yeah, yeah. It's one step closer to the bedroom. Well, it's actually just in the bedroom. <laughs> it's in the bedroom. That's why we did it. Casting couch. <laughs> That's yeah, be Big things fun. can happen in here. <laughs> Big things, honey. Yeah, yeah. Could be real weird. I really like these pineapple neutrals. Hey, right? Shit, good choice. Really good choice. Zero sugar, zero carbs, lower the calories. Right up your alley. Right up right? my fucking alley. <laughs> right up my alley. There's so much shit on this table right now. There's a lot. Holy. Booze and neck. It's called nice. necessities, if you ask yeah. me. Yeah. And then, of course, hydration. Mammoth mug. Get yours to Popeyes. <laughs> it's an advertising fucking episode. This guy's a walking promotion. I like it. Talk, okay. I like it a lot. You're good. I was like, uh, we were showering, not together. <laughs> <laughs> too, too bad. And I'm like, it might be a little awkward at the start. Usually, my, me and Jay started off, and it's a little awkward. He goes, no, 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 don't worry. I'm coming out the gate with so much energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I'm coming out, balls on the table. Sorry, whoops. And like, we're just gonna go yeah, ride yeah. it out. That's it. Everything Body sounds energy. good. Yeah, you feel comfy. I like it. Good. Buzzing like Jake O'Muzzin. Let's start. Sorry, who? Jake Muzzin. Defenseman for the Leafs? Come on, man. Come on. Don't watch. He doesn't. Don't watch he, doesn't. he doesn't. I live under a rock. He's at Markland when, we, uh, when I went with Ricky. Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, him, uh, downtown Connor Brown. Uh, <laughs> someone else. I can't remember the other two were, but yeah. Two of them were there. Oh, Freddie and then somebody else. Freddie, eh? Fred Anderson. Bro, Freddie was on my sister's line for a bit there. Crazy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We bugged her so much. Yeah, you could just ditch Keaton and go go hook hey, up with Freddie. Yeah, we need we need free leaf tickets. Me and Rachel were up our alley. All I know Rachel would have right up that. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah. Leafs fan. Dude, Holy. this was a few Christmases ago and he snapchatted her on Christmas Eve and we were all at Rachel's house and her brother Daniel, huge Leafs fan. And we showed him, and he like audibly just going like a little girl. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I dude. How old is Freddie, anyways? He's twenty. He's not. Yeah, he's. 20. They're all around our age. Right? Around like, a lot of hockey age, players are around our yeah. age. You know. That's yeah. That's very true. You got the young guns coming in this season. Too bad they shit the pooch in the playoffs. Oh, as always. As always. As Fucking always. standard. As always, classic Leafs. Whatever. What are you gonna do? 
This is definitely not a sports podcast. We no. do not care about sports that yeah, much. Yeah, no. I'm not going to give a fuck. <laughs> Unless it's football. Eh, even. No, basketball. Basketball is cool. Big ball fan. Big ball fan. Since the, since the Raptors got into the playoffs, it's been everybody that Big doesn't news. watch basketball. Freddie Van playing. Fleet just signed a four-year, $86 million contract extension with the Raptors. Bro, $86 million, $86 million for million. four years? Is that what six was? $20 yeah, million that. Dollars a year? A year for $21 Freddie. million dollars a year? Freddie Van Jesus Fleet went undrafted. Christ. Good for you, kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, just think about that. What, is, what the fuck's his name? Pat Mahomes? Mahomes? Pat Mahomes. Yeah, yeah. 500 million. million for what? Uh, 10 years. Fuckers our age. Who's this? Football player. Uh, uh, quarterback yeah, football's for the crazy. Chiefs. Oh, football's yeah. crazy. Making a half a billion to throw a fucking ball? Yeah, yeah. Good for you, bud. Sign me up, right? right? Fuck. Buddy, I make $1,300 by weekly. Sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? Slinging the wine. That's it. If you need any wine, wine online. Slinging the vino. I'm your guy. Are we getting into this? <laughs> that bitch. Like, <laughs> are we getting into it? Are we getting into it? <laughs> okay, what's going on with this girl at work? What the fuck's going? Hey, let me on? tell you. How much time you have? I got four hours. Let me tell you, it's it's ridiculous. This so first of all, so Pat will come late. Like maybe we've talked about Pat. Ten, ten minutes. Yeah, Pat McTavish, just a guy. Great you guys guy. Know. Great yeah. guy. Great dude. <laughs> but Pat will show up like ten minutes late, but he had to go pick up Luke, who's the other guy we work with. It's like it's ten minutes. It's I get it, you're late, but still ten minutes, bro. This bird walks in. What was it like? Forty five <laughs> minutes late. Yeah. Forty five minutes late. And I guarantee you, nobody said a fucking word to her. She shows up, goes, "Is my truck loaded?" I don't fucking know. Go check yourself. <laughs> you want me to go about it? And then when the boss goes, yeah, your truck's always goes, all right, see you later. It just dips. Like, you know what? Why? I don't know. Is she's she just... the only girl in the company? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. What do you think? Why is this? <laughs> I feel like she just has this power complex because she, she... Is she banging the boss? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> late, <laughs> late night hours, you know? Yeah, who knows? We don't know, honestly. She could be. I don't know. But it's like, I, she just has this, she expects things. Yeah. It's like, don't expect shit from me. Unless it's a dick in your mouth, but. Wow. You know? Fuck. Unless it's a dick in your mouth. This is dick in mouth. Oh, just fucking bullshit. She just comes on late and all that shit. Do you guys ever have to do shit for her? Oh, yeah, we load all her. All the time. Come on. All every day. They make the boss makes you guys do shit for her. Yep. Yeah, we load her fucking truck. We load it's her like, truck. All right, everyone... You can't even say no, eh? Well, no. Well, it's the can't. boss, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. boss, you'll fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever we... throw him a, like, a funny comment? Like, I don't know if I want to do that today. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I want to do that today. That's a bit. We, you know what I'm saying? We did, but like, one of our drivers went inside and it was like, yo, uh, do you want to like help us load up your vans? And she's like, ha, ha, ha. And we did, she didn't come outside. Yep. She sits on her phone. <laughs> Fuck. The man. least she could do is sit there and like maybe just read the cases out to us so we know we're putting in the truck. Just no, that doesn't Nothing. even happen. Nothing. Is she she just sits looking? inside on her phone. I <laughs> I don't think she looks hot. She got an ass. She got ass. She's she's okay. What By all means, I wouldn't you, say no. What but do you think? He said, "Is she okay? She's good looking." Say come see come sa. See come sa. Come see come sa. She's, she's okay. She's got a butt working. Still, it's not the fucking point. It's not the point. It's not the point. Years ago, women got these fucking rights to be equal with men. Here Pick we up go. a fucking case then. <laughs> You're working in a wine business. I see her lugging two cases at a time. Yeah, yeah. That's 65 pounds. Dude, she played professional hockey. Well, not professional hockey. Really? In the she KHL. Good... KHL. Wow. Or, oh, okay. Yeah. No, professional hockey. Yeah. yeah. So she knows what she's doing. What does that stand for? I don't know. Some kind of European hockey league. I think it's Russia, right? Yeah. Or they make big bucks England? out there. Yeah, yeah. Big of bucks. Yeah. yeah, it makes some money. Those communist countries. Right, but that's another story. That's, <laughs> that's for another story. Right, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It just rubs me the wrong way. It's like for fuck's sakes, like. Oh, and then, yeah, okay, a little background story. Yeah. I like the whole shit. Obviously, you know how the business runs. So we have different sections where we deliver wines. So we got West, which is like, Mississauga, Oakville, all that shit. Tobacco, no, yeah, yeah. Mid North is like North Toronto, Mid South, which is like Young and Young and Saint Clair area. Then you got Scarborough, and then you got downtown Toronto. All I want to do with Jay is just to do West Etobicoke around at least twice a week. That's it. Why, why, why? Why do you like it's that safe. area? That's nice. It's, it's safe. A, it's it's a safe. Etobicoke West. Yeah. What's not you to live like? here. You live here. You, you drive around. Here. It's nice. Nice to look at. Nice view. Open. Everything. No traffic. Right? That's it. Yeah. No, like it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Fucking awesome, man. I'm, all like, I'm like, ask my boss, yo, send us east and west. I'll think about it. <laughs> well, fuck you mean you'll think it's about it. Think about it. Been with the company for over a year. Like, send us the, there for fuck's sake. She comes in every fucking day. West to Tobco, goes Niagara. J Dan, Mid South. 
Fuck that place. All man. the time. All the fucking Not even time once a week you get west? We maybe. Maybe. We may, like, if we get, if we get west it's once a, a week, day. it's a good week. It's a good That's day. a good, yeah. Like, you know what the it. fucking kicker is? Because usually they send a telecode west together. They will still find a way to throw a fucking mid south in there. It's like, come on, boys. What, do you, do? what do you mean? They'll give you both? Oh, they'll give us mid south, Toko, and West. At one day, in one day. Yeah. One day. Wow, so you'll be all over the place. Yeah. Wow. I fucked. mean, kudos. Like, I mean, kudos to West because like, because we were a two man team and everyone else is a one man team. Yeah, so yeah. that is good. We can destroy a day. Like, you give us like a fucking sixty five deliveries. We're doing it. Yeah. We're but doing good at the same ball. time, it's like, just throw it West, man. Yeah. What's the boss like? He's great. Ozzy, great. He's, he's good, yeah. Man. He's good, dude. Shout out Danny Bick. Danny Bick. <laughs> Bick's Pickles. Yeah, yeah. And shout out John. John! You know? The brother. Yeah. Ozzy, great fucking Is job. Is it a brother company? Brother on company? It's a family owned company, yeah. yeah so, sure. also the creators of Bick's Pickles. Yeah. But, yeah. um, no, yeah, he's a fucking sick boss. It's yeah, a great, it's a great job. I can't, as it's much as we bitch and complain, we can't. I work with one of my best friends day in, day out. We listen to podcasts, listen to music, we fuck around. Watch Lucifer. Great show. Great, <laughs> great show. show. Great show. So, yeah, it's, it's a sick job. It's good. Just us. Those little nicks and crannies that just fucking piss me off. Yeah. Who's, a, who's a better boss, Rob or uh, Danny? Is his name? His name's Danny? Danny. Yeah. Dude, they're both on the same line. They're on the same they're line. Are they both chill. shooters like that? They're, yeah. Okay, okay. So I know a little bit then. Yeah. Rob's our boss from uh, a different moving company uh, Hayes and I worked at that a couple years ago. That was uh, Avenue Moving. I would take Rob more as like he wanted to be on our level. Like he was more <laughs> trying to act young with us yeah, and saying yeah. like young shit. This boss doesn't really – he tries to in- integrate with us, but me and Jay like – Yeah. Rob was a shooter. Yeah, yeah, Big, yeah. strong guy, fucking confident as hell. Yeah, he's yeah, a boxer. He was a shooter, yeah, yeah. 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 He wanted to come on vacation with us. This guy travels all the time. Fucking they didn't fucking pay for it, dude. Make it six digits. Yeah, yo, take us all on a vacation. What the fuck? Yeah, fuck, man. Right? Bring horse along. I love that. Oh, guy. That guy was fucking amazing. Jamaican king. Yeah. Is that the, that's the, the Niga? <laughs> yeah, yeah, black people are fucking amazing. They're awesome. Yo, man. on the last podcast, Jay gave us the black card. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Got Can it, you yeah. believe it? No, I, th- I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> 20 years as friends. I hope yeah, so. Yeah, you got the card. Don't yeah. Sure. <laughs> I had a black guy deliver me food yesterday. His name is Musa. Great guy. Well, Didn't he's say- noir, eh? Musa. <laughs> we ordered for like Uber Eats and just told him just to like drop it at the door and he dropped it at the door. I was like, thanks, boss. He's like, no problem, man. Or whatever your Jamaican accent yeah. sounds like. Sorry, I butched that, yeah. Well, fuck yourself. As if Jay's but, Jamaican. Jay's not Jamaican. He's Dutch. Black. I'm Dutch, but yeah, I get you. Going. Yeah. Go, go on. But yeah, that's, that's all I have to say. Okay. I think uh, no, you get some shooters that are uh, some like Uber Eats people that are, they, they can hang. Couple shooters sometimes. Yeah, and some of them just fuck up the order and just yeah, forget about like, all your food. Yeah, I ordered two pizzas. Here's one and a lasagna. I didn't order a lasagna. I didn't. I didn't Is it order. quick? Is Uber Eats quick? I got a burrito and a burrito bowl yesterday from Bar Burrito, and it took about forty minutes for it to come. Do you guys know anything about how they make money? Who? Like, I okay, because I've wondered that myself. Okay, because delivery charges for the longest time have always been very cheap. Mm. Yeah, right, max. Te- yeah. yeah. What? Max ten dollars, right? Let's say for like um, like a slice of pizza or whatever. Yeah. You're, yeah. But now you're putting another middleman in there, and they have to get paid for this, and the company still gets paid for sure. Yeah. So like, do you guys like how do they make money? Like how many deliveries do you got to do to you make some some one. good cash? Yeah, just a sh- just, oh, just a little one. Damn it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. When we ordered food, you're good, Jay. there's at least yeah. There's at least like four service fees for this shit, but like I never order Uber Eats, so like they constantly send me, take this discount here, discount here. So I'm like, fuck, why not? Why Save not? Money. Yeah. For everybody's in ten years, nobody's gonna leave their home for anything, <laughs> for nothing. Well, nothing. especially not right now because yeah. of COVID. Fuck this. Thing. I don't leave my house. Did it all close down free. again? Did everything close Monday, down again? Monday, everything's what the yeah. fuck? Everything closed. Hey, so how do you feel? Health Canada, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fucking idiots. On it, like, I guess we're fucking idiots. Like, They're not on top of the ball. Do you think they no. came to check if I was quarantining? No. You know what they did? They sent me an automated message a weekend. They go, we really hope you're enjoying your quarantine. We just want to let you know that the second week is just as important as the first week. So please do your part to not spread COVID. Automated message. I fucking hung the shit up and I went outside. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like, statistics show like 5% comes from gyms. COVID cases come from gyms. You shut the gyms off for 28 days. COVID case is still for fucking 1,500 arising from there. Yeah. What do these fuckwads do? Let's shut it all down. Yeah, yeah. The gyms must be the problem as well. Dude, in the last two weeks, like how many, because you go to the gym. 
how many people are in the gym at any one time? Dude, so it, they opened up at 30 as max capacity at an hour. Then it went to 30 max capacity, 75 minutes. Nice. And then lockdown happened and they reopened up this past week and it was 10 for 50 minutes. Who the fuck's working out at 50 10 minutes? In that big gym. Right? And then Nobody's after, getting COVID. Yeah. And you had to wear masks all the time. Yeah. I was doing leg day with a mask on. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah. I was passed out. Did you put your nose out at least? Oh, I took the fucking mask. Oh, out. yeah? <laughs> Nobody's there walking around. Fuck them. But, uh, yeah, no, they're stupid. Health oh. Canada and Four Nation. John Tour, you guys are stupid. Oh. Like, honestly. Open the fucking gyms. Like, honestly, yeah, I like the gyms because, like, I want to be, stay fit and all that. But if you go deeper into it, like, there's health benefits. Like, I think so. Helps with depression and all kinds of shit. So. Yeah, yeah, it keeps you clear, it keeps yeah. you sane. Keeps you sane. For sure. <laughs> we don't know how Jay lives, honestly. He doesn't go to the gym. Yeah, no, fuck you live, period. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we actually thought you might be in the hospital. We, you didn't answer one call. We're like, all right, if he's in the hospital, what are we going to do? Are we going to go get him? And we all talked to the table, me, Hasted, and Julia. And we decided, or mostly I decided, I go, I'm walking into that hospital. I'm saying, I really need to speak to Jay Better. It's life or death situation. Mm -hmm. They would let me in. I'd be like, Jay, get the fuck out of this hospital. We need to film a yeah. podcast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, it was good. I literally, I woke yeah. up, like woke up, turned over. I was just like, oh, let's do it. I actually felt okay today. I wasn't too hunkover. I wasn't bad. I mean, I ended up having a night. Should I be taking this yeah, shot? Yeah, of course. Fuck. Cheers. Nos Cheers. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah, I end up having those ones Sorry, where I keep hitting your shit. You're good, buddy. You know, you get back, you think the night's done. Hey, send me a monster, buddy. It's not even close Honor to being to. done. Ooh. Dude, what'd when you I, say? What's not close to being done? No, no, like, you know, you, you think the night's done, like it's over? Yeah. Like, I didn't have the plan to go to Renef's after, after I left here, but I got a call from. Oh, who called me, actually? Somebody called me, but they're like, I come to Renef's. So I was like, Who's there? They're like, oh, people. I was like, okay. Showed up. Fucking everyone's there. I'm like, hey, LC man. was there. LC was good there. Good looking girl. Yeah, good looking girl. Can't She's complain. Good. Looking like a snack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was KO'd in the car yesterday. You were saying goodbye to me? I, I yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you later. I was just on it. My phone was actually blown up crazy late last night. Yeah. So I was, I was literally, even in the whole ride home. Yo, I, is, I, want, I wanted to ask you, is it like a lot of pressure? I don't know if I asked you this on the last podcast because I don't remember the end of it. But mm -hmm. is it a lot of pressure to, ha to entertain all these different groups of friends and people? Not really. No, you don't think so? No, because I, I just do it at my own pace and yeah. I do it, right? So if someone's yeah. annoying me or something like that, or it's just like, don't I don't I don't even, yeah. yeah. I, it becomes a problem because then clearly these people start calling other people looking for me yeah. as you know very well <laughs> fuck it sounds stressful though eh like if you were in jay's position it's honestly impressive how you're it like is. you're it like is. you're the fucking nucleolus not even the nucleus Yo, for you're real. the fucking nucleolus of this. <laughs> <laughs> like you have the main thing and then you have <laughs> the deeper part like, that's you man like, yeah yeah fuck. it keeps yeah. it together yo we we've accumulated a lot of friends because of Jay. Yeah. We would never hang out with Rod and Rig anymore, man, if it wasn't because of Jay. We would never fucking see him, man. Do you think we would facilitate a spike ball night? No. Yeah, fuck that. Never. Yeah. I've been hanging out with Rig a lot more, though. Oh, yeah? yeah we did a movie night, what was it, three weeks ago or some shit? With the two girls? No, just, no, just me and him. Yeah, really? yeah, we did uh, Adam Slam. Rig really needs a friend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that kid. Yeah, yeah I like him, too. And Red, too, but different schedules. It's hard. Yeah. Don't blame him, man. With a girlfriend, it's hard. Like even for you guys, like, I'm always with my girlfriend all the fucking time too. She's How does that feel like? Honestly, <laughs> she's <it's>, great. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it's good. We have a hey, good. Laura. <laughs> we uh, we have a good uh, balance. So yeah. like, I'll be with her mainly, mainly like every fucking day. But Thursdays, because I was back in the army, like I was always at the army on Thursdays. So we just decided like Thursdays are like my me day kind of thing. You need it. You need a little downtime. I also want to catch up with my parents because like I'm literally. Work nine to five. Don't see my parents. I come home. I work out with her till five thirty to six thirty. I still don't see my parents. By the time I go, drop her off, go back home seven, shower seven fifteen, eat, and then leave again at like eight thirty. I'm like with my parents for like an hour. Yeah. yeah. So I need my time with my friends too, and like she understands that, so it's it's good. Yeah. 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 Great girl. Hot. Like it, it is definitely okay. You've been um like kind of in a relationship for many many years, so I guess you don't have a lot of time where you're single with your friends, but. Do you miss it at all? Do you uh, think like girlfriends or just being in a relationship, not to the person specifically, but just being in a relationship causes you to spend less time with your friends? Like, what do you feel about it? Does it bother no, you? I've been in a relationship where it's like, 
No, no, no. You see, yeah, yeah. you see your best friends all the time. Spend yeah. more time with me. Remember with that after work? Easy, honey. You can't yeah. go play ping pong with Matt. <laughs> Easy. You worked all day with him. What? Yeah, what? Easy. you're with him all the time. Why do you need to chill with him at nighttime? There's a big fucking difference, difference between work and then just doing like just chilling, just hanging yeah. out. It's we want to play ping energy, pong, man. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. It's a different kind of energy, yeah. honestly. It's like you know. But yeah, no, Laura's not like that. No, she's fucking, she's bent. Yeah, you know, she's chill. Also, again, she's older than me too, which is. She's one year, right? Yeah. 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 She's she's bent. She's awesome. It's like dating myself, but in a woman. <laughs> <laughs> we have like we have like the same kind of personality, so it's fucking bent. Yeah. yeah. Just, Dude, like, really yo, bad. it also really helps when the person you're dating has their own social group and yeah. friends to hang out with. Cause then you're not like their only outlet for mm-hmm. like time. Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, for sure. I think it, it, it's hard to work if, uh, if it's not like that. Well, that's funny. Like you saying, um, Lauren's like the, like the female version of you, you guys are like the same. Yeah. So I feel the same about like Rig and Bianca. Those two are like, Oh yeah. yeah the they're same. so weird. They're, they're the similar. They're so weird. <laughs> they're the same you person. You gotta love it. It's crazy. They I love all, it. They man. feed off each other. They do. It's, it's awesome. Yeah. Man. Like for instance, there's probably gonna be a podcast. Me and Laura are gonna be on this. And Down. I'll tell you, it'll be sexual in here. Down. What? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy goes, Down. What? <laughs> it's awesome because like those who like don't know us, and then you see us like going out and we start drinking or everything. You'll know like we're very like sexual together. Like the amount, the yeah, amount yeah. of times I have yeah. to tell you this. You're is a, a sexual guy. A, we know it. This is a public place. Guy, yeah. this, this is a public. This is a public place, Laura. You know yeah. the. Yes, I've told you multiple times. It's okay, honey. <laughs> She likes to get down there. <laughs> she likes it. to have fun. She's That's a great it. girl. Yeah, yeah, it's good. But, um, yeah, no, everybody kind of just accepts us for that kind. People call us mom and dad, too, because obviously, like, not even with our group, but, like, with another group, or, like, our rave crew. Yeah, like, yeah. We're, like, the oldest, older ones, so they call us mom and dad, which is kind of funny because we're not fucking taking care of anybody. No, 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 no. Figure it out. But, but at the cottage, when we were all on mushrooms, you guys were taking care of nobody. <laughs> no. Zero people. <laughs> Dude, I was in my own fucking bad spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was in a couple of bad spots. Get edited in post, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> you knew exactly what went in my you head. You know me, I know me. Oh, I like this. is going down well. I like this monster. This is good. I Can I try it. that? Buddy, it's zero sugar. I got it specifically for you, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't drink one of these it's fucking good. It's good. Or... Since we are like in high school. No, yeah, maybe high school, like going to Pizza Pizza or elementary school, thinking we were top shit, getting an energy drink. Remember that was like yeah. the threshold of like, oh yeah, yeah, we're getting an energy <laughs> drink. Right That's now. cool, the, man. The, yeah. the full throttles. Holy fuck, I remember those yeah, ones. Yeah, yo, those are orange and blue. Those <sighs> ones are good. Those are good. It's a sugary one. There's no sugar. All that it's aspartame a... shit. Yeah, aspartame's a fucking fickle bitch. <sighs> Should we uh, talk a little bit about? Our our past, our histories as friends. What do you guys think? Oh, the way back playback. The way uh, back. How many years have we known each other? I All s- of us. Okay, well, I say twenty. Matt, did we really start school at four? Yeah, yeah. four years old. I started four. Uh, did? Kindergarten, yeah. Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Yeah, you're six. four in JK. No. You're six. No, you're four in JK. You're five in SK. Or the is it two thousand two thousand one? I have a baby picture when I was in my first day, but I forget what, what year it was. It would have been. Bottom line is nineteen or twenty fucking years. <clears throat> nineteen or twenty years, yeah. a long time. Man. A long Yo, time. nobody ever comes close. You no, always tell man. people. Yeah. No, everyone's like, "That's amazing. That's so crazy." It was like, "How do you guys stay friends for so long?" I was like, "How the fuck don't you stay yeah, friends right? for that long?" I don't fucking know. I was even who was I talking when I used to talk to Josie. She was saying her and then one of the other chicks that were at Cuba. She's like, "Yeah, I've been friends." With, she's saying how like uh, Al, Al, Alvi or Alvaro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alvi. Um, she's like, yeah, we've been best friends for so long. I go, bet you haven't been best, like, good friends longer than the three of us have. She goes, well, we've been friends for, uh, I think she said something like 15 years. How long yeah. have you guys been friends? I was like, at the time, I think it was 18. She goes, yeah, you got me there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course we got you there. Come at me. Nah, we've been, uh, elementary school together, high school together, and then we parted ways at university, but we all live really close to each other, which is what keeps us yeah. locked. And again, yeah. I do think Jay has kept us all locked in with other people because it's not stagnant. Like we're able to hang out with a lot of other people. That makes it easy for us to continue to hang out in a different dynamic. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know, it just, it continues to work. And I think the personalities drive together. Like, yo, we don't, we have a friendship, us three, and then we have a friendship, me and yeah. I said, you guys have a friendship, and then me and Jay have a friendship. Yeah. And I think that's what works too, man. Yeah, it's perfect, yeah. right? Man, even, if, even when we weren't together, we were all in school and shit. You think we weren't finding our asses wherever you were? Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I would come down sometimes, meet you guys at the at the universities. You know what's yeah. funny was uh, um the one night when uh we were at the the park over there just dancing like clowns at six in the morning. 
I remember we were like, this is going to be our last time together because everyone's going to university next week. You weren't even with us. We called you. You're at the cottage. Dude, yeah. I was so depressed that day. Yeah, we're, like, we're never going to see each other again. I swear to God, I think we all went to Guelph the following week yeah. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, but it was true. It was like, okay, grade 12, you're together with your friends the most out of any year of high school. For sure. Because Absolutely. you got prom proposals, you got prom, you got your school started to decline. Time. Yeah, what a time. What a time. And great. then high school, we were all together regardless. But yeah, in grade 12, we were really together. And that summer, we were like, we went to Montreal together. We hung out every day. We had parties here all the time. We were all hanging out all Mint. the time. Mint. And so that, that like last day, we were all, we were like, we, we recognized this was the last time we were all going to hang out before we all go to university. And yo, it was a sad time because we were all fucking like, you know, we were on one. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, without, I remember you guys without call- too many details. I remember you guys called me. I was at my cottage. It was like fucking like one in the morning or some shit, and you guys come like yo what up? And you're like yo, we're all miss you and everything. And I'm like, fuck guys, I miss you too, man. I'm up here in my college. Yeah, I'm so yeah. lonely. All I hear is my dad from the other room. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Try to sleep. <laughs> oh my god, that's yo. hilarious. Yeah. And we did see each other. Like, yeah. Week after. Yeah. You guys did. all went to fucking uh, festival. Frost fest. Yeah, me, you, and Tamara. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was a that was a night. The love I remember time. fucking uh Tamara texted me and tried to get me down. I'm like, I had it in my head so rigidly that I wanted to go to Windsor and stay at school by myself for at least two weeks to get like immersed in it. But that first week she was like, Come down and I was like so reluctant to and I didn't come down, but I was thinking back afterwards, I'm like, I should have came down. There should have been no reason that I didn't to see everybody. <laughs> yeah. It was a good festival. Yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. fun. It was uh I lost my shirt, that's whatever. But you know. We, that me was... and Tam called in sick on the first day of school. Yo. Yeah, I, 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 I had a job you for You guys all that hung day. out together. You yeah. guys all went to her house and hung out. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, well, we went to my house. I didn't have my key. I was like, fuck. I'm like, Jay, where are you? He's like, man, I just left that Jamie Jay, I, I, I just like, left the chick's house. I was like, all right, well, come to my That's house. That's a story. Yeah. And then wow. uh, we, t- we text Tam. We're like, Tam, you up? Yeah, I can't sleep. Can we come over? <laughs> it wasn't sure. I can't sleep. It was... Well, she goes, well, I turn on my shower, and I've been sitting outside the shower staring at the water for 20 minutes, so I think I need someone here with me now. I go, yeah, we'll come. No problem. <laughs> go there, stay the night, wake up. It's like 10 a.m. We all look at each other. Don't we have somewhere to go? We're like, yeah. Are we going to go? Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Fuck That's man. what I missed, man. That was a good group of people. Great, that man. was fun. That was great. That grade 12 year when we graduated was just oh, what right? a time, man. Grade 12 <laughs> was a fucking oh. joke. Dude. We had so many parties here. I remember Riviglia always jumping off of the top of my kitchen, yeah. doing dives into the pool. Yeah, yeah, we got yeah. so fucked up, man. We talked a couple of times about those nights, man. Like, <sighs> fuck. Those are fucked up times. Mm-hmm. Now we're mature out here, making money. Are we? I don't know. Are we? <laughs> now we have a podcast. Mature during the week. Now we're doing this. Delinquents at night. Delinquents at yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. On the weekend. Whoa. <laughs> God. For instance, today, like tonight, we're getting into one or what? I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm part. down. I mean, I'm, part, down. I'm down. I've already sent the invites. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was all reaching, anyways. Me, you, you. I asked Rig, told him to bring B, Laura, and uh, yeah. Mom cracked down after could, these after these cases went up. Mom did cracked she? down. No more than six people in your friend group. No, <laughs> chill, ma. Yo, my parents aren't like that thing. My dad just whispers to me. Don't worry about it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, did you? Yeah. Terry, dude? Yeah. We gave Terry the guy card so yeah, quick. Yeah. Yeah. That guy's just a guy. Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's a shooter. He, he leaves me in the dust. Yeah. Always yeah. bringing Terry's shots guy, down man. for us. Well, every time he brings a fucking shot down, next thing I know, I'm like six feet deep in a toilet. You never want to take it. No. Because you know. You yeah, know you it's going to yeah, fuck you, you up. Fucked, yeah. Because I, I hear we are drinking beer and like fucking whiskey. Yeah, you're getting, you're, getting, you're, yeah. you're getting it slowly. You're, you're getting drunk slowly. Yeah, that's my go-to. It's nice. I'm an old man with beer and whiskey. Then my dad comes down with fucking butterscotch schnapps and red velvet. Like, yeah. Here. Are you fucked? Sugar through the roof. Ask Case said. No, I got to drive. Okay, I'll take a, a half one. So not yet. But uh, yeah. No, I gotta drop oh! so much. Oh, I'm sorry. I was so delayed on that. Bing. You good? Yeah, I got you it. Got but uh, um, yeah, no. My dad's a fucking hoot for parties. Yeah, Everybody, no, he's, everyone's a big him. fan. Yeah, him. he's always him. in such a good mood, man. Yeah. Yo, was he always like that, or was that like just after his operation? Which operation? Because he had an operation that was like life threatening, was it not? Like many years ago. I don't think so. Yeah. Did he have cancer? No, no, Am I no, no, tripping? No. Yeah, I think he's just tripping. Okay, cancer. Okay. He's, he's I been thought a, he had some. He's been in the hospital a lot of times. He's a fucking cockroach. He can't die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's probably why. But, uh, so he's always had a good outlook then on life, you think? 
Yeah, like he's always been pain because of the job he does and everything. Yeah. But no, whenever Tough, he builds houses, Tough, he built the house right th- next door to this house actually. Yeah, Very... Mansky Construction. Does he use blueprints or like does he sketch them from hand? Like does he do that? Does he buy them? No, he goes to like an architect and they do that kind of shit. But uh, yeah, no. Whenever we have parties, he just gets fired the fuck up. A lot of people are like kind of like iffy when their parents get involved with the, the parties and shit. I mean, it's like fucking come, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah Everybody's yeah. asking for you to come. I love it, my bro. On our birthday, well, my birthday uh, and Mike's birthday, my dad was involved. I love that shit, man. He hasn't drank. That was amazing. There's a fucking oh bugging right now. Vape God champion. I love it. yeah. If you can, <laughs> if you can drink with your parents, fuck. I love my parents. Like That'd same. be dope, man. Cheers, Jim. Yeah. But yeah, it's kind of bummy now with this whole fucking COVID shit because obviously we can't do as much now. Yeah. But. Do you guys like it for any reason? No. You don't like it for any reason? There's no good reason about this. Okay, like take shit. out the gym situation. Like the gyms are open still. So, like, do you like COVID for any reason? The only thing I I do give it a positive for is I have saved a fuck ton of money. Yeah. A fuck ton of money because I would time. be literally going to the bars and not really the clubs. <laughs> clubs kind of died out of it, but even when you go to the bar, even if you go to the queue, you're you're expending at least like what 70, 80 bucks. Dude, I bought yeah. I bought three beers. Three beers, <laughs> thirty fucking dollars. Are you fucked? Oh, that's crazy. I can buy two for for that. It's fucked. That's how it is. You go out. It's just this. You gotta. You pay for when you go out, right? We were talking about dollar beers last night, me and Jay, because oh, uh, Irene snapped scary. me, and she was in London. She was out for drinks, and Jay was like, "Remember dollar beers when you could walk into a club or you could walk into a bar with twenty bucks and be a shooter the yeah, whole night? That's it. Buy anybody a beer, buy yeah. yourself a beer. Yeah, man. That's it. You got a green boy on yeah. you. You're buzzing. <laughs> Holy fuck! No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. Wait, who's on the who's on the green green bill? Queen Elizabeth? Uh, yeah. You have wow. a queen on your hand? <laughs> <laughs> She's buying all the drinks tonight. Yeah. I think the queen's on the 20. She's got oh, some awesome 20, dogs. Eh? I don't want the 20, but I got every bill beside the pony. Well, not every bill. Damn. Man. That's Fuck a guy. Man. That's yeah, a guy. Yeah, yeah that's all brown. Guys. No brown. Brown, I know. That's like Sir Frederick something, isn't it? On the <laughs> brown boy? Sir John A. McDonald's on the five. That's all I know. But, um, yeah. I was going to say something. I forget. Don't. <laughs> Damn okay. it. That is okay. That's fine. Yeah, but, man, I don't know. That, that Dude, the dollar beers nights oh, got into some trouble. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you. Especially in Guelph. Crazy. Crazy atmosphere in that place. That was like, We literally own that place. We own that town. It was yeah. crazy. It was nuts. I had people come out to me be like, hey, we're programming. Don't go to school here, dog. I'm just here every weekend. Yeah, well, I thought yeah. you went to school here. I don't know. No. Sorry, genuinely don't go here. It's like when we went to Brock and someone's like, yo, it's programming. I'm like, kinesiology. Oh, yeah, who's your teacher? <laughs> yeah, you got me there, bud. Who's <laughs> your teacher? Got me there, bud. <laughs> don't go here. Oh, oh whatever. Man. Yeah, but It's hard. Yeah, you get you get the first lie. Yeah. And then you get the second. John Luke was, was chatting our ear off the other weekend about how he can just lie to anybody and just like keep on lying and keep on lying and keep on lying. He was giving us an example. Yeah, that guy could lie. He can. Uh, Dude, he convinced me that um, this crack whore. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> <Hello. laughs> um, anyways, we went to this chick's house. It was like a Thursday night. And he's like, I'm going to this chick's house. Do you want to come? So Paul met, met this girl on Tinder. This girl comes down. She's already, she's fucked out of her head. I'm like, and she just looks like, you know, when you can look at someone and they, they look like, sorry to say one? it, they look like a crack whore. Yeah. But she looked at that. Anyways, so there was already, there was a, some nigga just chilling in the room already anyways, right? So, so it's literally like the three of us, like me, John, Luke, Paul, and this nigga, and then this chick. And I'm like, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, there's no way this night's ever going to be something I want to be at. So I was there for literally 10 minutes. I had yeah. a beer, and I left, right? But then John Luke came to me after, and he's like, yeah, after you left, we started playing piccolo. Things got weird. Next thing you know, the girl's running a train on on the, the, the three of us, the three guys. The boys are running the a boy, train. No, no, no. She's running a train on the boys. That's wow. Right. Yeah, she, yeah, yes. The girl runs the train. Yeah, yeah, yeah choo choo. Uh, sorry, <laughs> but he's like, yeah, she ran us a train. I go, really? He goes, yeah, because she used to be a she used to be a cam model, and funny enough, she used to be John Luke, crack. Paul, and who? Some some black dude. That was Shit. Yeah. Uh, Hen- do you, know, do you think? Oh, Kingsley. His name's do you, Kingsley. Do you think she spent longer on the black guy? I don't know. But this is the thing. <laughs> John Luke. I mean, Paul A's got him. John Luke's going on, going on about this, and he's like, "Yeah, that you know, she she ran his top. All of us. I go, well, what? You guys stand in in a row, and she just sucked you off. Then he goes, "No, no, like we stand in each corner of the room, this and that. What? And cock holder something while the other ones getting like why in the why in the corner of the room? 
That's what I, I don't know. COVID. <laughs> he's, going, he's, going on, he's going on about this. COVID, man. And I'm so, like, intrigued. And so I go, really? Like, so you, you guys did, like, a trade? I go, I, I, that's, that's a lot. I don't know if I could do that. It's not. He goes, yeah. Also, just so you know, I'm completely bullshitting. This is a false story. <laughs> I was like, fuck you. Man. Come on. He looks at me and goes, you're so gullible. I'm like, fuck. It's believable, you know? I don't know. The chick looked like she would run a train. You know what I hate? Wow. Fucking those, uh, all those uh, OnlyFans bullshit. All those, yeah. all those girls are on there and like all that Insta- Instagram famous and all that shit on Instagram. And mm. they get money. Money from, for just hoeing out. Money for yeah. hoeing out. If you find the niche, man, I don't know. I mean, fuck. So, yeah. How much do you think they make? Too much. Enough. Yeah? The highest paid one is uh, Cardi B makes $18 million a month. What? That's fucking shit. What? Only fans, yeah. What? Who's fuck. paying for that shit? She's niggas. nothing special. It's just niggas in the hood. No, it, it has nothing to do with anything special. It's just popularity. If you're popular, you have a fallen. Like, it's like, yeah, dude, Chris, I told you, Chris Brown has an OnlyFans. He, he's probably going to clean up. Oh, 100%. yeah. yeah. He's going to clean. Everyone love All bitches love Chris Brown. To see that man's pee shot, they would love it. <laughs> Light skin. Holy Yo, fuck. I think you need to do a public service to the world, Jay, and uh, have a kid with a white chick so that you can have a light skin. Oh, it's kid. happening. Oh, it's absolutely. Make sure absolutely. she has green eyes, so it's like really. Yo, exotic. you can have a good look. You know what's funny? Kid. That's my. That's what I like. I do like um, black chicks with black hair and then green eyes. That's, exotic. That's my. Uh, that's my pocket right there. Love that. But yeah, yeah, no. Uh, yeah, strictly white girls. Sorry, sorry, everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Oh no, you know what? I'll There's do. I'll do. Girls out there. Well, I'll be honest. Listen, I'll take anyone. You know, if if you're if you're good looking enough to me. I'll do it. There's some good looking light skins. There's some good looking there's light skins or something. Yeah, there's some good looking black chicks too. And yeah. Asians, Latinas. I love Latinas too. That's very I like good. Asians too. You like Asians? I'm very into Latinas. Crazy. Just because that little spicy side, you ever know if you're gonna hit in the head or not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> keeps it no, keeps it fucking interesting. Yep. You know? That's it. You gotta be on your toes consistently. Wow. That's it. Hey honey, where's the salt? I don't know. What the fuck you say, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what else? Just fuck. I need a pee. Yo, go for it. <laughs> go, go, go. Yo, buddy. Watch all of the cords. Fuck. A lot of cords. Just take a big step over. You'll be good. Just shut the uh, shut the door. Hey, so grab me some, uh, some go, tissue buddy. when you come out, please. Yo, right behind you. Right behind you. Oh, I got you. Oh, buddy. Thank you. Nice. I don't know how that ended up there. It was in my laundry hamper. It's perfect. I don't know how. Very don't ask perfect. me how. Mm. That's all right. Wow, lot of conversations. Yeah, my phone's gonna. Unfortunately, I'll get that after. Um, yeah, my phone's gonna be going off uh, in a bit. I watched a little bit of the last podcast back. It's not bad. It's not as bad as we thought. Not as bad as we thought. I'll be honest with you. I don't remember the last. I don't remember. I was watching the last. I don't know minutes. what the hell we talked. About. I don't know I don't what know the what fuck we, we talked, talked about, about either. I have no idea. Should get that shit. You're good. You're good. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Ugh. Hey, Sid, send me the pod in that. It's mango shit, bro. Gotta so, say, though, the posted a story on my uh, Instagram, Snapchat, all that shit. Lots of big replies about the podcast. Everyone's like, what the fuck is this? This looks They're so sick. They're all just curious, yeah. I was like, don't worry about it. The, the don't picture don't you took, like, of the thing was it's very artistic, yeah. 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 It was good, yeah. Not like it. it. You know, it looks really good, and then we get all of this shit on the table. And, ah, it still looks good. It's all in black. Yeah, it's fucking. That's something I'm good at. I'm very good at taking pictures, specifically taking pictures of females. Because, <laughs> listen, when, <laughs> hear me right? out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Because you know how girls are. They need Explain to get, yourself. They need to get those angles, right? You, they need the angles. Yep. So I remember when I was at the Halloween party with uh, the pretentious one. And yeah, the, yeah, the bitch. And anyways, so the uh, the one chick was like, I "Don't can you, know who you're talking about." The, Doesn't really matter. Yeah, okay. And I, I don't think you. Yeah, you wouldn't even know what I'm talking about. But um, so the girl saw it. She's like, "Can you take a picture of me?" Go sure. Saw it's just casually, just just one of these, just you know, doing it. I go, "No, no, no, saw it. Give me the phone. They gotta do this." I take the phone. I'm on one knee, hitting it like this, <laughs> hitting angles like that. I'm standing on the chair, going over top. You gotta get the angles, and they do appreciate it. I'm but, telling you. But do they shout you out of the photo? They never do. But that's okay. Disrespect. That's fine. Cause is it? It's, uh, you know. It hurts a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> it hurts a little bit, deep down. Yo, no, Jay, send, me, send me another pod. Yeah. What's that? Denied. Is that empty? Yeah. Okay. I don't know which one it was. Thank oh, you. here, you can just... 
We got there's, a couple, right? There's another. Yeah, there's a there's a whole other lychee in that. I got a I got a thing right here, but do you, is the lychee in that thing? Yeah, hold on, let me check. Okay, because you can keep this. Hey, so this is the majority of our podcast, just switching vibes back and forth. Hey, it's totally fine. You need that nick. <laughs> gotta, gotta get that nick in. How are you feeling? How's the neutral? Ooh. Dude, like they're delicious. Ones. They're good. Yeah. Usually I select these like quick as a motherfucker, but like, you know. You're trying to keep it controlled. I don't like that. I don't, I want to, I want to let haste it loose. I really do. But like, can we, can we, uh, can we buy an Uber? Is this an option? No. <laughs> no. Especially now too, with all the bullshit going yep. on too. So. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's just not respectful, also, yeah. right? I like to think I'm a respectful guy from time to time. You are. There's different sides of stacks. We've uh, we've talked extensively about your your respectfulness. Thank you. Uh, but I'm saying a little more of an asshole because I'm just, <laughs> I'm just doing me. Like I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But catch me in a relationship and like. Ready, Jay? <sighs> I like to think I'm pretty fucking good when I'm in a relationship. Yeah, you are. Yeah. yeah. Here, this is a... Oh, nice shirt, dude. It's a leisure. Yes, when you gave me. Popeyes, Yorkdale. Go to them. Get your subs. Don't buy the mouth guards because they're $60. But if Hazy gives you one for free, purchase it. Nah, take it. Take anything I give you. It's fucking <laughs> great. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, man. I've always just been a relationship guy. You have been. I have been, like... We miss you. Yeah. We miss you a lot. Like, I, I did the single route for a year. That was, like, my longest time single. A year? Yeah, yeah. it was, for sure. Yeah. Before uh, Christina, it was that was a stint where we all went to Cuba and shit. That was the longest time Hayes has been single. Oh, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah, because how long between um, first and second? First and second was, like, six months. Six months, yeah. yeah. And then that was a year after, yeah. So, yeah. Sure. Okay, I guess so, yeah, yeah. Because you were with Laura, but you were, uh, like, casual with Laura. That's yeah, we were, so we, you were still kind of like doing your thing. Yeah, we were talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it got to the point where it's like, all right, enough's enough. Yeah, yeah. Same person. I love you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna stop loving you, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Laura. Yeah, she's fucking mad. She's, yeah, she's a she's a trooper. Even whenever we have like a boys, well, not a boys night, but like whenever we get together and it's like five dudes. She still camp comes out. It's like, oh, girl. That's what you need. No, you need yeah. the ones that you can fucking need. hang out. Yeah. Listen, I listen. I can get to some emails, but I can't always come through because sometimes they got to do their. They got shit going on. I could do my best I can, but if you can come and hang, and it's just the boys, yeah, she, and you can shoot, she yeah. can hang. She, she fucking hang. hangs. She you hangs. don't want somebody to complain. You just want to sit there, yeah. just chill. That's the good thing I've noticed with the boys. When they bring girls around, they're always the girls that can hang. No one, yeah. none that complain and no. you know, my feet hurt. <laughs> Shut up, man. Well, go, go, oh, man. Yeah, drink one beer and they're already fucking raw. Oh. Yeah, you, you got Laura, like, yo, bitch, give me another drink. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Like, yeah, she she throws back. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah. But classy though. But classy though. Classy. Yeah. yeah, I know. You need the ones that can fucking hang. I love that. So important. Good work. We love B, man. Yeah, dude, B can B B no, can hang. No, B, B can hang. B can hang without Ricky. Without That's Ricky. Amazing. That's yeah, yeah. Bro, when she was at Rudd's family party, man, and Rig was nowhere to be yeah, seen. Yeah, he, he didn't even. It was amazing. Yeah, he was. He had. I think he was busy doing something that night. Yeah. But I was just hanging out. Carol came by too. Love it. Love Carol Rudd's, too. Rudd's got a very yeah, like yeah. chill family though. Like yeah, you, yeah, you know, yeah. when, when you're with the cousins and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They get going. Papa that John's in your ear. That's it. I think it also has something to say about us. Like we can all just hang. Whether you're with your significant other or not, yeah, yeah just get yeah, a fucking sure. friend group. Yeah, absolutely. So important. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was just going to move it, but okay. Nope, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> well, like the same one as before. Like, yeah, hey, I got you. Yeah, I give. Just do some half shots. Keep it together. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm asking for shots, and you bought this thing, or whoever bought it. Oh, shut the fuck up. There you go. <laughs> shut the fuck up. All right. When you're coming as a guest, thank you for your time. We'll fucking supply Dude, you. Dude, honestly, if you guys do wanna, not worry. If you guys want to run another one Thursday, you know where to find me. Yeah, yeah, you're psyched, eh? Dude, I could be, I could be like that fucking uh, guest that's like on all the time. Yeah, because yeah. I'm fucking down. Yo, we kept it really strict for the first five because me and Jay just Ugh. wanted to get familiar with this. But now that we're letting guests on, um, like it can be whenever. It can yeah. really be whenever. Oh, you just want to... What are you doing tonight? Nothing? You want to just film a podcast? Okay. Yeah, sure. simple. Yeah. Very you know my simple. schedule? Thursdays are my free nights. Yeah. You Definitely. Honestly, I'm always down because I'm always free. You just have to get in Jay's ear at work. That's it. 
if you guys shoot me a text, if you shoot me a text, I say, like, yo, Jay's down to film today, and you want right. to, I'm down all the time. I'm all right, yeah, down. yeah, yeah. I'm better. So, uh, yeah, bro, you're always welcome. Sweet. Fucking it. This is home. I haven't been here in a long time. It's yeah, good to so. see your rents again and everybody. Like, fuck. I haven't been here for a minute. A minute. I haven't seen you for a month. It's been a long time. I have not yeah. seen you for a month. Because you were gone to Dominican. Yeah. And then I weeks. didn't come when you were quarantining. Quarantine. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh yeah, it's good to be back. Start off a good workout like the old days. It was good. Uh good meal, home cooked by you. Fucking yeah. f- oh my god, my meal's downstairs. <laughs> it's just an omelet. Quarter hey. of an omelet. Hey. No. Hey. Cheers. <laughs> Go get it. Right. Cheers. Excuse me. Why'd you fart? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that after. I think that's what you love to do it for me. Yeah. <laughs> Taste Yo, it too much chase though. it with this, man. I'm telling you, really good thing to chase it with. Oh fuck. Ooh. But um, yeah, man. No, no, good, good to have you here for real. It's good to be here. You feel comfy? You all good? You're our, you're our test guest. You I gotta, love it, man. I'm, I'm just know. liking my shit. Chilling, chilling. It's good. It's good stuff. Also, sorry, kind of off topic here. Yeah, babe. that girl last night is pretty hot. Yo. Babe, yeah. so hot. Thanks, babe. M- Mel, in there? yeah, yeah, yeah. Good yeah Mel's a, that's an attractive chick. Yeah. She's good looking. Oh, They're all three of those girls last night were really good looking. Good looking and all teachers. Really good. Looking. Crazy. Yo, I was. Oh, we were talking about this in the car. Like th- that personality with her boyfriend does not seem like that clashes. But I guess it's been two years. I guess it works. Two years. I guess it would clear. I guess it works. But like yeah. Mel is very out, like out there and like very has a lot of energy and yeah. You know, I mean maybe he's just nervous or whatever or maybe he's just chilling. But well, it's funny is as we were leaving too. I because you so I was standing in the garage. You were standing behind. You really me, wanted to leave. About to walk out. I was I was down to go out towards <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, I was ready to go out there. So there. was I. So was I. Um. But then Mel was like, uh, she said, great to see you. I'll be seeing, or you'll be seeing a lot of me. I'm, and I'm, I'm like, I turned around. I'm like, easy. <laughs> me? Talking to, you talking to me or are you talking to me? Right? She's like, oh, I'm talking to you. I'm like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just assume she's talking to you. I'm waiting for the time where we all just chill. Like me, Laura, you. I'll ask Joanna if she wants to come tonight. I though. didn't know he's never met Joanna. No, I, didn't, I didn't know that. I think, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be good too because Joanna and like, them were like teachers and shit. Laura works with like UT. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say she's a teacher. <laughs> Joanna's a teacher. Laura works at a school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I feel like they'll get along good. They can talk about a lot no, of education. No, I don't think she's shit. doing anything tonight, so I'll invite her over. Um. Unfortunately, it can't be my house. As much as I would love to have more people at my house. Oh, because, oh, you're capping at six? <laughs> Might have to cut that out. We'll worry about it. <laughs> Might have to cut that out. <laughs> we'll worry about yeah. it afterwards. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, um. No, last last night, Jay, 100% good looking girls all around. Yeah. yeah I love, yeah. Sarah's really good looking too. She, uh, oh, they're all. Good. You're a fan, eh? She talks about ball all the time. Yeah. Right up your alley? <laughs> she like just chill. They're all just very chill. I like her a lot. But, um, yeah, yeah, right out the gate, Mel had some power. Power, yeah, yeah. That was good. We'll get you. We'll introduce you to uh, Joanna, for sure. Just here. Just a guy. Just Just here. One of the guys. I think think we gave you number five or six. As low as that sounds, you got to think about it. Okay, we got me and Jay, one or two. One, two. Thank you. Appreciate it. (laughs) Pat McTavish. Number three. Then we got your dad. It's not. It's not a strict list. We just, you know, we're <laughs> my own dad beats me. Yeah. Off the fucking just you gotta admit though, he's a shooter. He's a shooter. shooter. He's like a shooter. fucking marksman. Just then you were battling for okay four or five with Ty, and then Ty's a huge guy. Ty's a huge guy. <laughs> <laughs> a huge guy, man. And then it's you at five. Mm. Sorry, <laughs> but you're there. I don't even get bronze in this fucking debate. Like, <laughs> I'm pub scum. Pat McTav- I mean, okay, one or two is like get rid of it. You got bronze because you know one or two obviously, but then we got Pat, your dad, and you. That's pretty good. Or your dad. No, we got Pat, your dad, Ty, and then Sorry, you. okay, yeah. you got yeah, you didn't get bronze. Sorry. Mm. Sorry, bro. <sighs> it's it's fine. It's a good it's a good position, Astead. Who's your best friend? <laughs> you are. That's who's number one on the podcast. This is it. There you go. White. Cheers. <laughs> White. <laughs> oh, boy. I think it's going good so far. You know what I fucking miss? What do you miss? Festivals. Yeah. Uh, all, 
all those viewers who are watching this, whoever the fuck you are, <laughs> like, you know, festival, zero people. <laughs> festival season, though, we can all appreciate. We miss. We miss. Like, this was going to be my year at Veld. Oh, it was going to be a year. Dude, so we had EA Ever After, for you that don't know, it's in Waterloo. It's a great fucking rave. Don't be a bitch. Go to it. <laughs> and um, so I asked Laura, I was like, yo, are we going to go to Ever After? She's like, oh, I'm not too sure, playing it all off and all that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, we're going. So I bought pre-sale tickets. So I got like two for like 350 altogether, which is dirt cheap. Pre-pre-sale. For two tickets? Yeah. Wow. So like, okay, How did you get that? You're really quick on the purchase. I'm a VIP. Wow. Okay. Dedicated. All right. All right. Keep going. And um, so I bought the tickets. I was like, well, I'm gonna go, fuck it. We go, we go, we don't. I just sell them. Fuck it. Down the road for my birthday. Yeah. For my birthday, she ends up buying me a VIP ticket for my birthday. Dude, yeah, that festival. was hilarious how that yeah. went. So she ended up buying us <laughs> VIP tickets. Good like, girl, eh? Great girl. So That's like, ah. up your alley. Oh. That's good. More ways than one. So, <laughs> but, really uh, do be getting sexual sometimes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> really yeah, do yeah. be getting sexual. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I was pretty steezed about that. But then, obviously, someone had to eat a bat. Next thing I know, <laughs> next thing I know, fucking festivals are shut down. So it's a lot ling ling. <laughs> so I'm still stuck here with 350 bucks down with like tickets that are floating in the air because. There's no, there's no rave. Nobody's buying tickets because we don't know if there's a fucking rave going on. So yeah. it kind of fucking sucks, but I don't, I don't forget know. that. I think, I think it was, it was either it was New, New Year's, Year's, New Year's. Year's. I remember you, you had told me prior that you had gotten tickets for you and Laura. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's dope. <laughs> You're like, don't tell her. I was like, yeah, obviously. But then when you went upstairs to get a drink, she was talking to us downstairs, and she was like, hey, listen, so I gotta tell you something. I go, yeah, what's up? She's like, don't tell, don't tell Daniel. Um, I got VIP tickets for me and him forever after. The second she said that, I just started laughing, and I'm like, I had to tell because then I was like, yeah, well, oh, okay, you know, he also got tickets no. for the two of you, right? She's like, really? Go, yeah. And then we went upstairs and told you too, because oh. that way at least you can sell two of them. Yeah, at not that point, right? Yeah, yeah. you have to figure it out. For, you yeah. sell them. Otherwise, you're gonna be sitting on two tickets, yeah. and then it's gonna be a week prior. And then it's like, yeah. Not gonna lie, I was kind of in the bag, so I was pretty bent about that. But really, yeah, because it was your present to her. Not not just that. It's just I wanted to hop on these tickets because they, oh. they jack up prices so quick. Yeah. But honestly, sweet girl, she got it with trying her hardest to deny why we can't go. But um, yeah. Great why girl. do you love festivals so much? You just let loose. I I just like I like the music, man. It's like, the atmosphere, man. The atmosphere, the music. Like everyone's just so happy and everything. Like people you don't fucking know, who can be geeked out of their mind. And they see you like, what up? And it's like, man. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Chilling. You make yeah. friends wherever the fuck you are. It's just a great atmosphere. It's a good, it's a good time. I love them. It's so much fun. Honestly, when I was with my ex, uh, I stopped with the race because she wasn't a fan of him. Kind of sucked. But pushed her off to the side. Got this new uh, squirrel. You realize that that's what she actually <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> and then next thing I know, she likes festivals and shit. When I first started talking to her, I met my girlfriend on Bumble. That first of all, it is it is completely nuts that you managed to find someone that likes the exact same music as yeah. you. Dude, so you have you have a, you have your own genre of music named after you. Whenever I play dark shit, people look at me and go, "Is this hasted music?" I go, "Yep, absolutely." Wow. They literally call it hasted music. It's crazy. Well, so I matched her on Bumble, and she swiped right to me because I I was a douche. I threw a douchebag photo up of me doing like workout on Fit for Less, and she's like, "Is that?" She she uh, started a conversation. She's like, "Is that Fit for Less?" I was like, "Yeah." And then <laughs> next thing you know, we start talking and shit. And then she's like, oh, I listen to dubstep, all that shit. I was like, yeah. all right. So, like, how hard? Because people say they listen to dubstep. Like, oh, what do you listen to? Oh, I listen to... Um, it was like a shitty dubstep person. It was... It was... It was uh, I listen to Skrillex. I was talking to Felicia, and she was like, yeah. She's like, I listen to, like, a dark EDM. I go, who do you listen to? She's like, Yellow Claw. I'm like, yeah. what? Yeah, no. like, I just want to, like, slap you in the face. Like, shut no, up. Get out of here. So, so when I first met her and everything and uh i played some shit i played like some screamo death like dark shit for her and she's like i like this i was like <laughs> this is the one <laughs> all right and yeah she's been smooth ever since they're a good ride bro what's the key man like what's the key to keeping a girlfriend do you guys have to fucking talk we, we talk it up like there's people that talk don't... about what like just talk what's in your mind like there's people who don't talk what they're feeling and then like shit just escalates and then just <laughs> Yeah. Just cash off the mess. We just know what pushes each other's butt. Like for instance, I know her like the back of my dick. Like I know her inside and out. 
So even yeah. when she gives like, you know how most people would say the back of her hand. Yeah, back of the dick. Yeah, that's the sexual part coming yeah. out. <laughs> but uh, like she'll say shit that'll just drive me off the fucking edge. But I'll just off my head, and I just make a joke about it, make a witty remark. Yeah, but uh, you don't let a lot of shit bother you. No, like you're a different. No. Breed, I don't which have is good. I don't have time for bullshit. If you're starting a yeah. fight with me, if I'm right, you you're do wrong. not. You don't have an ego in that sense. I've no. noticed. Like it's just like I do not give a shit if I'm right. If you're, I don't care. Yeah, I just I don't want to fight right now. They have a, it's not important. They have a background of like health and fitness. So like someone tries to like tell me I'm wrong with like facts I've read about. I'll be like, all right, sure. Yeah. yeah. I just, don't whatever. Have, I don't have, you time. have your own opinion. Yeah. I'll keep mine. I don't have time for fights. It's yeah. like, fuck it. Whatever. That's how you feel. That's how you feel. Whatever. Yeah. 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 No, that's a good way. That's and how like, you're feeling. Honestly, she says too, she's like, honestly, you know how to handle me. I'm like, in more ways than one. <laughs> so I'm getting sexual myself. <laughs> hey. But uh, yeah, no, it's 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 great. It's good. It's good shit. Yeah, she's gonna listen to this podcast. She's gonna love it. Laura. Laura, we'll have you're you invited, on buddy. Soon. No Anytime. problem. Anytime. No, I, I like Laura. I like her a lot. She can hang. She can chill. She's very nice. I've had a couple of conversations with her that have been really good like i've enjoyed them which is really important too what i like too yeah because she has that academic side so like she can yeah. hang with you in the academic department like yeah yeah area. to talk some shit yeah. about that yeah she hang with you because well, you're like me yeah, yeah 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 it's the same for the same person. yeah yo yeah. jay can hang with anybody though jay's very easy jay's guy. jay man like i remember the first like when you, we first went out we went to gracie's with her and everything like she fucking loved you man like yeah. she's just a fucking nut. Yeah. That's what makes the relationship really easy. If if they can't hang with your friends, dude, yeah. it's it's a one way ticket out yeah, so it's, soon. It's fucking messy. You will yeah, realize real quick. Yeah, hundred yeah, yeah. percent. Yeah, I've always usually been good with uh, people when they introduce me to their it, like things they're talking to at the time or girlfriends. I'm usually you just be good energy and. Bro, you know, I, I brought it. you everywhere. Yeah, you actually. I, yeah, yeah, I brought you yesterday, like in like no problem. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Everywhere. That's it. Hang out. Don't uh, don't assert yourself too much. I don't even tell you that, but yeah, like it's just that's your personality. You're yeah. just very chill, go with the flow. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's how you gotta be, man. Don't yeah. uh, that's a key. Don't start demanding shit. Yeah. Mm. yeah, you know who you are. Don't be weird. You know. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, guys? Let me uh, restart the audio. I'm gonna take a piss too. That's been an hour. Uh yeah, just about. It's quick, eh? Fuck. Eh? It goes really quick. Okay, we'll be right back. We're so, back. I was going to say, is this thing recording? Maybe yeah. some wazzles, too. That's I good. don't know. Wow. Power. Hey, said, throw the we'll mic a little bit close to your face. Thank you, sir. Let's we'll see where the night goes. And we're good. Oh, man. Podcast is going smooth. I like this. It's fun. Yeah, you like it? Yeah, it's, it's a chill, lot of fun. It's, it's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Conversation, man. That's yeah. Like, no, I think people like it a lot. Like, the excitement for me right now is not where it is for Hayes said, because I, kn- I remember what that was like. You remember what that was like. Of course. But it's really good. Yeah, it's good. It's a good thing. That's I good. feel like it's a lot easier too now that I'm on the fucking podcast because like you have that extra guy to have stories. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude, yeah. Like even Jay was telling you, like our last one was a shit show. Brutal. It was last minute, like cut to it, and yeah, yeah, it was it was a show. But it whatever. Well, I mean. yeah, because you guys recorded like what like five podcasts. That was the me? fifth one. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a lot that's for a just lot. you two. So yeah, we anyone? started off half, please. please. Yep. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, but, um, yeah. not a hundred percent. Um, Hundred percent. What's that? Shit. Definitely, we'll uh, have you and Laura on very soon, as soon as possible. You know what? Like, once a week is always good for me because we always get so lit on this, and twice a week, three times a week, I can't do it. But you know what? Maybe we'll get twice a week going. Sometimes. You know, Jay. Maybe we'll get twice a week. Fuck. Thank you. Yeah. Because we can get a Thursday episode, and then we can get like a. With just you, and then we can get a weekend episode with you and Laura, and then we can do other guests, our other buddies, and then yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But now, now the train starts. So that's it. It's going. I showed you the YouTube. Uh, yeah, I like that. It looks, looks sick. Yeah, it looks no, it all looks. It's good. It's good. People are liking it. That's good. Are yeah. you liking your picture? It's good. Yeah, I got a lot of people already commenting. What's going on? What is this? Who's this? This looks awesome. What is it? I'm like, look at this. What is this? Shh. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You want a smelly drink or something? Nah, I'm okay. Yeah. It's really sweet, even though there's no sugar. It is they're, like, they're really sweet. Can I have another one of those neutrals? We have pineapple and grapefruit, but I want the grapefruit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I like the pineapple. Oh, you don't mind? No, I like it a lot. Okay. Thank you. So I'm thinking about getting another tattoo. Really, a hand tattoo. Yeah. For you that don't know, like, 
Like my whole, I have my whole arm done. Oh, he's inked up. Yo, oh. chicks, chicks love tattoos, eh? Love There's so many tattoos. They just love tattoos. Love tattoos. Crazy. Yo, the amount of, t like, a couple of times Joanna's even thrown me the comment. No, it's not the tattoos, not this, not that. It's the scar. Yo, chicks love these fucking inconsistencies. Right? right? The scar is cool. When I got the scar, I remember messaging you, like, yo, this is what happened. But, like, think about the scar I'm going to have. Because you and I always talk about having, like, a face scar from hockey or some shit like that. I got my lip one. It looks cool, man. But, yeah, this is fucking forever, bro, right there. Couple of you got a nice scar. Yeah. Couple of zippers, man. Like Couple of zippers. I mean, You're yeah. right. You're correct. Yeah. Correct. But yeah, I'm decided I'm gonna get my hand tatted. Like, honestly, a lot of skepticism. Wait, what? Skepticism. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're good. You're good. About it and getting a job and everything, but like, fuck off. Like, what are you doing? What are you gonna get? <sighs> Debating between a handia mask and a skull. One of the two. You're I don't hold the whole back of the hand. You're going the whole for like wow. Knocks down. That's lit. Just I finish like her it. off, and I think that will suffice me for another year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been on a nice streak like every year. First one was at 20 when I was 18, then 19, 20, 21, yeah. 22. Yeah, I got there. my I got my first one when I was Yo, I did not know you drew it. You drew Jay's first one. Yeah, yeah I, I did not know. I that. drew his first one, I drew my first one too. Yeah, 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 no you drew yeah. your first one. Yeah, yeah. I did not know you drew Jay's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew mine, yeah. Cool. Hey, can you draw me one? Oh, you did. Yeah. But can you draw me one? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love I love my tattoo artists I had. I had a uh, Evan right. from a uh, well, he was at Tyler Ram, and then he fucked off there. But you got Evan, and then you got the handsome Dan. And, like, yeah, these guys. Do you always remember, eh? Like, they, your tattoos. Yeah, artists. they're fucking great guys. They have awesome work. Uh, yeah, they, they make some steezy pics. You know what, dude? Stuff. Like, Kate, okay, you know how you always have, like, kind of an idea in mind, and you prep it beforehand, and then you go in? Yeah. Like, some people don't do that. And when I was in Dominican, and I got three tattoos, I the, the last two I went, I actually went in, and the guy go. It was a Russian um tattoo shop in dominican so it was good because they actually spoke english yeah. and then they were also russian and he goes man if you don't know how about you look at the book and i'm thinking sure okay i looked at the book and i literally got something from the fucking book really yeah so it was just off a of whim and people do that and i never thought i could do it. i thought i had to have the plan i thought i had to think about it yeah it's literally my fucking favorite tattoo because there's no thought in it. it just looks sick yeah that's the way to go i fucking hate when people are like oh what does your tattoos yeah. mean fuck off fuck off like, you know what shit. they mean? They mean eat shit. Yeah. <laughs> like I remember when I joined the army and I have like a Indian chief skull tattoo on my arm and they're like, what does that mean? I'm like, I don't know. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it's yeah. just cool. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, if I yeah. try, like, what are you trying to imply? Like, Jay last night was like, uh, what did, what was the story you told about Hesa keeping warm with the army thermal? Oh, oh mil military <laughs> get thermal. Yeah. Dude, when I joined the army, they gave you like all this free shit, and like obviously when you leave the army, they don't ask for it back because it touched your body. So I was like, fuck it. Yeah. yeah. So Especially I had, like, this, during COVID. Yeah. yeah. So I had like a military gray thermal. I like to call it, and it just keeps me fucking warm. Ask me why I'm warm. Uh, what's what? Ask me why I'm warm today, Jay. Military gray yeah, thermal. Military gray thermal. Military gray thermal. <laughs> negative negative seven outside. I'm in a sweater and. Military grade thermal. <laughs> I'm fucking warm. Yeah, that's how it is. He'll look at me and be like, You cold today? Like, I mean, I'm not bad, you know? He'll be like, Ask me. I'm warm. You know why? Military grade <laughs> thermal. <laughs> sure. Sure. Oh, man. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> fucking, yeah. It keeps me warm. But yeah. Is it like, it's just, is it regular thermal? Is it like, what, what's, it's just really good quality? They give thermal? it out to everybody who joins the fucking army. Is it and good though? Like, you feeling it and it being on your body? Is it, it's just really I'm good. literally it's fucking warm. warm. Yeah. What is it, long johns and like an under armor top yeah. or something? Yeah. Long johns and long sleeve, like, nice. cordyceps. Nice. <laughs> yeah. It's Those nothing are cool. Those it's nothing cool. fancy at all. Like, it's some like shitty shit, but like, it takes the job done. Yo, how do you like uh, the bulk that you're going on now? Because in the summer, you were cutting yeah. and you were getting really down there. Um, and now you decided to bulk uh, pretty quickly. You transitioned to it. And now you've been bulking at least until when you're going to stop bulking. Well, I was cutting for the longest time. And then I went to my girlfriend's friend's house. Yeah. With my girlfriend, obviously. <laughs> and, uh, and I had to clear that up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to clear <laughs> that up. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. And uh, her mom's a competitor, right? So I was talking to her. I was fucking sauced. Mama Lions. Yeah, Mama Lions. And I was talking to her about like, fitness and all that shit is that the last name yeah lioness yeah. gotcha, gotcha lions yeah and um or is it lions or is it lioness lions oh jordan's because it's a it says lioness i think it's just lions the, on her snapchat, it, says, it, it says lioness it's like l y o n but it's like -S -S. as if it's l y o n e s s that's what her, that's what her snapchat it could be lions yeah. still though yeah 
Okay, I guess I right, know. right. Okay, I guess it could be. Yeah. I know what you're I, saying. I just assume it'd be like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fucking know. Go on. Anywho, so I decided I was gonna do a show. Like I want to do a show next year. So I was like, fuck it, let's just bulk up. But the way I've always been bulking up was like eat a shit ton of calories straight from a cut. So you put on a lot of fat. It's like no. So like gradually over since like August to like now I've gained like about I don't know almost third twenty pounds. Yeah. How do you like it? I love it. The cut. I like can do what's both. easier, what's better for you. I can do both. You can do both. I feel like bulking is harder because you just need to eat those fucking calories. Because I can a go lot, without a eating. Lot, a lot, yeah. yeah. You can go without eating. <laughs> Weirdly, eh? It's well, I've been on the ball for a while now, so I'm like fucking hungry all the time. Yeah, okay, yeah, it makes sense. But um, now I can I can do a cut. Give me like a coffee too in the morning to suppress the appetite. Yeah, that's true. Done. Yo, hundred percent coffee actually is really important in uh, my diet for not overeating. It's well. literally an no, appetite so suppressant. Yeah, literally. Yeah, literally. So I don't know if there's a show going on next year. I want to do a show next Will year. Will you cut regardless? Like, I love Big Hayset, but I loved seeing, like, because you've been bulk. Nice shot. You've been Big Hayset for many, many years. And I love it because it's so protective when we go out to the clubs. And we've gotten to a couple fights, and you've very much been there. But, like, uh, I like seeing the cut Hayset. Because, like, especially going. You're good. You're so good. You're 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 so good. (laughs) Going through the cut uh, myself and then seeing you go through it, uh, it's nice. It's it's enjoyable. You know, you see the abs coming, like, everything kind of striations come in. Yeah. Yeah. But you like, uh, do you have an answer? What do you think? You just both of them? I like bulking because I'm a little more lenient, more of an 80 20 kind of guy. When you can have fun, you can have yeah. drinks. When I'm cutting, like, it's tough. I, I, I remember. I'm, I'm pretty fucking anal. Like, people always say, like, dieting, oh, it's gonna be tough. It's like, mm, I don't think so. I already eat shit for, like, every day. Like, I eat, like, rice and, not chicken because it bloats me, but, like, rice and ground beef, but, like, no flavor on it. Maybe, like, mustard yeah. and hot sauce. Yeah. It doesn't bother me and shit, so I well, don't know. I plan to cut either way. Yeah. I want to get a coach. Yeah. This year, Bob Waterhouse, great physique, national yeah. physique too, out in the UK. Woohoo! But um, <laughs> yeah, cause I'm all natural, right? I don't yeah, yeah, check no shit. Fuck that. But uh, not not to have anything against it. I like even the guys on Roy's. Yeah. They, their physique is phenomenal. Yeah. But that's just not for me. But uh, what's like the uh, best physique of the steroids competitors in the years i love arnold's i really do arnold's is sick for a nice I classic really that do. small waist like yeah big bag what about ronnie's like the ronnie's modern. was big to be absolutely fucking he was huge. The, i think he was the biggest yeah. i think he was the biggest yeah, he's huge well there's, there's a lot of big guys chris bumstead looks sick he's like our age you yeah. met him we met yeah him. yeah yeah we met him but he's our age he's like a mr olympian champion he's like fucking huge he's sick champion yeah, he won last year. Olympian, I think so. Olympia is the the biggest one, right? Cream of the crop. So what does it go? It goes. Uh, I, there's all kinds. I know it goes like like, th- like city divisions, and then uh, universe, and then Olympia. I don't know. There's like they know. have like Olympia, which is like the top, and you have like all these other little ones. Like there's like an Arnold, like this year they had like a Chicago Pro, Romanian Pro, and all that shit. Yeah. But I don't really follow it too much. I I don't want to speak too much about it. But um, I don't know. Everyone's there's a lot of good physiques out there. It's wild. I love fitness. Fitness is awesome. That's why when the government shut down my gym, I'm I mean, talk, a shit I talked hole. about the government. I talked about. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. This is so stupid. Uh, that's how it goes these days. Fucking joke. Jay, buddy, what do you think? One more? One more. Oh, wow. You gave me one. Did you take it? I took it. I didn't. I'll pour another. Okay. okay. Pour hey, so you want a half? Wow, that's so impressive. Oh, I do half. Got my wall, my sidekick mammoth jug on me. But um, yeah. So I'm debating if I want to get a coach because coaches can get really fucking expensive. Like my buddy has a coach. Really, and- I thought the like it's a standard like seventy to a hundred dollar type of thing, and you just get like a ten week plan. Well, that's the thing. Like you can get like these plans that are generalized. So if you want to cut, like follow this kind of routine kind of shit. But if you want to get like a coach, one second. Cheers, wait, 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 wait. Here you go. Oh yeah. Oh, come on, dude. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Rubbing alcohol. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should have got the Guinness <laughs> donuts. But anyways, yeah, back, back to what I was saying. Like, my buddy has a coach. He pays $300 a month for it. A month? A month. 
What the fuck does he do? But then again, like you have 24 7 support. They're constantly tech. Like you have his personal number. You're texting him. He's changing your workout plans as they go, your food plans as they go, like everything. Whereas if you get like these kind of plans, like off, like online kind of shit, it's like here's your outline, follow it kind of thing, right? So if you get a coach, you're going to be paying a little bit extra, but they're, it's like your best friend. Like you're just talking. What would them. you do? See, if I'm doing, if I'm doing a show, I want to get like a coach where I can have that access to them to talk all the time. Then they can like fluctuate with my macros and everything. Um, it's a fucking commitment because I'm, like, I want to buy a house too. I have car payments, and all that shit. I'm at a wine business. I'm not making fucking guap. Yeah. So I don't know. Depends. And I want to do a show, but with COVID, like shows are getting ca- canceled left, right, and center. Gotcha. So we'll see. If there's a show, like if there's a show in 2021, I'm going to take it and I'll buy a coach. No, for the best. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. So That's we'll the $300 option. That's just a basically, coach. Basically, though, yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of money. So if I'm gotcha. doing this, I plan to go balls to the wall and get yeah. dick skin shredded. Very nice. Yeah. Very cool. I think I can do it. I think the hardest part about doing it is being like, if we're going out like bars open again and we're drinking, it's like yeah, yeah. You would have to just say okay, in my mind, like a whole year of my life is just going to be like very dedicated to this, and then yeah. like hang out with us and your boys and whatever. But yeah. like, it has to just be like I'm hanging out, but I'm. I can't drink, can't do this. Shit. Yeah, to be sober. I've done it a couple times. It's it you, sucks. You could, it's, <laughs> it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. I don't mind it. There've been certain nights I've been able to go out and it's I'll be sober yeah. for the most part. Do you like it? I don't mind it. There's another like I can never go to by all means when you go clubbing. I can't go to a club sober because there's no way that's gonna because you you show up sober but the booth and bottles you always get. You're, you're drinking regardless. You, but, like, if we go to the Q or the Sod or something, yeah. by all means, that I can do sober. Yeah. That's fine. You, you can't do it. Like, you and I tried to go to a bar with Maddie one time to sober. Say, I was about to say. You, you can't do it. It's, it's hard. You can't. You're not, you know you're not as social. It's, yeah. you know. But you know what? I don't think it's like, because, yo, we, me and you went sober when we were always going to the bars drunk. And then it was hard. I feel like if you constantly go sober, you start to be okay with being sober. And then you just start to kind of still yeah. go and shoot your shot. But yeah, yeah, the dead stop of being drunk and then going sober is actually really tough. It's fucking hard. But if I know there's a a reward at the end of it all. Yeah. And it's only for a year. It's like, dude, a year of your whole life. Like you have, you know what I mean? You'll have so many years. (laughs) Yeah. Like a lot of people say like, oh, I always have craving for junk food and like sweets. You don't have it. Yeah. Even on on the bulk, like my mom goes to me, do you want an egg McMuffin from McDonald's today? No. I had oats and Greek yogurt. Do they still do the uh, subways every week? Nice. Uh, I uh, I dipped my toast into there. You got, got it. it. That was a yeah. big case that thing. I remember that on the, the dub ways? Mondays usually. Yeah, it's Wednesday, Wednesday now. It's usually Wednesday now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It used yeah. to be Mondays. It was a sub. Mon- Mondays Dubway. Fridays Pizza Day. Still Pizza Day on Fridays. Good times. <laughs> Papa Terry's homemade pizza will fuck Yo. you up. Holy okay. shit! Whenever you go to the house to drink and there's pizzas in the kitchen. Yeah. Let's get real. How three about si- three styles. Oh, Ooh. how about that meatloaf? Yo, yeah. big, big fan of the meatloaf. Fuck, big fan of the meatloaf. Yeah, because that's just protein. You can yeah. get all of that. That's just fucking deadly. That Papa was a- Terry's a cook. He's just a guy, and he's just a and cook. And he's just a cook. <laughs> <laughs> but he's been chefing it up in the kitchen since he was like fucking 15. Nah, like, yeah, a, like, bro, I remember uh, back in early a piece in the pit. He used to have his little fucking what? little catering truck in there. What? Yeah, 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 that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. You remember when we used to do like hot dog day or whatever? No. I, I think it was hot dog day, right? Yeah, something Yo, like that, yeah. Please jog my memory. Explain yeah, so me. he came into the pit with like his when fucking we're in elementary tra- school. Yeah, elementary school. he had his trailer and he... Hosted what? A hot dog day or something. Thought, yeah. Or something. I don't know. It was what some, the fuck something he did. Yeah, yeah. But it was great food. With man. like his big trailer for when he was with Ontario Pork and everything. Up, yeah. Bro. Yeah, that's crazy, Shut man. Mm-hmm. He always talks about going back into like the restaurant business, like opening up his own shit and like just like a 12 to like 6. That's it. Yeah. And just like, here's a simple menu. Come in, buy what you want, kind of shit. A lot that's lots nice. less stressful than what he's doing right now. Yeah, for sure. Construction's a, a lot. He's still doing construction yeah. now? Dude, he has like two rows. How old is he, bro? 56? Yeah. He's getting like, up there. He has like two rotator cuff tears and like both shoulders. And he's like taping. So like drywall yeah, and then yeah, yeah. with mud like this all day. Yo. Wow. Yeah, like it's brutal. He comes home tired. He's exhausted. He can't like put a, <laughs> a stool up. <laughs> well, he level with his. Yeah, but like when you're on the, at the ceiling, like, you yeah. know. Like, yeah, you got to go up. He's yeah. f- he's fucking superhuman. 
Good guy. Great guy. That's crazy. Yeah. Those yeah. are the guys that never die, though, because their fucking brain is so... You can't kill him. Yeah. You can't kill no, him. man. Not at all. He won't die. Good guy. Yeah. Good time. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. Fuck, I want to just get absolutely shittered right now. I'm on like a... I know, you told me like you gotta, you can't get drunk. No, I can't, yeah. It's so tough. I'm like, yeah. fuck. Like, See, I should really we'll get you. I should have that mentality. I don't. No. <laughs> like, I still go out. Yeah. It's like, I gotta drive somewhere. I'll still do it. Well, even last night, a couple White Claws, we had three, I had three White Claws, we had a Cottage Springs, and then we drank a bottle of wine. Dude, Dude wine to... gets me. Yeah, we Red crushed wine? the fucking white wine that we brought. Oh for Sarah. my god, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Dude, wine. But like, fuck, I wasn't bad. It, it was... fucks you up. No, it's okay. I didn't wake up hungover. Thank yeah. God. Thank God. Like even like my path from your so leaving your house like to get to Renouf's is literally I go pretty much to Matisse and he's on Botfield. He's literally by your yeah, house. Yeah, so it's yeah. just all back roads. Like, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, that's fine. So lightish. Got there, started hitting some water, some other things. That was it. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> That was it. Do you know what? We'll have you back on, and we'll we'll make sure it's a night where you don't got anything going on afterwards. Let's just do a fucking Thursday. Yeah, we'll we'll do a Thursday. All right, All right next Listen, Thursday we we go Thursdays, dude. We go Wednesdays. We go Thursdays. Yeah, Thursdays. We, we go whatever the fuck you want. Whenever, whenever. It's a good time. Oh boy. Holy shit. Was the phone? Hmm. Oh boy. Okay, yo. So, uh, no, you go, please. No, I was just gonna ask a question. I was, just, I was just literally just gonna say, so you're just picking a blower after this, and then. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pick her up, and honestly, I'm gonna go back to my house, or whatever. So I was like, "Fuck." Yeah. We're all set from there. Game it's, night? What kind of game? I just got, blower. I got that Jackbox type of shit. That game's always sick. Games if, like that. If your ass comes, but you're going downtown. <laughs> Mr. I'll, downtown. Yeah, I'll be there yeah. for a. I will come for a bit. Number six. You're you're exceeding my number six. I'm exceeding the number six. Yeah. So when you he, win, you out. When he leaves, can I bring Joanna? There you go. He's kicked <laughs> out. He can't come back. Swap it out. That's it. I'm done. I know. I'm. Wow, done. Mama Karen is really strict. Yeah, she's fucking strict on this shit and this fucking COVID. I'm like, Ma, why are you bitching about? It? Yeah, Matt stays at home. Ricky stays at home. Bianca stays at home. Laura stays at home. It's literally us two who work together. Together, yeah. There's like, you guys uh, want to come here? Huh? You guys want to come here? I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm really okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, dude. Like, if we want to start I'm my very I, down. If we want to start at my yeah. house, like play games, we can do that. And then, and like, then we can come here. I'm about it. I'm down. It's okay. up to you. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah, I, don't, I don't know if it's. I'll a see if uh, Sarah's down. Maybe we'll convince. Jay to, to, to not go wherever the fuck he has to go. He's not going to go. No, there's no chance. Well, I can't get into his head because they fuck Stack's opinion, but if you get into his head. <laughs> no, no, no. Tonight, tonight, you can't. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, all good. It's all good. Because I got somewhere to go after the Rondo. Technically, Which, you don't. <laughs> I don't know. I like hearing the story. You I choose to. I choose to. It's a choice that is being made. But those fucking chicks who are a bunch of like. SK girls. No, I'm not like, talking about them. That I'm just going to because oh. it's a party. I'm talking about oh. going after, after. Oh, after. After, after. After. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I'm down for whatever. I like, buddy. I have like a two six of whiskey at home. Just call it. Oh wow, you're, you're getting into one tonight. Oh, I got two beers oh, at home fuck. and just not right now. Yeah. Wow. Just because you have to go. Just because you have to drive. Yeah, that's why I got the neutrals. Because never thought of that. Yeah, neutrals don't do shit. You guys wanted to drink, so like, fuck. Okay, whatever. But yeah, no, I'm getting into one. We'll get you on here when you can actually drink. I'm gonna start slurring my words, be like, "Stand it up." That's all good. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Rodman, dude! What a guy. Yeah. That's just a guy. Fuck, right that's a guy. Fuck me, Rodman. Dennis, did yo. Watch, did you watch that podcast with Adam Twenty One? He showed me. That's so we were funny. driving back from your cottage. That's what you listen to. That's so funny, yeah, dude. Yeah. He's All the, so cool. I love. I love Dennis Rodman from the MJ doc, and then yeah, yeah I love that. Guy. All the time. What? <laughs> yo, he's just so in his own. He's like a Kanye. He's just so in his own. Yeah, head. So it's in amazing. His own head. It's crazy. Amazing. 
Bro, we were listening to one actually at work one day. It was uh, so Mike Tyson has his own podcast called Hot Box. With I've Mike seen Tyson. it. I've seen it. And he had Dennis Rodman on it. as a guest. Dude, <laughs> Holy I gotta fuck. watch it, dude. Those two guys back in the nineties were. F- yeah. <laughs> oh my dude, god, dude. Anything that comes out of fucking Tyson's mouth kills me. Like whenever he laughs, like. <laughs> 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 Bro, Tyson, yeah. Tyson kills. That guy's crazy. He's got a big fight. Eight days. Actually. I'm psyched eight, for that. Eight days. I, eight days. I really want to like. Wow. I want to pay per view that. I want to see that fight. We you don't. Yeah, we can get it for yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 for Every sure. time he fights, da, da, I'm big. I'm big. <laughs> I feel like he'll fuck him up. He'll Debo. And you know what? Unfortunately, I hate to say it. I do feel like Jake Paul is gonna fuck up Nate Robinson. Yeah, you hate to say Dude, it. Dude, I hate fuck to say it. Yo, I does. don't like Jake Paul, bro. That's no, why you don't I, like him. I don't like him. I like I, Logan. I don't, I don't like. Jake. I do not. Okay, yo, I'm with you on that. I do not like Jake's vlog style. I do not like Jake's personality. Like it's just it's crazy to me. He's just, he's but out like there. He's he like, has like, not lost a fight, and I like the confidence. And I want to just if he can at least in that little niche of his world, that little pocket of his world, continue to fuck shit up. I, I think that's cool. Yeah, he'll definitely. He's uh, he put up a video. Of him like sparring with a bunch of dudes, and he was like fucking all yeah. these guys. He's like, way more ruthless than Logan. He is. He is. The only the only thing I can see maybe happening is just because Nate Robinson posts YouTube videos and Instagram videos of him like doing these little like punch like you know little like sparring thing. Not even sparring, just little like practicing these mocking techniques or whatever. So he like to me he doesn't look like he's good. Everyone's saying he he might just be doing this just to show that he might not be able to actually fight. But then smart. That's what I'm saying. Smart. Because if you think about Nate Robinson, he's literally, I think he's only two inches shorter than Jake, but he like he played college ball. He played in the NBA, like, and he's he's solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very yeah, solid. Yeah. So I mean, that's I don't know. It, it'll be very interesting to see. Um, Listen, as know. much as like people hate YouTubers, I think it is still interesting. I don't know. I think it's cool. I hope the Paul brothers get knocked the fuck yeah, you out. Don't like him, man. I he doesn't like him. He hates him. Do hate not him. like him. But you're not into any of that scene. That's the thing. Fitness podcast. Fitness, yeah. No, no, no. no Fuad. No. We're not saying podcast, but Great like podcast. the vlog style LA people, Dude, like really into them. that young young demographic group of fuck people. Them. Yeah, you don't I'm like not going to lie. What, Danny Dope? Danny Duncan. That guy's funny. He likes Danny Duncan that a lot. Funny. Who's yeah. that? He's a guy who, uh, he does vlogs, but it's like, he just does whatever <laughs> the fuck he wants. It's He's fun. an idiot. I love it. Like the Nelk Bros? Yeah, but like even further than yeah. like, Well, he just he does like yeah. It's really you really just have to watch. It's okay, hard to explain, okay. but he's just he does whatever he wants, and he just it, it speaks to him. Yeah, it's it, yeah. It's, Do you ever watch the Nelk uh, Brothers or what is it? Nelk, Nelk, Boys? Nelk Boys. The odd time on I our, showed him Steve will do it. That's it. The odd time on our break, he'll show me some podcasts, and I'll just I'll some of them are funny. Yeah, some of them it. I look at them and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I get my food from your fridge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Cool. Yeah, I'll be back. Gotta eat. Good. Gotta mm-hmm. eat. Um, yeah, definitely Taco Bell is the move after this. Wow. I've been on a huge Taco Bell. Fucking, really? Yeah, it's cheap, know, isn't it? I don't know what it is. Yeah, it's, is it still a dollar taco? I don't think so. Maybe. You, so the thing is, you can get two soft shell tacos, but it comes out to like $8. What? It doesn't make sense to what? me. What? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. $4 to me. a taco? Yeah, it makes they must sense. be getting popular. That's why. I don't know. What anyway, the fuck? We'll, go, we'll go in there and I'll try to I'll work them a bit. See what I can do. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, the vibes are necessary. Oh, absolutely, for sure. Ugh. Deal with this right now. It looks like a lot. Yeah, I do. This is this is my second beer. Yeah, this is my second neutral. I've been drinking a lot of this uh, monster. Monster, yeah. Either had our shots which is definitely a lot slower paced than what what took place wednesday (laughs) i'm sorry but what they what took place wednesday (laughs) i haven't even we have not even watched the vlog we have no fucking idea i don't know what happened but we're sorry about that that was a that was woof. let's uh pour he said a half shot pour ourselves a half shot so when he comes back and he eats his food yeah 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 oh you're what put that yeah how the fuck are you so quick with that? Don't fuck around. We were just uh, scheming to pour you another shot so you would have to take it. Okay. <laughs> okay, twist my arm. <laughs> so I hit my grab in that pocket. Yeah, the half shots are honestly what, what has to go. That's it, you know. Like, listen, drink as you want, but mix in a little couple half shots here and there. You don't got to go the full mile. <laughs> That's it. Take your time with it. That's all it is. That's it. Take your time with it. Oh, you're good. You're good. You're good. Sorry. Send me uh, behind you. Send me anything that's towel looking.
Sorry about that. A little too much on the pull on the push there. Um, <laughs> what he said was like, "This is in my. This is in your bedroom." I'm like, it is pretty fucked that it's in my bedroom. <laughs> pretty sick that it's in your bedroom. Um, it doubles. As, uh, so it's a half, so here you go. Uh, Whenever you're ready. No yeah, rush. I gotta eat first. No rush. Breakfast um, all over again. Uh, I got my finger. Are you alright? Yeah. Appreciate you being here. Dude, honestly, that's been a lot of fun. Put the right. uh, mic to your face. Fuck. You're good. You're good. You're good. Thank you. This has been a lot of fun. Uh, I already knew before I was coming on. I was like, dude, honestly, I'm either a gonna be eating on this fucking thing, or I'm gonna be drinking on this. Side. Yeah, You're doing both. We'll get you. Look at that. Nutrition. You gotta get nutrition. <laughs> oh, wait. Pussy. You know me. Hey, e. said, what did you say? Have you sponge dove into Joanna's ass yet? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? What? what? <laughs> sponge dove. Is that what you said? No. no. I drive. Have you dove face first in between her <laughs> cheeks yet? Oh. I had to think about it for a second. I think the answer is no. Nope. A little sneaky sneaky between the cheeks, cheeky. He says always, I, I go, it's because I haven't hung out with you in a, in a minute. You've always been the guy to convince me to do this creepy, not creepy. creepy yeah, freaky, yeah, correct yourself. Freaky shit. Like yeah. But um, it's good because they like it. They do. They See, like, like it. There's a lot of stuff out there that people like may look at you like what the fuck's wrong with you and it's like the fuck's wrong with you why yeah. don't you do it yeah 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 what's wrong with you as much as they want to deny it jay like <laughs> what <laughs> sorry <laughs> what eat the ass come on jay no eat i don't need ass, ass bro no see jay if it's clean i don't care if it's clean what that's where fuck shit off. comes out i'm not putting my mouth to that wait you fucking would you me? fuck it even then, uh, really? Wow. I mean, if, if Jay. Having, I have to be very in the mood to do it, but wow. you know what? what I, the fuck? I, I think it's a white guy thing because I don't, it is. I, 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 <laughs> it I, is. Black guy's a little finicky about that. I it asked, is. I asked Pat too. I was like, dude, would you eat the ass? He's like, nah. But then I asked Mitch. He's a white guy. I was like, would you eat the ass? He's like, yeah. I was like, what? Why? It's what? a huge white guy. Thing. Yeah, black guys are not into like the gay shit. Not sorry, not that it's gay, but just like yeah, it's far from it. The whole thing, like, <laughs> like if yo, if you came to my house and like so, if you're walking around. Like naked here, it'd be whatever, right? If you were in my house walking around naked, and, oh, a and yeah. AA Ron was over, he'd, he'd literally Bro, hit you in the he face. He said, yeah. "I made Hayes at breakfast today. He was shirtless. That doesn't fly in your house. Uh, it would be okay, but it'd, it'd be questioned. Yeah, it'd be, it would get questioned. Like Aaron would look and be like, I mean, I was, even my Hayes mom said, would be like, what the fuck? Your I, was doing? Cool well, I was cool with it. Well, it was like back in power. Well, get this thing. When I was changing in the guys' change room, as every guy does, I take my boxers off, put on my Fresh boxers, because I'm, like, I'm not going to walk around in sweaty boxers. No. Mark, Mark, one of Marquise's friends, you know Marquise. Yeah. He goes, yo, dog, you're so gay, you want to fuck us. Put your pants back on. It's like, how old are we, guys? Yeah. How old yeah, are we? Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's in the black hole. It's just, yeah. I, I think it's shit. like the hockey mentality. Because if you're a hockey player, you guys, yeah. it's a, we're a little weird. Yeah. But, no, it's, yeah, I don't know. I was like, fuck off. He said, when you are done with this meal. I'm going to get you to fix the mic a little bit. Just get it like, uh, yeah. See that space? See if you can kind of get it closer. It's all, you can, uh, yeah, use your, yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then just get the mic a little bit closer to it. You're good, buddy. I got it. Sorry, I don't want to disrupt your meal here. Buddy, there you it's go. All good. You're good. And then we'll just, when you're done, swing it a bit. Gotcha. Very nice. Thank you. But, um. Makes my life easier in the post, you know? Yeah. You're, I know, like. Like, boom. Sorry. That was loud. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, whenever like, I'm around you, I'm like, you know, I'm getting changed, you know, dick swaying. Yo, you know I haven't I mean? seen, I, we didn't see Jay's dick for like years. Yeah. Years. That's like locked Jay, we were curious, bro. You're our only black friend. I know. <laughs> yeah. So I you don't play hockey? I know, yeah. We're weird. We are pretty weird. I guess, uh, in that sense comfortable with your sexuality yeah you know what actually that's <laughs> that's that's the mood these eyes, days dog lgbtq plus, plus oh, we, we support, support you 100 <laughs> no did you see that clip i did yeah, it was good eh? honestly 
I love them. I have gay friends, both yeah. lesbians and gays. I fucking love them. They're so cool. Like, everything they do, like, good for you guys. Everybody who shits on them, go fuck yourself. Like, yeah. just let them do them. Like They're cool, dude. And the same thing, like, if you're a straight person and you whatever, who gives a fuck? Yeah. You know who I love? It makes you able to, like, confront your own yeah. shit. Yeah. You know what I really love? Lesbians. Yeah. In particular, Pat. I was about to say, you know who actually <laughs> loves lesbians? Pat. Pat. I love Pat. Pat's That's like, a great story. Pat's one of the ones where it's like, she's a girl, but because she's she's gay or whatever, it's like, even if you bring your girl out, <laughs> you still got to kind of watch Pat. You don't know what's going to go down, you know? Because Pat will get right in there. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Come oh. on. And what a privilege to fucking know that guy. Crazy, We've man. talked about no, him no, so no. much. Pat, uh... McTavish. No. Oh. Pat. Oh. Pat. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch oh. out for her. Yeah, watch yeah. out for her. Yeah, watch out for Pat. Yeah, the female Pat. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, she'll, she'll Patricia. Get, <laughs> oh. She'll get her way in there like. Wow. Yeah, yeah she, you know what? She's pretty cool to it. I think. But she's I chill. Like, girls like, like, oh, dude, like I'll ride for Pat every day. Yeah, like a yeah? week. Bro, yeah, you gotta every love Pat. Pat. I love yeah, she's Pat. Good. She's awesome, man. Like before me and Laura started dating, she tried to shoot her shot with Laura. I was like, yeah. Really? Killer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah went to one. the ha- Halloween at Rebel, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Pat was there, dancing with Lauren. <laughs> it's like, what's going on here? Yeah, no, you're not okay with that? <laughs> no. Yeah. But you know Laura's never going to be gay. Yeah. It's still, no? Wait, what? Mm. Yeah, no. Wait, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. No. You're done here with your food, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you want to give it a minute? No, 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 no. matara. That's the robia. Hey, said as if I didn't have enough caffeine with your pre workout today. 320 milligrams of that shit? It's just a little deficient. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll kill the taste. Oh, I'm like the- trying to force this shit down your guys' throat. <laughs> it killed the taste. You know who pulled the same shit yesterday? Um, when I got to Renuf's house, Sebby. So Seb was there and he was lit. And Seb comes up to me and he goes, Hey, man. And just punches me square in the chest. So what the fuck, Seth? <laughs> Chill out, man. That guy's awesome. I love that guy. Yo- We're going to have to, like, from this point, 10 seconds ago, cut out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, cut I out. I will do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he won't be Where, where's the time that's slot good. on that's, this? Where's the time true. slot on this? Time slot. <laughs> where's the I time got, slot? I got it all figured out. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I know. I, yeah, he's, because Hayson knows, we talk about all the time. Like, he's good at what he does, yeah. But, yeah, uh, yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Fuck, I need a new job. You got it. The, the, yeah. the more- <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> not like that at all, bro. I if literally not like that because I've done the delivery business as well, man. It's really fucking enjoyable. I love fucking being in a truck all day. I yeah. love being outside all day. I like it a lot. You're a driver. I yeah, it's yo. I I'm just outside. I like being outside, <laughs> yeah. man. I love it. I love it. That's why I was to get another job. I want to do something with construction because it's outside yeah. and it's fast, but it's though. harder. It like, is. bro, if you've yeah. learned for your dad anything, it's like, yo, it's a tough industry to 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 really like get used to because it it'll wear away over the years. The thing I learned, I mean, you'll is, get jacked. Yeah, <laughs> you know. The thing I learned is that like, people always tell you like the job is brutal, it's brutal. It's like, all right, like I wanted to do concrete shit. My dad's like, well, you're inhaling like toxins yeah. the entire day. You're gonna get cancer. It's like, dude, I joined the army. Yeah. I could have gotten shot if I got deployed. Like, like, but yo, didn't that mentality change once you met Laura? No. 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 <laughs> the, the, yeah. the thing that changed was that joining the army part time. The it's not worth it. It wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it. Like the the amount of effort time that they wanted you to do was like, like no, like okay, how, how the army works is um so you do. When you're joining part time, you do 13 weeks on and off. So one week on, one week off, one week on, on the bus. Straight week, like what weekend, we weekend. Okay. So you go okay. Friday at like 7 p.m. and then you don't leave until Sunday 7 p.m. What they wanted? Oh wow, you sleep there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you, oh yeah, oh, you're wow. there. Wow. So like, you would be there. So it's 13 weeks, off and on. And then after you do that, they want you to do another program that's seven weeks straight. Wow. So even if you have a full-time job, they expect you to quit your job yeah. That's to do this 
or you complete it every other weekend, but it's going to be like 14 weeks to complete. So it's like, you want all this work, you're getting paid minimum wage. It's like, if I were to do it, <clears throat> excuse me, I would do it full time. But like in a relationship, you got to commit to it. Yeah, you really got to commit to it. Like, like not leaving, even a relationship, but a life. You're leaving yeah. friends. You're leaving family yeah. behind. Yeah, and you're yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. devoted yourself to the country to serve the country. Yeah. Yep. Like when I first joined, I wasn't dating Laura, so I was like, "Fuck it, let's just go full. Let's just do it. Fuck it." But then I dated Laura, and it's like, you know what? Yeah, because like you're there. It's like Friday night. 12 in the morning, you can't sleep, and you're looking at... The, yeah, that's, that's first of all, that's such a bitch thing they did. <laughs> they have you guys stay at Fort York, but yeah. you can look out the window and see King Street of all the clubs yeah. and shit going on. That's so Yo, fucked. what? Yeah. That's I, so fucked. Because I was at Fort York Army, right? So I was just camping out there, and I'm like, I'm looking out my window, and I see cond- rondos with lights on at 12 in the morning, and then I wake up at 4 in the morning to do a, a walkabout, the premises. Lights are still on. It's like... You They're fuckers going. are partying. I was aren't probably you? I was probably somewhere yeah. walking in there. You know what I mean? And here I am, I'm like fuck me. Like I'm yeah. getting like shit on. I mean, not that there was anything wrong with it. I didn't think there was anything wrong with what I was doing. It was a lot of fun. I got ripped apart too. First day there, dude. First day there, uh, we went to the armory to go get our shit. So this is like 50 people, three bags a person, all in an area, trying to find out the end of the day. That's fucked. So I go home and I'm like opening up my bag and shit and I find someone else's gear. I was like, ah, oh, fuck. You, you picked up the wrong bag? Like his name was H. It's like it was like Harfield or something. Mine's Haystack. So it's like, <coughs> fuck. So I go back and I was texting. Him. I was like, yo, do you have my shit? He's like, no. I was like, oh, no. So I go back and I'm missing my shit. And like one of the SART, uh, officers threw all my shit in the middle. I was like, who's missing shit? I was like. He's like, where the fuck's your shit? I was like, I don't have it. Why the fuck don't you have your shit? Just yelling at me in my face, like, I don't know, man. He's like, pick your fucking shit up, do it again, and you're gonna and you're gonna wow. do fucking push-ups. I was like, yeah, I'll do push-ups. See, I can't. Uh, that's why I could never join. The, I can't do that. I just have this I have this mentality when, like, I'm a nice guy, but when someone starts talking to me in that kind of tone in that way. Even if it's like a sergeant or an officer or something, I just lose my. Shit. I just I can't. I, yeah. Like it did. Even if my own mother, she starts talking like that, it's like I. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna start snapping. I can't. I don't. Yeah. If you're like, the shit, like I don't. Know, you fucking figure. Like I don't know. I. Did you like it? Like, See, the thing is, I didn't mind it. Yeah. Yell at me. I don't care. Discipline. I don't mind it. Yeah, like, yeah. we got woken up at four in the morning. Did our little walk around the premises and shit. Make sure nobody's trying to break in and shit. And like <laughs> break in. Yeah, hundred percent. Who's trying to break in? Paris. I swear to God, I'm not lying to you. We can't. We could. Terrorists are trying to break <laughs> into the Fort York when there's a club full of people down the road. We were not allowed. That I was probably in. We were not allowed to pull social media or walk around in uniform around the streets just in case there was a terrorist attack. Wow. So they're we, trying to get you in the mentality. Yeah. So sure. doing that and then like five in the morning wakes up and they're like, you have to wake everybody up. You have to wash the floors. Everybody needs to shower. Everything needs to be done within like 45 minutes. Ha. Huh. Wow. Yeah, and, like, they'll start yelling at you. Like, I filled my cantina up, like, our water jug, and they don't want to hear – they don't want to hear that at all because if you're, like, you're doing a nighttime uh, attack, yeah, they don't yeah. want to hear swishing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah to the yeah, point wow. where we're trying to fill our water bo- water bottles up, but because of the angle, you can't fill it fully. So I'm, like, <laughs> I'm drinking water through the tap, and I'm spitting it into my cup just wow. to fill it up to the point where all you hear – the guy goes up to me, and he's, we're doing a check-in. He gets my water, he shakes it, and he's like, here's a little bit. He's like, I can hear water. Throws the cantina. I'm like, all right, man. I have no idea where the fuck that went. <laughs> Carry on our day when everyone. Wow. We go to a class, and they're like, everybody, where's your cantina? I don't have mine. They're like, where the fuck's your cantina? I was like, someone, the when we were doing our check-ins, uh, one of the officers threw it. Why are you blaming the officer? This is your fucking fault. Yeah. Keep your shit together. I was like, all right, man. Man, I didn't wow. mind it. I did not mind it. I, 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 can't, I don't I can't. mind it. I, I would have lost my shit on. I feel like I would people. like it too. Like it'd be interesting. Yeah. So it's like it's the discipline and all the strict of it all wasn't the issue. It was when I'm in a relationship, I'm really devoted and in it. And honestly, like part time army, you're not no. making as much as you would do yeah. a full time job. Yeah. So I off that. So. But I feel like the main thing for me, the reason why I just can't do that is take a piss. Yeah. Go ahead. Um, cause when I was younger, 
like when I was like a little child, like when I would get in shit, I'd get in trouble or whatever, because I was so small. My mom, you know my mom. Yeah. She's, she's big. She's tall. She's, she's tall, tall yeah. right? Yeah. She would like slap me around, yell at me, <laughs> and I had nothing to say. Like she, like literally, they just talking. It was a bop, 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 like crazy. I was like, fuck, right? But then, what's that wall? <laughs> it's crazy, right? But then when I was able to get bigger, and then she would still try to pull the same shit. I was like, I'm big enough now, where it's like I'm not gonna take this shit. Yeah. So it's like I, I get it. it's like a discipline thing for sure. But I, I just as much as I like, I'd understand. I'm in the army. This is how it, how they operate here. This is how it works. Something would just snap in my head yeah. eventually where I would just be like, I'd literally be like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. I would just lose my shit. It's, it's tough. Cause, yeah. Because like you, yeah. It's, it's, you kind of got to sit there and just take what you got it, It's for the better, for, yeah. by all means. But you kind of like, if, if I filled my water and the guy just dashed my water, I'd literally be like, <laughs> I'm going home. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like, they'll, like, you'll be huffing and puffing during your workouts and they'll be like, if you don't like this, go home. Be a quitter. Go home. We don't want you here. So that and that okay and that see the thing with me is when they'd be like be a quitter go home. when it comes to that aspect yeah. by all means I I'd probably still do it because that's just they're trying to just get in your head yeah one hundred percent right it's just like when it comes to the the physical aspect of it that's like I get that hundred percent but when it's like the shit you're telling where it's like you fill up the water and they hear a little thing and then they're dashing it's like what like what the fuck like I and I get it yeah it's, you got to be silent it's a, a whole serious game but just my mindset at the time I would just. I, I, I would probably snap, realistically, probably get kicked out or sent home, whatever. Yeah. And then I'd probably regret it when I got home, obviously, right? But I'm just kind of that one of those guys which like, I'm so nice, but it's like when there's that one thing that just ticks me off, I yeah. just fucking snap. Like, you've barely ever seen me get mad, right? Oh, you're like me. Like, yeah, you don't get mad. Barely, get, yeah. barely get mad, but like when I do get mad, like I, I snap, like I, I see black and I just fuck, I lose yeah. my shit. It's just, and it's not good. It's not good at all. Yeah, it's. I don't like it. It's definitely an eye opener for like those who aren't disciplined. Yeah. But like I'm for, not for, for, for like for me, like I've always had like the army background even before I joined the army. You guys know Call of Duty, war movies, all that shit. Like, I got the army background. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I fucking yeah. love the army. Like everything about it, they're fucking awesome. Like they're they're heroes. Like it's awesome. So I already knew the mentality I was getting myself into. So when I'm getting yelled at, I'm like, all right. Have you ever like snap Jay like with just us when you see red? Uh, I don't. I have you ever seen me get mad? You right. Haven't. No, the, I've gotten mad. On yeah, 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 yeah. But no, I've never foosball seen table. Hey, yeah. rest no in peace. more. Rest in peace. Yeah, me. Um, no, I, 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 I it's rare. It's, it's extremely rare. like. There's a lot to tick me off. It, it takes a lot to really yeah. get pissed off. Um, the, the most is probably when. It, yeah, okay. Let's cut that out. We'll yeah, cut yeah, that yeah. out. We'll, we don't want to add that. Yeah, get, okay. We're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll have to cut that one out. But that was, but for example, that was yeah. those ones where I just I got so pissed off, or I just I wasn't thinking yeah. what I was doing, and I just, yeah, yeah, lost it. I think that's the scary thing too, is that like because we don't show it. Like I, I know you don't yeah. show it either, but Betty, so like, that's a scary thing. Like we look so calm and everything, but then yeah. you hit that breaking point, and then when you. Exp That's why you're saying the one day, if, if me and you were to ever get into like an actual heated fight, I'd be scared. It, it'd be fucked. <laughs> that I don't know what the fuck would yeah. go down. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. Yeah, man. Like, I've, I've never like gotten really upset. Like I've gotten in my own head and like been like a fucking asshole and been a shit head to you've taken a brunt of that a couple of times, man. Like I remember being like in my head about whatever shit was going on in my own life. And I would take it out on you because you were my best friend because you are my best friend because I would like use you as an outlet to like exude whatever shit I was going through. But it was, it was never like anger, but yeah. um, nevertheless, yeah, yeah, you've taken those a couple of times, which yeah, that's the kind of person that you are. Like you're able to take it and understand like, okay, I don't have the time to deal with this shit. This person's obviously going through something and I'll take it. And I'm not going to say my own shit back because I don't want to get into something, but um yeah, yeah, no, I don't think I've ever gone red or anything like that. Yeah, no. no. It's because I know, too, even if you lose your shit on me, I know, like, okay, you, next day you're going to be fine. Yeah, yeah you're just going yeah, through something. Yeah, just, just let it be. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. I think the only time I fucking snapped was back when me and Laura were just talking. We weren't dating. Yes, you broke yes. your hand? Remember the night? No, that was Not another night. One. That was another night. And, uh, the, in front of the LCBO? Yeah, that yeah. was fucked up. Yeah. Yeah, I don't stand for that shit. Yeah. 
I think I just share when like a guy fucks with a chick and like some kind of. Oh, I lose it, dude. When we were at Solaris yeah. and the boys got into remember that huge scrap what took place. I kind of stood to the back or whatever, but it was um what's it testimony or was it Baraka? I think it was Baraka. It was Baraka, Baraka, and some guy threw a punch. Obviously not intended for her, but he missed and ended up hitting her in the face. And I fucking lost my shit on the guy. I was like, bro, don't fucking pull that shit. Yeah. Don't be hitting women or whatever. He's like, yeah, my bad. I didn't mean to hit her or whatever. So it's cool. But still, it's like, I don't tolerate it. Even, um, we were talking about it the other day. The um, We were at... Uh, full Flex. Full Flex. Yeah. And the guy was snapping at his girlfriend. And yeah. I looked at you and go, bro, you down to fuck this guy up? Yeah, shit 100 fucking percent. Yeah. And let me get into this, actually, because this is <laughs> fucked up. There was a night when we were at Port House. You remember this night? There was a guy bitching at his girlfriend, yes. like yelling at his girlfriend at the top of his lungs to the point where it literally looked like he was going to hit her. So Hasted being the good guy he is, he, we, first of all, we were across the street from each other, but he yelled at the guy. He goes, bro, like, just chill, chill, chill the fuck out. It's cool, whatever. The girl turns around and goes, shut the fuck up and mind your business. Yo. Bro, he's just trying to help you out. Are yeah, you yelling yeah, at him for yeah, what the fuck? Because yeah, yeah. if he hits you, he's not going to come and help you now. Like after you said that shit, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Know, they're fucking stupid. I don't get it. It makes no sense to me. No, shut up, mind your business. You know what? You want to get fucking beat to a pulp? No problem. <laughs> <laughs> want no to go problem. medieval times on your ass? Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck, dude. Yeah, it's like that fucking time I saw it, man. We were drinking and uh, it was back before me and Laura were dating. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. She was downstairs about to go into the bathroom, and some guy's, like, trying to get her into the guy's bathroom and everything. Like, you'll come here, do this drug, blah, blah, blah. She's like, no, 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 no. And then she comes upstairs crying. I was like, all right, fuck this. Let's leave because, like, this isn't our scene anymore. Yeah. As we're leaving, we see the guy outside. And me being, like, half in the bag and, like, after seeing what you do to a woman, it's like, all right, adios. You're dead. Yeah. So then You're she's like, that's the guy. Instantly stopped, ran to him, threw him at a cab. And then he fell on the ground, and I just started wailing on him. Yeah, that's snuffing it. Snuffing on his face, and like he started bleeding through the mouth and everything. I was like, That's it, man. Hey, you're fucked. That's when it comes to a certain moment. It's like, even I remember watching, so I used to go to the boys' hockey games all the time. And Ty, Ty's a very nice guy, Stacks. like, very nice guy. And I've never seen him get mad, but this was the one time where, um, so Jay, I believe, cross checked the guy. And the guy fell. Jay, uh, Jay, Ty's brother. Jay, Ty's brother, yeah. And the guy got up and took a stick and he two handed Jay in the leg. And wow. Jay immediately, and Jay's a big guy, but Jay immediately hit the deck. Ty literally saw that. He's like, Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, I've never, like, I've never seen Ty's mouth. Like, Ty literally, the guy was literally skating backwards to get away from him. And Ty was <laughs> charging him, got yeah, the guy, yeah. got him on the ground. And, like, the guy's literally yeah, like yeah. this. And Ty's just fucking feeding him and when i talked to the game and ty's like yo i don't even know what happened. Ty's, Ty literally like, ty's like i literally just saw red he's like i, I didn't know what was going on like, and ty's literally snuffing the fuck out of yeah, this guy yeah, yeah. to the boy point where the boys have to come and grab ty and pull him off i'm like i've never seen ty get that mad in my life but it's just certain situations yeah. you know when it comes to girlfriends especially family too you know brother sister mother whatever yeah, yeah. well know? ty's got a, a past where it's like really understands the importance of family exactly yeah absolutely yeah and um so if it's your brother you ride man. you ride you ride yeah. fuck i'll ride for jay man yeah, guy's yeah, awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. that guy's got the best one-liners in the game <laughs> almost I... next to jer jer's, jer's very close <laughs> holy fuck jer bear no no but sometimes you see red and that's it man. yeah that's what i, I but, saw dude i saw all those kids last night hey J jer uh, Jer, Papa Duke, oh, Mike, really? Money, Devin, Craig, yeah. everyone, everyone was that's crazy. Devin, not the yeah, light yeah, skin, yeah, light skin yeah. Devin, yeah, yeah. Bro, we um, we got into a fight. Hey, it's birthday. Yes, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When well, we we uh, we're at the Hawkstone. Yep, Hawkson. We Hawks got into a fruit. fight that we did. Okay, we don't get into any fights. Like, let's just make that clear. Barely ever. Barely ever. But we were with a bunch of um friends of Hayseed's ex-girlfriend at this time and we were all very close we were a rave group and uh we went out or i went out and yo know, we and a fight instantly started man and um we just went out to check if they were okay they were having a smoke i think we were going for a smoke and i didn't even come out for that one i had no idea yeah. that you guys got into a whole other altercation we got into a prior. huge fight and i had no idea i came inside i'm like yo we got into a fight like yo this is going on and then you guys all came rushing out and I guess another fight started. Like you guys can fill in the gaps because I don't remember too much. Another it was fight started, um, and you. So you came to me and you're like, so I know that you were going to fight prior. At the same time, I was gone, fucked this whole gone. night. I was done. But you go, you like, do you want to go for a smoke? You go, sure, no problem. We go outside. 
I have no concept of what happened, but you just walk up to these two guys having a smoke and you go, yo, that's my fucking hat. And you snatch the hat off the guy's head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this guy just looks and just rocks you in the face. Yeah. And I'm like, again, me being fucked up, I'm like, I walk up, I go, we got a problem, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we got a problem. His boy comes from the left and snuffs me. Yeah. I bro, knees buckle. I'm done on the yeah. ground. That's it. And then, but I, at this point I was knocked out, but. Apparently you came out after you just went head down and just started fucking. Dude, well, like when I'm talking about Jack Taste had protected me, like when I like being around Jack Taste, that was the exact moment that I think of because, mm -hmm. yeah, we had no control. We lost. There, there was a lot of guys that they had, and we lost that fight instantly. And Hase comes out and like not even knowing what's going on, just sees me get snuffed, you get snuffed. I don't know. You could fill this in in a second, um, and just like does your own thing. Dude, it was like cartoon, man. When you see like the steam come out of the fucking ears yeah. and the eyes go red, like, that was it. I was like, that's it. You guys are gonna be fucking yeah, red yeah, now. Yeah. And I just come in. I'm drunk, so I swing like a Mike Tyson. Yeah. <laughs> I missed the first punch. I'm like, shit. So I get a little bit closer and yeah. And I just connect with his face, and I'm just fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. just giving it. And you gave, it, and then the biggest blackest black bouncer I've ever seen in my life had to take you down. Yeah, but he was huge. Yeah, because nobody else could take you. Yeah, you go to these yeah. fucking clubs and you're at the line, and there's like railings that are like at least four feet high. And yeah. um, the guy's behind the railing, chokes me from behind, and like lifts me on my tippy toes and drags, like holds me behind the, the gate. So I'm like hyper extending my back. I'm like, all right, man, I'm good. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm still getting snuffed in the face. I'm like, hey, it's done. Next thing I know, <sighs> I go night night. Yeah. And I remember, I remember, um, you were because I had gotten up at this point, and you were you were out cold on the ground. You were literally just done. Yeah. And then I remember thing was freaking out obviously yeah. at the time. And then I remember Rod just walked up. He goes, "I got this. I got this." <laughs> Grabs you by the shirt, pulls you up, smacks you in the face, you just, <laughs> and your eyes are open too. But he just smacks you. You're like this. Goes one more time, backhands you in the face, hits you again. You go, and you can't. And then that's yeah. when you woke up. I was like, "Holy shit!" I remember the first thing I say when I wake up. Where's my fucking hat? Yeah. <laughs> so all I wanted was my fucking hat. Oh, was, that was your nice. hat? My hat. Dude, fuck, you lost your hat too? Found it though. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they were taking hats, those guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was they like got the kicked out. Um, we didn't get kicked out. They that was like kicked the out. night we went to Hoxton. We're at Gracie's. No, I know that was at Hoxton, but this is a different night. We're at, uh, uh -huh. we're at Gracie's. And uh, we were at Trappers. And Trappers has a little, a little ledge that. So they have a dance floor, and there's a little ledge that usually all just squirrels. Yeah. Like dance. But Rudy said, you know what? Let me do my thing and hops on the ledge. And there's these, like, three brown mans on the ledge that are, like, dancing beside Rudd. So Rudd puts his arm out and throws all three of the mans off the ledge. The guys get, they they, hit, they didn't fall, but, like, they didn't hit the their backs or whatever. But they were just, like, on their feet. They're like, yo, what the fuck's your problem, bro, with this and that? Right. And Rudd's like, Rudd's like, my bad, my bad. Let me help you back up. Gets the guy's hand like this. Goes to bring him back up halfway. And then throws him <laughs> right back. <out. laughs> I love him. So these three guys were like. Yo, you fucking stupid. And they hop up. They go, yo, yo, what the fuck's your problem? Rudd taps me and goes, yo, hop up here, hop up here. And I see what's going on. I go, yeah, so I hop up. <laughs> it was funny because Rudd just goes, yeah, and just points, go, literally yeah. goes like this and points to me. And I go, yo, we got a problem. Because these guys are like five, seven, five, you know, like small guys, right? And they're like, yeah, they're like, yo, I was like, yo, we got a problem here? Standard line, eh? Standard. Yo, we got a problem here? Standard question. They go, we got a problem here? And they're just like, oh, like, I don't know. Your boy's just being a dick, whatever, this and that. I go, they're like, yo, if you guys want to fight, we can fight. I go, say less, no problem. Yeah. Zend, Zendy's at the bar. I go, yo, Zend, we got a, we got an altercation going on. He goes, no problem. He goes, boys, calls, literally called eight mans. So we push these guys back off the ledge so they're on the main dance floor. And eight of our boys just surrounded these three guys. And they're like, yo, like, do you still want to do this? And they're kind of like oh, a little hesitant, whatever. And then we called Banano and Spenny were working security yeah, at the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. And Banano came in and scooped up all three of those guys and just tossed them right out of the bar. Yo, at amazing. Trappers, we really did have numbers. We had numbers yeah. at Trappers. It was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> but it was funny because it was one of those things where, like, I guess everyone was on, like, a like a high for, like, fighting kind of thing, whatever. Yeah. So the thing at the time was um, this chick we know. Yeah. She, she, she was walking past the bar. We were like kind of by the boost or whatever, and this girl like bumped her innocently, right? It was whatever. I didn't think anything of it, but the girl turned around and she goes, "Are you fucking crazy? I'll <laughs> fucking kill you!" And
it goes running up to the chick. I had to grab like, yo, chill out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I feel like it's one of those things where it's just like, you know, like the, the, the energy is very up and everyone just kind of wants to get into their own thing. I was like, yeah, yeah chill yeah. out, chill out. It's fine. I did, she, the girl apologized too. I was like, just calm down. Yeah, yeah. Calm down. I do not like getting into fights. No, I fucking hate it. I do not like it. I do not like it. I don't like it either. Like, There's we, no need for it, yeah. man. Yo, when we got into that altercation, I think you were at Guelph. It was with Paul Neo. Yes. His boy. Yeah. yeah. Yo, they were looking for a fight. Clearly. Bro, I was I was, like, I was standing why? in the middle. I was in the middle just looking around and just there was a fight going on. Tim and to the credit, I respect the fuck out of John Luke for doing this. There was a black dude on the other side was in the fight, and John Luke grabbed the guy by the dreads and was just fucking feeding yeah, this yeah. guy fucking up. <laughs> so I'm like, oh my god. No. That was crazy, but I literally was just in the middle. I'm like, okay, well, I'm not trying to get into this. I, I, and my main focus for all that, I go, where the fuck's Brevetti? And I look, and you're just sitting at yeah. the opposite of the side. No, like, okay, chilling. so you're good. You're good. You're chilling. Yeah, but the, you know those boys. They're a little bit hot-headed, so. Yeah. When we were younger, it was like that. Yeah, you get into the fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, now, too, now no, it's, it's yo. even then, it was it was not. We did not like it, but definitely now, we just do not get into it. No, not at all. Not yeah, because right. you realize it's people just trying to, like, flex. Mm-hmm. I just don't like yeah. fights. Like, fuck, man. I'm about, if I'm going out, like, just I'm chilling. I want to get into a fight, like, no, no like, people go up to me, yo, the boys are in a fight. It's like, yeah. all right. Yeah. I mean, it's you guys, okay, yeah, I'll go, but, like, yeah. yeah. Let's tee up a shot, Jay. What do you think? Sure. Hey, say so you want some? Uh, you good? good? Yeah. Top shot. Bing. We're going to have to. Let's restart this audio quick times. Yeah, yeah I got to be. See you in a second, bitch. Yeah, the uh, the Rudics. Dennis. Great family. Saints. Dennis is gone. That sucks. You hate to see it. I, yeah. I, got, I got blindsided when Bianca was like, she's literally just like, it's going to yeah. suck that Dennis is going to be like, oh, he's at the spa or something? She goes. No, he's 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 dead. I'm like, yeah, right. You fuck? didn't want to tell us this. I had no idea. Yeah, but I, I had no idea. Like, it's such shit. a it's such a rough topic too. Because man, I know you lost your dog too. I lost two of mine. It's the worst fucking time ever. It's crazy. I'm. I mean, listen. A difference between me having dog and cats. I'm waiting for the day for my cat to go. Yeah, That's hate, everybody right hates cats. Yeah, fuck cats, I, dude. My cat's nah, fucked. Nah. Dogs, yo. But like. Okay, yo, if Harley went, yeah, I'm going to be satisfied. I like Harley a lot for his own reason, but I loved Snowball. Yeah. Snowball was fucking a G. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was so chill, oh, man. You get like a crazy bomb with like a, with a pet. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, do, yeah. yeah. Yo, the thing with Harley is he's actually really smart. So as soon as you're off your day, if you're a little bit stressed or being a little bit like fast and loose with the rules and you're a little stressed out and shit like that, he, yo, he'll pick up on it and he'll start hating. You. He'll start being a fucking bitch. So if you're not like on your game of like just okay, I'm chilling, I'm taking me for a walk, yeah. and we're all chilling. He actually is a piece of shit to walk. <laughs> no, for real, man. So like, I don't know. It's a different vibe with Harley versus Snowball. Snowball was always chill. So like, yeah. you were always chill. Um, but yeah, with Harley, it's a, it's a different breed. Dude, I fucking love dogs. Like corgis. Yeah. Oh, these are fucking stupid. You're a big fan of the corgis. Hey, so move, so- move this a little bit closer to you, buddy. Yeah. They're so funny though. Like. Just like their their whole demeanor. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, no, like they're great. Like the way they always look at you and they just smile all the time. It's like, oh, you're so fat. You're like a loaf of bread on like <laughs> two little stubs. Yeah. Four little stubs. Yeah. I still, I still, at some point in my life, I do want to get a pet platypus. Wow. 100%. Wow. Power. I want a platypus as a pet. Just throw it in a fucking aquarium of just sand. That's it. Let him fucking frolic, dude. Let him frolic. Hey, said, okay. cheers. A swamp. Cause I frolic. Rubbing alcohol. You know what? You need a sloth. They got a lot of bacteria on them. They move so slow. Dude, they they move like Thai when you, you oh. know, yeah, Thai. Dude. Yo, Thai. Pass, you know, Thai pass me that water. <laughs> today, today. <laughs> oh but. man, I'll never forget when I heard wow. uh, when Stax told me a story about. When they were at a festival. <laughs> yeah. We're good. Yeah. We're they, good. Keep going. But they're at a festival, Keep man. Going. I'll never forget he told me, and he's like, man, I don't know. This has nothing to do with anything of the topic you guys talked no, about. Fine. But like, you're good. He was at a festival, and uh, you're good. He was absolutely. So he went to uh, EA, ironic, the same one that I want to go to. And, um, <laughs> this is amazing right now. Please keep go, going. Go, go. And um, I'll never forget he told me he was absolutely. Fucked at the rave, and uh, this time he slept in his own car because, yeah. you know, he's fucked. He, he's fucked he's and he's fu- cheap. He's fucked. And he's, cheap. <laughs> he's fucked. And he's, cheap. <laughs> he's fucked and cheap, babe. Yeah, so, fuck that guy. <laughs> so, oh my god. 
and Jay, you know exactly the story because he uh, he called you, and uh, it's like tw two in the morning, and he's in his own car, and he's fucked out of his mind. Looks out his out, out his car window, and he sees Jay there, and he's like, mm. yeah. So he gives him a ring, 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 and he's like, "Yo, Jay, are you at a raft right now?" And Jay's like, "The fuck are you talking about, dude? I'm in my bed in yeah. Toronto." I'm like, bro, two in the morning in my bed in Toronto, and you got to know the thing about our friend Stacks. This is a guy who's like, <laughs> you got to know, this is, this is one of our good friends. He's he's decent looking. He does all right. <laughs> That's it. He's an ugly fucker. But, you know, he just, he's he's one of those guys where when he has fun, he has fun. But he when calls, he lets loose, it's our favorite stuff. It's our favorite. He, it's lets, our favorite he lets loose, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he lets loose. He lets loose. So at, that, yep. so at that point, he's like, fuck, man, I'm fucked. To which he calls one of his friends, he's like, you know what? I can't stay here anymore. I need to bunk with you guys for the weekend. And they're like, yeah, it's totally fine. Yeah. yeah he was fucked that we yeah, when he when he goes out, ooh, that's what I feel like you need. That's what we love though. about that guy. I feel like at Raves, you you always want to like, especially when it comes to the the come down part of doing whatever you're doing. Yeah, yeah tough. You part. definitely want to be with part. people. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. With the people that you love. People that you love. Yo, my sister was asking me the other day, I want to do mushrooms. What do you recommend? Because, you know, I do mushrooms a lot. I go, only thing, because she was talking about going on some spiritual journey about, like, the you know how they facilitate, like, mushroom journeys yeah. in, like, different parts of the world. I go, you don't need any of that shit. All you need to do is do it with people that you love. Yep. People that you're comfortable with, that don't make you feel different, that you really love, and you'll have a good time. Mm. The thing about mushrooms, the key about mushrooms is you want to do it with people that you're super comfortable with. You want to get yourself in the best state of mind so that the mushrooms can take their effect in the best way. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. 100%. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I guess I don't know how the fuck we got into that. Honestly, those are the great topics. Like, yeah. Like another cool. story, like, he was at uh, Stax. <laughs> uh, I really like this uh, Stax guy. Yeah, dude, this guy's fucked. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, good Stax, great guy. Yeah, he, he was at EA <laughs> another year, and... Uh, so he's fucking off his shitter and everything. They go to an after party and uh, one of his friends goes, yo, I have like an extra cab of M. Do you want it? And I'm like, mm, sure, why not? Thing is, this thing comes in a black capsule. Ugh, you don't know what it looks like. It For is, all yeah. of you, that should not be in a black capsule. But Clear capsules? Yeah. Only. That's only. Yeah. Yeah. Only. But Sash's like, yo, fuck it, why not? Because you're fucked. Right? He's fucked, yeah. Because fucking this guy's fucked. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so he splits the cap with someone else and throws it into a twisted tea. And, uh, he's just chilling, enjoying I himself. I love that you threw in the a, black cap in this a guy, twisted tea. This guy threw it in a that, twisted tea. This guy tea. threw it in a twisted tea. Wow. Right? This Why? shows you how the avenue of this guy is. This, the stacks is Listen, you gotta guy. meet this guy one day. Why not? This he's guy's all, amazing. We'll bring, we'll bring him on one day. One we'll bring day. him on, we'll bring one, him on day. one day. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. already 0.7 deep in his ass right now. And like, it's he, crazy how much detail you know about this right? guy. Yeah, like, he tells some wild stories. And, um... Yeah, so he takes us, and like 30 minutes later, he's like, fuck, man. Like, I'm feeling lightheaded. I'm getting the cold sweats and everything. A That's dizzy. the worst, the cold yeah. sweats. Oh, God. And like, he's telling me, he's like, you know what? I, so he's like, so I got up out of this party. I went outside to get some fresh air. And then he's on the street, and he's just wobbling out, out there. So he's like, oh, shit. Yeah. Next thing you know, it's a blacks out. Well, no, he doesn't black out. He knows exactly what the fuck's going on. <laughs> He hits the deck. Really? Legs, legs give out, hands give out, and just onto the ground. Wow. Face plants onto the ground, and he's like, get the fuck up. This isn't the end of our journey. Get the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gets up, shaking. It's like dead of summer. It's like 24 degrees outside. He's out here sweating his balls out, cold as fuck. Calls, so weird, eh? Yeah, calls his friends. He's like, yo, come outside right now. I'm not in a good spot. Yeah. But yeah. Turns out, uh, yeah, a little while down the road, their friend did the same shit. Turns out it was methamphetamine. Shit. Yeah. Poor guy. You really, you really can't be too. You got to. You, you, you sorry. You can't be too careful with you when cannot. it comes to that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Yo. It's like even though you got it from like a friend that he knows, is like you don't know where any of this nah, shit's nah, coming nah. from. Be careful, they, kids. When they get kids, it, be they careful. don't know what. To, yeah. You know. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Yo, let's uh, get into another segment um, off of stacks, but into Haystead. Yo. When you face planted yourself after a <laughs> the wedding, wedding. The wedding. <laughs> and let's get into a wedding conversation oh, first and foremost, man. Jay. First Remember, of all, you guys got to know if you're having any weddings, invite any of the three of us. Yeah, please. Because we will 
I guarantee you, your mother is gonna be a fan of us. Yeah, yeah. For free. And your father mm. is gonna invite us to dinner. Gonna invite us to dinner. <laughs> Let your father know we are coming to dinner. That's <laughs> it. That's all you gotta know. Continue. No, uh, you gotta continue with this wedding story. When you came, when I invited you to my family's wedding, uh, let's talk about this briefly. I've been to a couple. Was this I've, the one where I wasn't there? No, nah, the one before. You, we are gonna transition into the one that you weren't there because it's the same family lineage. It's off my mother's side. It was yeah. my mother's cousin. I invited Jay first to one of my mother's cousins, and then I think the one that you came to was another one of my mother's cousins. That was a year later. Yeah. The first mother's cousin's wedding that I invited Jay to that we went to. I invited Jay. We mm. actually made it to dinner. And, yes, um, we did. We did. I'm going to introduce the first part of this, and then you're going to take the second half because it's really funny. Yeah. And um, so we're invi- we invited Jay. It's me, Jay, because you can't go to a wedding, a family wedding by yourself. You have to bring your friends. It just it makes sense. It's a thing. Know. You guys are it's, crazy. It's way better. It's, it's thing, way yeah. better. You have someone that you can vibe with all night and just yeah. fuck, fuck shit up with the entire night. Open bar, dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. Got a, a pack of cigarettes, so dangerous. That nice belly's flowing after a yep. nice whiskey. Yeah. And you got a good bartender. And then you have a nice shit after. Pierre. Pierre. Just me. I remember being at that table, Jay, and uh, me and you were already drinking at the open bar. And my sister, who's probably like 16 or 15 at the time, because we were only like 18 or 19. Yeah, we're pretty young. Can you get me some alcohol from the bar? Oh, yeah, no problem. No so problem. me good and brother. you go to the bar, we get our alcohol. And uh, I bring my sister a s- Sprite and tonic or something like that. Right? Uh, vodka Sprite. Vodka Sprite, something like that. Something good, like good that. mix, good mix. And I bring good it to mix. her, and my mom obviously sees us come from back from the bar, and I give my sister something. So she's obviously <laughs> thinking it's like some alcoholic drink. And she looks for me, looks at me across the table, and she goes, Matt, does that have alcohol in it? I go, no, no. Do you want to try it? And she Ooh. goes, no, no, I, I believe you. I go, wow, okay. reverse I just, psychology. Bite the bullet. You bite the bullet on that. <laughs> you bite the bullet on that. Bite I go, bullet. I looked to uh, my aunt's boyfriend at the time, who's still around, and a shooter in himself. And I look at him and I go, bit the bullet on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. Absolutely. Because yeah, yeah, that had alcohol in it. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. And uh, the rest of the night took that took its turn. You can you can continue to talk. We had, we had some, maybe we'll start with the uh, shots we have with the bride and groom, and then whatever, whatever ended up after that. Oh, okay. I was about so, to say, he doesn't look like he remembers so no, much no, I mean, that night either. So what happened is, so we walk into the wedding, and there was this woman in, in a dress, as all women are going to be at weddings, and she was handing out, she was handing out something before you walked in. And Brady was like, yo, this, this, girl, this is a bird. This oh, is, this girl's yeah. A bird. She was a bird. This is a bird. Bro, let me tell you. He goes, you know what? This like this is this might be the move for the night. You yeah. know? And I try to pursue this kind of thing. Whatever, right? Funny enough, so you know when they when weddings happen, they introduce the wedding the, party. The wedding party, they say the bride and the groom come in, yeah. maid of honor, best man come in. So the bride and the groom come in, they say maid of honor and best man come in. Who comes walking in as the maid of honor? The girl he was talking about. <laughs> Where Betty looks at me and goes, game, set, match. <laughs> nice. That was it. That was it. Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. Yeah, yeah. So we start taking shots with the bride and groom to introduce ourselves to the maid of honor. And, yo, this bride and groom's at the open bar with a couple of their uh, wedding party mates. Yeah. And they're having an okay time, but me and Jay come in. Jay's the only black guy in this entire wedding. Yes, he does not fit in. But we're shooters, so we go in and we're having our own shots, yeah. and we go, "You guys want some shots?" And of course, they want some shots, so we start taking shots with all these guys. Like we're giving them all, and they're loving us, loving us. And it's just like a, a maybe a group of like ten people at the little bar there, and it's all the wedding party, and then me and Jay, who are sticking out like sore thumbs. And so we have our day, we have our, we have our, our shots, and then uh, Jay goes, and "I'm gonna let you take it after this because I feel like you explain the story better." But Jay goes, "Yo, we got uh, John Luke." Carolina, Elise, all of our friends back home who want to hang out. Like, do you want to go? We've already been at the wedding for this point for like three, four hours, and it's like eleven thirty at night. And I'm like, okay, sure, let's go. Was I there? No, 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 you, you were, were not there. there. No. Do you remember how we left that party? I, th- I see. Okay. I, I knew where to pick up on the story. I don't know where. <laughs> so we left. It. I go, let's fucking go, and we are so drunk because we're doing shots man yeah ourselves and now with the wedding party which of course we're gonna do a lot of shots with the wedding party because it's standard yeah so uh we go out and uh we're literally i go i walk up i go we're going from the bar to the exit from the bar to the exit there's yes 
You yes. map, you want to ki- you want to keep it? So yeah, I got this. So so yeah, we're I got this. <laughs> so we're we're ready to leave this wedding, completely ready to go, and. <laughs> So, just you and I are ready to go. Because I go up to my parents and I go, Mom, Dad, Jay and I are leaving. We're leaving. We're going. And they know we're fucked. Yeah. They go, you know what? No problem. You guys go ahead. Sure, no problem. So there's about like a five, no, like a, <laughs> three like or a four. Three, three or four foot fence. Yeah. Black metal Enclosing fence. Closing the smoking area. Yeah. The smoking area. And Brevetti goes and he's walking. And as he's walking. With purpose. Walking with, with <laughs> determination. He's walking with determination. And I go, and there was somebody who was talking behind me, and he told me whatever. And I think it was your dad, actually. Yeah? I think it was your dad. You someone, so? was talk- someone was no, talking. No, because my dad was there when we were smoking. And the thing that happened with my dad is you and I were smoking a cigarette, and we were 17, 18. Yeah. And my dad goes, he, my dad comes out for whatever reason, and me and Jay toss our cigarette away. I go, yeah. Jay, yo, flick it. We flick it, and he comes up. He goes, you guys didn't have to throw it away. I know you smoke. Yeah. <laughs> what a waste of a Belmont. Yeah. Waste of a Belmont. Waste of a so Belmont. it wasn't my dad. But it wasn't continue. your dad. But it was someone. And I remember you walking up and you were walking and you turned around to look at me and you were saying something to me. But you walked and you went straight, walked right into this fence <laughs> and flipped right over the fence. <laughs> when you flipped the fence, I, as being a concerned friend, walked up. I was going to walk towards you to check if you're okay. But there was a guy behind me. He goes, yo, is your buddy good? I turn around and I go, I go, yeah, yeah, he's good. No, don't even worry about it. He's fine. Perfectly fine. <laughs> but as I'm as I'm telling him this, I also walk into this fucking three-foot <laughs> fence and I flip over the yeah. fence myself. Oh, it was nuts. That These three-foot like metal black fence just tumbled over and I got up and kept walking. Kept and walking. me and Jay, we didn't have, my parents drove us to the wedding. We didn't have a ride home. Yeah. So we're catching a cab. We walk on, and this, um, you know the spot because we all had prom there. There's like a high, it's like a high Mississauga a area. Kind of it was like this, like off right off of the highway, there was this banquet hall. And so, anyways, we walk out of the smoking area and we walk straight to the nearest road to catch a cab, but it's a highway. So, me and Jay, because I learned this from my parents the next day, are trying to flag down a cab on the fucking exit of a highway highway. and we're like trying to and my mom as soon as i walked up to her and said me and jay are leaving she wasn't saying good for you go she was concerned yeah so she came out after us and my dad and her my mom and my dad saw us trying to flag down a cab on the highway and goes chris my dad goes chris let's fucking get the fuck out of here let's get these kids back home (laughs) so they get us off of the highway as a bunch of belligerent drunks into their car and now we're going home and another funny thing that happened on the ride home we're getting home we're yeah. trying to find our friends and i'm so drunk bro you know how late. it is at like yeah, yeah, open yeah. bars late. you get like to the point where you're so late you want it like you're just not feeling good and i'm fucking not feeling good jay please hold my hand so me and jay are holding hands <laughs> and we're, we're inter- fingers interlocked we're you need that hands. you need that support you need that, hands, bro it hands. feels so much better yeah yeah and we're holding hands on this ride home and i'm fucking like this like that like really sick and i really want to throw up and I'm just like, just like trying to get anything out. So I'm spitting, like just trying to get anything out. And my mom, <laughs> you got it. You spitting was like, you start spitting, and your dad's like, Matt, where are you spitting? You go, I'm spitting out the window. Your dad goes, the windows rolled up. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you were spitting on the yeah. back headrest. <laughs> Fucking Luke, dude. So I was dying. brutal, man. I'm spinning on the window, thinking it's open, and my dad had to pull over on the highway. I yacked everywhere, and then I came home, and uh, I needed to go to bed, even though we were supposed to hang out with John yeah. Luke and all these girls. And uh, who tucked me in? I tucked you in. Jay your, tucked, your mom. Your mom. Somebody tucked, tucked me in. in in my room when I was over there. You know and John Luke came over and like wrapped me in ten blankets. I was overheating, bro. I was so hot. <laughs> We it was one of the so you, we took you to bed. I went back downstairs to like hang out with John Luke for a bit, and John Luke goes, "I'm gonna order some wings from Domino's. <laughs> Are you gonna be awake for this?" I go, "Yeah, no problem." To which I literally, maybe ten minutes after we had that discussion, I go, "I was like, I gotta yak." So I walk into your backyard. I start yakking my fucking life away in your backyard. Your dad comes open the door. He goes, "Jay, you're throwing up clearly." He goes, "If you want to go, just use the washroom." I go, okay, yeah, no problem. I go in the washroom. To which your house is obviously very quiet in the middle of the night. Yeah. As the house is quiet, I'm still there. <laughs> like, I'm just making noises throughout the whole entire house. So 
I'm yakking, whatever. I go back into the your little sunroom there, and I, I pass out on the couch. I'm done. John Luke's sitting there waiting for these wings to come. John Luke also passes out. To which, when we wake up in the morning, John Luke goes, "Shit, I ordered wings last night. I wonder if they came because he didn't get up to pay nothing." I guess the delivery guy showed up to the side door because John Luke, when he called, said, come, just come to the side gate. The guy just left the wings Beauty. outside. Beauty. Gate. That's me. Got, got wings for free. Yeah. No problem. No I'll problem. take those. No problem. Not a problem. Bro. The next morning, we woke up in suits. What did we do? We trucked outside and we went to Dunn oh, that Street Grill, Grill. Yep. to meet fucking Sarah Baraka, who was working serving. And we sit down in that booth and we're fucking lit hungover and in suits ordering some breakfast that's was i came i came up to your room that morning and i was like i was like so how you doing buddy you just you're looking straight in the city you go i need a bagel in my brain yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah i was like jay i need a bagel in my brain i meant to say bagel on my stomach i was so drunk we've had a couple of nights in nights of of the weddings man dude your parents have seen so much shit with us absolutely yeah Yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy crazy after 20 years, your parents are like, it's fucking normal. These are my kids. They're fucking yeah. belligerents. Well, like, we, and then the, the year after, I had the same family wedding, and that's when you were like, yo, can I come? I'm like, yeah, of course. So we invited you, and it was me, you, and Jay, and we went to the same thing. And that night culminated in a very hilarious, very stern face plant right oh, on the man. car. I was oh, fucking dude. dick. Broken <laughs> lip, bro. Broken everything. Dude, man. I don't even fucked up. I don't even remember that, but like I got out of the cab, you guys were like ahead of me and I'm like, yo boys, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. And yeah. I'm walking, I'm stumbling, and next thing I know I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and I not fucking control it. face plan just <laughs> scrape my face in the dude, ground. You, when you went face first into the pavement, I was genuinely concerned. Because yeah. you went you hit the no, you hit you, the pavement with no hand. I saw no, you yeah, literally like, go I, no hand. Yeah, I, I was like, like And you did not move. You were just and you, you hit the ground and you're just laying there. I'm like, oh, he's dead. He's yeah. 100%. He's dead. <laughs> yeah, no, he's I wait. Dead. <laughs> All I remember is you guys rubbing my face a while. I'm like, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> I wake up under my nose, like all black. It's cut all down here. I'm like, what the fuck? My teeth are still there, though. So I was like, meh, I won. As long as you still got the teeth. That's it. Like, put that, that, that in the column for sure. Dude, yeah, I, just, yeah. I go home in the morning in a suit. My suit's ripped. I go yeah. home. My parents are like, what the fuck happened to you? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> 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 fucking bummer. lips all fucked up He's and bummer. shit. Like, it'd be fine. It'd, it'd be fine, parents. It'd be Bro, fine. remember... When Jay had his birthday at the strip club. Oh, no. Dude. Uh, you were abused by a stripper. Yo, I'm abused, abused by a stripper. Can Ended I, up by the toilet. Let, let me speak you on that go, night. Go for it. It was, um, so so one of you had told, I guess, the MC or the strippers, whatever, that it was my I birthday. I think it was Aced, honestly. Or so, Riggy. Or Riggy. Where someone said it. So I'm sitting by the stage, and all I hear is, yeah, we got a special birthday today. It's Black Lavender's birthday. Yeah, because like, that's what you need to call yourself. That's what I call my dad. Black Lavender. Search me up. Xbox Live. Come on. <laughs> anyway, um, so I go on the stage, and the stripper's like, she's like, do you have? I, she asked me. I think she was like, do you, have, do you have a five? I go, or do you have money? I go, yeah. So I, I when they ask me for money, I'm pulling out a fucking five. Yeah. The, the minimum bill I can pull out. She goes, put it in your mouth. The blues. No problem. The blues. And I'm fucking psyched. I'm sober. I'm like, here it goes, baby. It's going down. So I put the five in my mouth. She squats down, picks up with her pussy lips. (laughs) (laughs) Those wet her lips. And I'm like, (laughs) I'm I'm like, I'm like, like, oh. (laughs) So you're just like. (laughs) (laughs) But then she goes to me. She goes, undo your belt buckle. I go, all right, no problem. (laughs) I undo the belt buckle. She goes, turn over. I go. Okay, sure. Wow. Takes my belt off. And in my head, I'm kind of like, so, and she pulled my pants out. So my bare black chocolate salty ass is out. <laughs> and I'm just like, I, I, I don't I don't know where this is going, but she's like, she's like, give me your belt. Like, okay, give it, she takes the belt off, whatever. To which she rolls it up and she hits me with a, and if you got black parents, you know they call this a switch. If anything you can hit your kid with. She takes his <laughs> belt buckle, wraps it up once. And just starts beating me in the ass. With it. <laughs> but then she like she spits on my ass, and it still beat me with this fucking belt, Dude, my own belt. To which Dude, yeah. the he said the spit off my ass hit him in the face. Yeah, the face. I'm, I'm there. I'm like, yeah, yeah, fuck him up. And actually, the spit just oh my god. Face. So Dude, it's crazy, right? So that happens, right? So that's so that whole that whole thing happens. I go whatever. That's an ordeal. Ordeal. <laughs> that was a great way to spend your eight, nine, nine still years? traumatized. Still traumatized. But so Beretti, there was some stripper I was talking to Beretti, and she goes, I she came to you, and she's like, I think your friend's, like, pretty cute or whatever, pretty hot, whatever, right? So you told me this, and then she came up to me, this Asian stripper, and she was like, you want to come downstairs for a dance? I yeah. go, yeah, 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 see you less, no problem. 
I go downstairs. We're going for this dance. So she's literally, so she's in my face. She's dancing, whatever. Cooches out, whatever. <laughs> Cooches out, whatever, you know. And um, she pulls her bra down, and I'm seeing areolas. Some tiggy wiggies? I'm seeing some pigs. And I'm oh. like, and I look at it, and they're in my face, and I'm like, I lit, cause I know the whole real strip club. You, you can look, but you can't touch. Yeah. Usually, I go, I was like, can I suck them? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, she goes, yeah, you can. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> so suck the shit out of her titty. <laughs> so first of all, so beers at strip clubs, you know, are usually like they're like nine, ten dollars. Yeah. So I got a full Budweiser sitting on the table. So she goes, do you want me to suck your dick? I go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I go, yeah, no problem. Go ahead. So she goes, okay, I need to make some room. Wow. To which, on the table that my beer was on, she backhands my beer Dash off the table. Like ready. <laughs> She's ready. She, bro, dash my beer off the table. I go, I'm. So, I mean, I was just going to blow drop, which is one thing. But at the same time, that's a $10 beer. And she just fucking spilled. And that's concerning to me. That's very concerning to me. I was like, but you know, and she ended up sucking my dick for a bit. I was like, you know what? No problem. I'll take it. Went back upstairs. That was it. Yeah, sure. Clubs Rick, are fucking home. Ricky got into it that night, too, and had to get one of us to pay his tab. Did he not? Or something. That was a else. separate night. Oh, oh separate. man, man. Yeah, me and Ricky went to the strip club way back, play back. Obviously, the... Liquid courage was talking, and we're like, you know what? Let's go get some tits in our face. Why not? So we go, and um, yeah, after the night, he goes to me. He's like, yo, what up? He's like, I need some money. I was like, hey, man, how much you need? Like 20 bucks, right? He's like, $300. Jesus I'm like, fucking oh. Christ. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I need 300 bones. He's like, come on, man. I didn't think twice. I was like, yeah, here. On the table. <laughs> Take it, man. To which she gives her the money, and she's like, that's all you got? She's like some Russian suave fucking whatever. And uh, she's like, that's all you got? And he's like, yeah, yeah. So she's like, there's bad things coming to you later on in life. You best believe it. Bad things. Jesus Christ. I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Fuck off. You know, the funny thing is about that night, while like all this was going on, I was at Hastings' house by myself playing Fortnite. <laughs> That's a, really? Yeah, I was. I did, we were at State earlier. Yeah. And then I just, I they went to go do their thing, and then I just went back to State. Or sorry, I went back to Hastings' house. I was just, just playing Fortnite with Haley. That's it. Dude, I came wow. back that night, and you smell like like fucking strippers, and I know exactly the fucking scent, man. It's like Victoria's Secret teas. I know you bitches know what this that scent is. <laughs> That's exactly the scent, man. It just smells like strippers. And I just go there. I'm like, I'm like, ah. Disgrace. Disgrace. Keep going. Keep going. I'm piss. Throw it right off, man. I'm like, yeah, I was disgusted with my, with <laughs> disgusted with myself. But uh, that was the last time I ever. No, it's false. It wasn't the last time I went to the strip club. No. Went to another one like a couple years ago. After that, with my cousin, brother, and uh, Windsor. It'd be your family, so it's a, it's a thing to do. That was something. That dude, was, was I was good. dude. I was down there at Windsor and uh. Some stripper came out to me and she's like, "Oh, what's your name?" Blah blah blah, you know, whatever. And she's like, "Where are you from?" I'm like, "I'm from Toronto, like a Tobacco." She's like, "Oh no way, whereabouts?" And I was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Burnham Thorpe, 427 area." She's like, "No way, I'm from Park Lawn and Lakeshore." I was like, "Hold the phone, hold the phone." And I was like, "Really? What?" Wow. She's like, yeah, "Yeah, yeah, I'm from Park Lawn and Lakeshore." I was like, "What the fuck are you doing down here?" She's like, "There, there, there definitely remember. can't be good money in." It, it, I feel like it's definitely better to be a stripper in Toronto than as opposed to Windsor. Uh, this is a pretty fire strip club. It, it was bumping, bumping, really bumping. Because like I, for me, I've only been to I've honestly been to one strip club in my life, and that was the night for my my nineteenth birthday. We yeah. went to uh, Diamonds Diamandes, but even then, that night it wasn't overly packed. Yeah. Oh, sorry, okay, I went to two strip clubs, but. The other one I went to was uh, Zanzibar. Yeah. You know Zanzibar. Yeah, I went to Zanzibar down on, was it Young or? I don't know. I've never been to it. I've heard about it. I've never been to it. Yeah. It's where we used to, we used to get our fake IDs. Oh, uh, yes. We used to get a tattoo shop. Or oh, you didn't get it, but yeah, I, I mean, got yeah, it. For, yeah. I got it for uh, when we went to Trem. Yeah. Um. But yeah, we went to Zanzibar. And, but that, it wasn't even like, that was like, we just went, got a couple beers and that was it. But um, the, when we went, when I went to Diamantes, like that was the only time to show. Diamantes. It's it's not so <laughs> Diamantes, yeah, yeah. Strip club's not for me because uh, no, you yeah. have to know when you're going into a strip club, you're you're never gonna come out 
winning in, in no. my defense it's always yeah. you're gonna lose money maybe you get a gummer maybe you fuck a chick here and there it's too expensive it's, like, it's very expensive dude I, when, I went, when i went to the rippers in uh windsor dude like, windsor yeah. uh what the fuck is it called cougars or whatever yeah and uh we're there and like the, song, the fisher song i'm losing it goes on I'm like i'm losing it I'm like all right i know this song you can't fucking finagle me bitch i know exactly when this song <laughs> finishes yeah. so it's going just, just going the beat drops the beat switches up a little bit i'm like interesting so now i'm like all right oh boy wow. holy smokes and i'm like all right when the song's done that's usually when they charge she's like all right i'm done she's like yeah you owe me 60 bones i'm like what for one for song what what the and she's like yeah, yeah, yeah it's over it's been like three minutes i was like it's the same song she's like no it's not it transfers into another one i was like are you fucked she's like are you not gonna pay me i was like no nah. fuck out of here Yo, Windsor. I was so Yo, when you guys came to Windsor, we've talked about this a couple of times on the podcast, but we've heard it only from Jay's perspective. When you guys came to Windsor for the first time, and I was playing hockey um, <laughs> way back uh, oh, yeah. out of the way, you guys met Ketz Greg. and Greg for the first time. What was that like? Do you remember Dude, that? Dude, I remember vividly. We go up there. And we're like, Yo, but ready, we're here. You're like, yeah, man, I'm not here there right now. I'll be home in a couple of minutes. I'll just finish hockey practice. Yeah. Thing. Just walk right in. The boys are there. They're welcoming. All right. You walk in there. We're like, knock, knock, no answer. We open the door, all you hear is, dom, 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 dom. We're like, what the fuck? We're like, hello? And like, <laughs> and the boys are like, yo, it's good. I was like, the fuck's up with the music, boys? Like, oh yeah, we're just trying to get in the atmosphere for uh, whatever the fuck they're playing. Play I was risk, like, risk. Yeah, it's a fucking Viking music. Like, hard on and on. I'm like, what the it's fuck? crazy. Yeah. No, but like, like Jay covered the story on the last podcast. Yeah, they're fucking yeah, 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 yeah. Good punch, yeah. you guys. Good, uh, good roommates. Yeah, that was great. Great time. When the, when him and Terry come down here, we got to get them on. Eh? Yeah, yeah, we'll get them for on. Sure. 100% you guys are good to meet them. Remember that time in Windsor, man, when we went up when I was single and I got so fucked up when your mom and dad came and I was so we were playing frisbee golf. Yo, on we were so drunk. Remember we're, Mary, the neighbor? Oh, she was crazy. Yeah, she Mary was is lot. crazy. Yeah. But Jose, that's a uh, that's a guy. And uh, that's a guy. That's a guy. I don't know why he's married to her or dating her. <laughs> Green for card. the card. For Green sure. card. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, we went up for the first time to go see the uh, second time to see Matt. And, um, Appreciate it. By I way. was uh, single at the time. And, <laughs> well, that doesn't really fucking matter. That's nothing to do with that. But yeah, yeah. Anyways, it went up, and I got belligerent. You know why? Because when you're in that mind, it is actually kind of relevant that you were single. Because when you're single, you're more in the mindset to just get fucked up. Yeah. And you got fucked up for two days straight, which yeah. is Ooh. nothing new. Let me so let me reiterate this story. So it was so we go to this we go to this club bar uh, club in I, Windsor I the club in Windsor. Okay, okay. I'll Windsor let you know what the name is. Hasted Hasted was lit for about two days. Which is whatever, but so we get, we get the thing, and there's there's Standard. a woman sitting at at the, this the side of the bar. Give me that one. With like, she has this thing where it's like it's a little it's booth a set up, a little booth set up, and she a DJ. there's like there's lights kind of going going around it and whatever. But when you walk up to the bar, you can clear or walk up to the sink, you can clearly see it's a bar. It's like there's drinks, there's ice, whatever. Hasten walks up to the chick <laughs> behind the thing and goes, "Hey, can you play this song?" She goes, "Yeah, this is a bar. Like I'm I'm not the DJ." Hey, so looks at her and goes, okay, so you can't play the song for me then? <laughs> <laughs> I was fucked, man. To which that night ended with me just yakking in front of a store. Yeah, yes. I remember yeah. that. I remember that. I remember I was consistently throwing Snapchats up of you giving an update on how your situation was. And Dude. I was like, final update. Were you not there? Yakking. Were you not there? I was there. I was there. Oh, yeah, you were there. I was there. Yeah, I was, yeah when I... When I don't give a fuck and I want to get blitzed, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get blitzed. That's the most fun hasted. In Cuba, the most fun hasted. Seven days straight. Fuck. You go on vacation with me, you're not you're not staying so Dude, I remember vacation. after like the fifth day, I, you've been drinking every day, every night. And I just I just want to sit down at the breakfast and get some eggs, get a get a water in me, maybe a coffee, and just chill. Hayes is getting nope. a fucking beer. Yeah. But then it's no, like. No, not but even then that. It's before like, breakfast, he's getting a beer. On breakfast. the way to breakfast, he's getting like, a beer. When I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, I just want to chill out and whatever. And he has his beer. He, he'll he look to me and be like, what are you, a fucking pussy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. I'm hurting. I'm hurting yo, right now. I'm bro, hurting. Oh, my God. Every morning he would wake up in the house, in, in the rooms. There's in the very nice hotel style rooms. And he would come in with his BCAs and it would be fucking let's get going he would juice himself up feel all good and we would go he would go all day dude mm -hmm. remember when i fucking cut my foot uh, yeah 
Dude, my, my, my routine was I wake up. I set a fucking alarm for like 8 a.m. Wake You're up. Fuck. The alarm I up. slept with you and I hated On every vacation. minute of that. The, I hated every minute of that. The alarm goes off. I'm like, wait, what the fuck? What's, what is that? I, so I'm like, okay, whatever. Bottle of water. Yeah, yeah, BCAs yeah. with some caffeine. <laughs> Launch that shit down. I'm like, I'm like, all right, pussies, wake up. Time to get fucked. And yeah, then we just go to the bar. Well, not even. The bar wasn't even open. No. I go to breakfast and they're like, what do you want to drink? I was like, you guys selling beer? He's like, cerveza? He's like, si, sí, senor, si, sí, si, sí, si. Sí. <laughs> I'm like, uno cerveza, por favor. And just start slugging from there on. Yeah, dude, I was fucked. I remember you telling me, actually, was um the funniest thing I take from that trip was when you and, so you and John Luke were kind of like passed out the first, after the, fr the first day we got there. Oh. And you were sleeping throughout the day. Yep. Because <laughs> we took Xanax on the plane. Yeah, okay. Um, I don't give a fuck. I, okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, then you told me, you're like, yeah, you and John Luke just woke up to which... I was. I think it was me. Just walked in with eight Cuban shits. No, man, into no, no, no. This is what happened. I fucking me and John Luke took Xanax on the plane. The whole we got from Toronto Xanax on the plane. Passed out. You guys had to fill out our importation, our immigration cards. Yeah. We were so fucked. Yeah. The whole first day in Cuba because we got there around ten eleven. The whole first day in Cuba was a write off for me and John Luke. I don't remember any of it. I remember. Getting to Cuba, being in the lobby, putting our shit away, and then going to the beach, meeting those French girls um, that you guys made friends with, and then we all hung out in the ocean um, the first day, and then I remember that, and then I remember the club, but I remember walking back from the club, and then I went home from the club to go to sleep, and I was just by myself in the nice king-size bed with the white sheets, sleeping, <laughs> having a good time and john luke and jay come back from the club with eight cuban chicks walking into the room you gotta do it. like what's going on ready to party i'm like are you fucking kidding me right now huh? they all left and then the most attractive of the eight one was the last one to leave you know who knows why that was and uh I go, I go i go <laughs> i go i go i go listen listen love I, you nina love you nina <laughs> I go, listen, I'm awake now, and I need to go back to bed. Can you tuck me in? Good idea. And so she tucks me in, and one thing leads to another. And she's, yada, yada, yada. She's giving me a blowjob. And uh, I realize that she um, has a bunch of striations on her arm. For whatever reason, you guys can judge that, which was weird. But, but. Phenomenal blowjob. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, dude. The Latinas know how, they know their way around a pichat. I'm telling and you. I, I remember finishing that off and walking onto the balcony to which you and John Luke were with all of these fucking girls in, in the, the pool. pool. And I was like, naked, butt naked. Like, Cock what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? All right. That was the night. Yeah, I remember that night. That's when I got lost on the streets at Dominican. Yeah, I any... remember seeing you on the street or hearing you, yeah. hearing you on without, the streets. Without any of you guys, I'm, I'm walking. I'm like, all right, I don't know where the fuck I am. So I started walking to like the right. Okay, my my uh, resort's that way. I walk in. I'm like, hmm, this doesn't look right. I'm like, yo, where's my resort? And she's like, that way. I'm like, hmm. Like a kilometer the opposite yeah. way. So I walk back. I'm like, oh, this looks familiar. I yeah. walk in. They're like, hola. I'm like, hey. I'm walking. I'm like, Freddy. And all, you, all I see is you guys on the roof. You're like, boom, 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 boom. They're like, yo, hey. So I was like, what the fuck is up? That was amazing. It was trip. like two in the morning or some shit. Yeah. yeah. Laura goes to me. She's because I previous to that trip, we, we mean you were playing hockey. And we're I got a concussion that night. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yo. Yeah. Yo, Hasey got a concussion and he didn't want to come on the trip. He was like, yo, I can't come on the trip. I'm like, Hasey, bro, you're, you're we're going on the trip. Like, this has been in the works. We're going on the fucking trip. And even the boys at hockey, the older guys, were yeah. like, yo, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Don't worry. Yo, I remember really, like, your mom didn't want you to go on the trip. Nobody, want, my parents didn't want you to go on the trip. I was like, "Yo, you're coming on this trip." Yeah, like, all right, fuck it. So because like the plane ride's gonna yeah. fuck you up. Nah, whatever. So I got this fucking concussion and shit. So I just go to the boys. We're like, "Okay, I'm not gonna drink that much." So like before the trip, have a couple of cold shots with the boys. Not gonna drink that much. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. That's how it always goes. So then I was like, "All right, boys, I'm gonna catch them. I'm gonna catch them Z's." I like wake me up like every hour, like as you should with a fucking the concussion, just to make sure I'm not sure, fucking sure. dead. Yeah, yeah. Wake up, get to Dominican, and uh, Laura's. Like, I mean Cuba, and yeah. Laura's like, "Don't get blackout because you just had a concussion." 
Yeah, you, t- yeah. you knew Laura at the time. Yeah, yeah. We we're just talking though. We we're just talking. Yeah. But really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, anyways. Yeah, <laughs> Got to the Domin- to Cuba. Fifteen minutes. Blackout. Blackout. Fucking blackout. Dude, we we were blackout before they even because they fucked up our rooms. I remember that. Yeah. And they they, they ended up putting us in the little villa off, still on the resort by the hotel, but our own little like house villa kind of thing. But I remember no. we got lit before. Like our luggage was packed away in a room yeah, in the yeah. lobby. Oh, yeah. and we were still that, yeah. on the on, literally on the beach, not on the beach, but in the the pool yeah. bar yeah, yeah. kind of thing. And we're just getting lit. Yeah. Going yeah. On. Oh, crazy. <laughs> That was a stellar fucking trip. Yep. I can't wait to go on a trip again. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, yeah. That was a lit trip. I was talking to Jay. I don't know if I was talking to you, with you too. And I was like, yo, like, even with COVID restrictions, I'd be down going on a vacation. Like, us three, Laura, Riggy, Bianca, Rag, yeah. Carol, all of us. Even if, like, you're not getting that many people at a resort, the 10 of us or whatever can just, just having that core shut group of down. friends. Yeah, that yeah. core group shut of friends. Buddy, Dominican, time. so cheap, just came back. Yeah. It's good. There's places. It's tempting. But yo, a resort, a resort for sure. A resort right now is so cheap, so yeah, yeah, cheap. Sure. Nobody's at the resorts. I I yeah. traveled through Dominican. I I went from so Sua, which is like very not touristy, not um, resorty, to another place called Samana from Samana, which is definitely the same thing, not touristy, not uh, villa y, to Putacana, which is resorty. Yeah. Nobody's in those resorts. Yeah, no. Nah, nah, nobody right now. But you can go. You just got to quarantine when you come uh, back. You know, know what's funny, too? I was, I was talking to John Luke about it, and I was like, I was like, yeah, I was like, uh, we were, this is when we were talking about going on, like, a vacation. Just, yeah. Like, core friends, 10, 10 or 12 of us, probably core group of friends. And I was like, um, you're good. You're good. It's what does this thing fucking It's good? They said you're good, too. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was like, yeah, like, we probably go to the 10 of us, just go to a resort and just shut it down, have a good time. He goes, well, no one's gonna be in the resort. Why would you go? I was like, well, fucking kidding. Because John Luke's mind is always, I need to hook up or something. You need, that's the thing. It's like, yeah. bro, if, if I'm going, which I, yo, nothing against him. Like, if I'm single, I, yeah, same, I, don't same thing, I, I get it. Bro. I just with me, I, I don't operate, and I know I've told you about this. I don't operate my life. It's like, yo, if I'm going out, I go out to have a good time with the people I'm with. I don't need to. Yeah. If, if it comes by all means, then I'm not gonna say no. But. I'm not looking like I'm going to go out. I'm putting on my fit and going like, okay, who am I going to put today? Oh, Rico Suave and shit. Yeah, like, no, I'm going out. I'm going to have a good time with my friends. So I'm like, if we're going on vacation and we got the, that core 10 to 12 group of people yeah. with us, even if there's nobody on the resort, there's still going to be the 12 of our best friends that are going to be there. Yeah. And it'll be a great time. You know, I, I don't need to go out and hook up with, with this person and that no. person. No. It's, again, if it comes, by all means, no problem. If your but, girl pushes up on that's me. It. If your girl's going to push up on me, I'm not going to say no. That's it. <laughs> That's all it is. Yo, by the way, I think I figured out what flavor this is. You guys know the uh, candy that uh, the candy pops that are like white, red, and they're like pop like, rocks. Pop? No, not pop rocks. They're like it's like a lollipop, but they're like in a saucer shape and they're kind of thick. It looks like kind of like the jawbreaker. No, no, it's a lollipop. Okay, you know, oh you know, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's like kind of like powdery. Yes. Yes, I think that's what this it's is. It's like a circular wo- lollipop with like layers. Yep. Of, it's like a yeah. Saturn. You know, like- yeah, yeah, exactly. You know what? Like Niagara Falls type of uh, uh, CN Tower. Yeah. The, the base of that Niagara Falls CN Tower is was it, that candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what this shit is. I feel that. <clears throat> it's been a fucking mid podcast. Yeah, you liked it? Yeah, yeah it was a good, good one. one. Well, we have another 20 minutes left on this segment at least. I do one more after and then call yeah, it. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. One more and then call Be it down, after? Yeah. One more what? Segment. Segment? We can okay. do even a half segment after, so we'll go for it. Yeah, yeah. What time is it anyways? Uh, 5.39. 5.39. Yeah, yeah. That was a good talk. How long have we been talking for? Two hours, two and a half hours. So two and a half? Two Healthy talk. Yeah, yeah. That uh, that vacation was... Yeah, pissed. I remember telling Jay to hook up with that girl who has striations on her arm for whatever reason. Yeah, I, I Jay I, did not want to hook up with her. Do you know what the funny thing about that is too? Is she, she got like, good looking since she did? Yeah. Shit. But when we were in Cuba, she was like dancing, I mean, and she comes up to me. She's like, "Do you know how to dance? Do you know how to spa- uh, dance to Cuban music or like Spanish music?" I'm like, "Do you know who you're talking to? Of course, no problem." So whatever, one two bubble, switch it up, you know, doing our thing, but. And, but the thing, she puts her arm, you know when the girls wrap their arms around your head like this and back of your head, and I'm like, and I can see the lacerations, and I'm like, a little yeah, much, a yeah, little yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. So I was not about it. But then the thing is, she kept kind of following me throughout the night. So I kept get, 
giving whatever excuse I can she give. Because she came up to me and I was like, no, you want Jay? She goes, yup. I go, okay, I'll let him know. And you did, which you did. But I was like, I couldn't do it. But I kind of tried to get away from her. So Hasten was was just outside having a smoke. And I'm like, okay, I go to the chair. Like, Yo, I'm going to go see my friend, Hasten. Like, I'm like, I'm going to go outside talking for a bit. I'll come back in and I'll meet up with the lady. She goes, yeah. no, no, I'll come with you. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, I'll come yeah. with you. I'm like, okay. Literally just put my finger out like this. And she just wrapped yeah, her, yeah. F- her fist on my finger. And it was just following me. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't. You I know couldn't who commit. we met on that vacation? Great guys. Oh, the Greeks. The Greeks. <laughs> the, the mythology. <laughs> Paul Neo. Paul Asslis. Yeah. George and something. And Nectarios. Nectarios. Fucking great boys. Great boys. Good guys. Beautiful guys. Good guys. Love them all. Yeah. And we're still very good friends with them. And we're still, day. yeah. Very good friends with them. At this point, I only talk to, the most I probably talk to is Paul A. Paul, a. Paul Neo um, got into a relationship and he fucked off. He fucked off. But, yeah, the most but Paul A. I don't. I, we also is, didn't hang out with him that much, so we can't blame that. Much yeah. On him. But you know what's funny is I I developed a, an original connection with George. Actually, that was the That's first one that I developed a big relationship with because he George was going off about how he has this yeah. almost a hundred kill count. No. And I go, bro. I feel I feel like you might have fucked a girl. I probably know. And he goes, well, like I fuck a, a lot of girls from Saga. This is so fucked. Fuck. And I go. He goes, yeah, I fuck a lot of girls from Saga. I go, what's what? Like, give me a name. From like any girl in Saga, give me any name of a cheeky fucking song. No the last name. The first name he says. The first name, dude. The first name he says. I'm not gonna say the name, but the first name he says is who we all know. Yeah. And I'm just yo. like, yo, holy, like, holy, holy smokes. smokes! I'm like, yo, are you kidding me, bro? I immediately run into the. I get Wi-Fi in the lobby, and I go and I face on the chick. Yeah, and yeah, she yeah. gets, and I hop on the face and she goes, "Hey, Jay, how's vacation going?" I go, "Pretty good." Also, this. Hand the camera to George. <laughs> she goes. She literally throws it. She goes. Are you fucking kidding me? I go. Hey man. That's amazing. It's That's like wild. small, world, crazy. Out of all the chicks, he named that one. I was like, Dude, wow. We crushed that fucking week. Just the four of us. But then we hit those Greeks too, and like yeah. it was like an, a sidekick on top of us. Yeah, yeah. it was so because we we guys? met them like halfway through. Yeah, we just we all destroyed that fucking vacation. Yeah, yeah I remember out, saying dude. goodbye to that like half. Spanish girl Deanna remember that girl she came to lunch Dila with us? Dila yeah 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 and yeah. I came to the pool and people were and I'm like yeah I guess so I take a body shot off of this mother's daughter and then what happens later that night who goes home with the mother you <laughs> you you go home with the mother and who, shooter <laughs> you go who, home with the mother who wrote that story out way longer than it needs to be Paul Paul it's a great story though it is, it is, it is throwing story. down a that, mom that's what on. that's the story that, i mean i never threw it down Still. but that's the story that led to me cutting my foot open like a big gash like this off of some marble like really sharp stairs and it's the next day hey <laughs> yo okay 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 that mom i remember bringing her back to my room really skeptical about whether i wanted to finish it or not and because i i'm always a business yo i'm always <laughs> skeptical about this shit and I go, okay, I need to find out. I go, how many guys have you been with? And she goes, why don't you guess? And I go, all right. <laughs> That's what you want to hear. Why don't you guess? Oh, all right, so we're making a game out of this. <laughs> making a game out of this. All so right. what do you guys start with? I'll go like guess. 20. I'll say 20. 20. If, if a girl says to me and says, guess how many, I'm immediately going to go to 20. That's that's just my because it when you ask me that question, it sounds to me like you've slept with a decent amount of people. Yeah. So I'm going to go with 20. Yeah. So, but, so I start 50. <laughs> I start 50 and she says higher. I would have been like a uh, hundred. See you later. She says higher. I go, what? <laughs> hundred and fifty. Home a little bit higher. At this point, I'm already off it, but I'm guessing. And I go, okay, two hundred. She goes, yeah, probably around there. I go, two hundred guys you slept with? Who are these guys? She goes, you know, I've been divorced for a long time. Usually, like guys around your age, and she's like forty five or something like that. I'm like so off it, dude. So I play the drunk card. Like, yeah. I'm too drunk. I can't do this mm-hmm. shit. I'm too drunk to what? <laughs> yeah. Turn me to my room. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't eat meat or fish. <laughs> He's a homo. <laughs> <laughs> Lesbian mule. Real rug muncher. <laughs> oh, Wedding no. crashers. What a great movie. Oh, you didn't think I'd make a second one? Oh, I sorry. hope it. I, I hope, hope so. Dude, if you have fans, Vaughn doesn't matter if he's older or young. Yeah, he's yeah. fucking. Yo, mids. we've watched Wedding Crashers probably about thirty times. Dude, at least ten times that summer. That summer. That mm-hmm. summer. 
uh, at least uh, probably twenty, man. We we had it on all the time. We could quote we, so dude, many Dude, even lines. the night we were not the night, the day when we went to Guelph and we were at Paul's place. Yeah. We we literally we that morning we got up and we watched yeah. Wedding Crashers. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's a, great. It's just a fucking good wholesome good. movie. Good for the family. So yeah, I'll, I'll finish the story off quick because yeah, go on, go on. what what led to that was I had a huge mm-hmm. gash in my foot and I go to Haystead, always a supportive friend. I go, hey, said, dude, my foot's killing me so much. I cannot walk. And he looks at it, and there's sand all in this cut because it's already healed over one layer of skin. and it, But there's so much shit in it. I'm like, it hurts so much. He goes, bro, it's infected. We need to clean this out. So hey, said, and I go to the bar, and we get a cup of Jack Daniels, like a full little cup of, like, straight whiskey. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Jack Daniels. Tennessee Wicks. And, he, and we, so we start pouring it over it to clear it. Because we go, I, I go, listen, the only thing I've ever seen is my uncle use Jack Daniels to clean his cut. So we get Jack Daniels. and then Uncle Johnny. We're going to have him on. Don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Hesa brings me into the ocean for maybe the salt purposes of the water. Yeah. And he starts pouring Jack Daniels on my cut to which it burns immediately, obviously. It's a huge gash. And he's pouring Jack Daniels on it. And he takes his fucking knuckle and he just... <laughs> fucking rubbing it trying yeah. to get the sand Gotta out of it that and shit people out. around are like yo i the thing is i'm not like we're in like waist deep ocean water so in order for me to get my foot up i have to either balance on one foot and take a really big beating which i can't do so what i do is i'm like in half of the water i'm like gargling water trying not to drown and my foot's just sticking out of the ocean and he's just gone like fucking going and people are around us like what the fuck's going on <laughs> Fucking dude. gringos. Yeah. <laughs> gringos. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I'd do whatever it takes. But, yo, I think, I, I, you know what? My foot's good. <laughs> yeah. So I think it worked. <laughs> whatever it takes, baby. Whatever it takes. Good shit. Yeah, good good vacation. It was a fun trip, man. Honestly. Yeah. 4 a.m. Orange orange peel socks. I was like, In, I was, I was, uh, you guys, I know you guys had a hockey tournament, but you guys should have came when we went to Montreal in grade 12. You guys would have yeah. had a fucking hoot. Terry. Yeah, hockey hoot. Yeah, Cleveland. We, me and you didn't go to one. The one. Cleveland one. Yeah, but no, oh, no. we fucked that one. No, we, we didn't go be. though. We just ended up staying home and we just missed Montreal. Montreal. At the same time, it was very expensive to go to, but yeah, I, think, I literally I remember it was um. So I stayed in a room with Jared, Jared, Junis, and Craig, and I think Jared wanted to grab some some Kush, so he's like, "Yo, let me go to Ty to grab some Kush." Like, okay, so we go to Ty's room. He said some Bro. Boy. Fucking Ty's ex at the time. You guys know who it is. Yeah. She's laying literally. She, she's sleeping, but she's laying like face first into the into the bed. Spread eagle. But she has a two, she has a, a frozen two six of absolute vodka wow. on her back. And I, and Ty, Ty lets it in the room. I see this, obviously. And I'm, I kind of brush it off. I go. But after like about 10 minutes, I go, Ty, what, what, what the fuck's going on here? He goes, yeah, she's having a hot flash. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. So through the two six on her back, I was like. Okay, whatever. That's cool, whatever. But then I remember we went to the the club that night, and uh, Dave goes up to I think it was it was either Serena or Laura. I think it was Laura though. He goes up to Laura, and I guess he went to go dance with her <laughs> from like behind. But you know, you go dance with her behind you. You grab the grab the hips. Yeah, you know? that's how you do it. You get you can come on. No, Dave decided to go full Conor McGregor and put her in a fucking <laughs> a rear naked choke. I don't know why. To which Laura turned around and she's like. What the fuck? And smacked the shit out of this kid. I looked at him. I was like, <gasps> which no, Laura? Oh, what you so wow. I was like, are you kidding? Like, oh my, bro. I literally looked at Dave's face. He had literally a handprint on his face the next day. I was like, oh, Dave, you're such an idiot, bro. That's yeah, not yeah. how you do it. That's not how you do it at all. Bro, Shut up, Pink Taco. You guys, you guys have a great on there. Yo, Pink I Taco's feel like great. Dave is a good looking guy. He's a good looking guy. Good looking I guy. feel like he's such a shooter, but he ruins his chances so much. I don't know. Like this mm-hmm. is just, mm-hmm. yo, this is off the top of my head. But he I does, remember even Tamara really liked him back in grade twelve, and goes, yeah. yo, I like that guy. That's my guy. Like I, the 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 personalities clash, yeah, or not sure. clash, but they connect. But he's just so fucked. He just said so much fuck shit that he's just I can't of, do it. I feel it. like he's just, it's he moves a little different when it comes to yeah. when a girl actually likes like dude and Tamara like dude an attractive chick great chick to, will take care of you no problem <laughs> she's taking care of me a lot of times a lot of times she's taking care of me mom but it, actually the mom, mom the right? mother of the group shout out to you Tamara I hope Spain's yeah. going great <laughs> but you know but it's like Dave it's just like I, I don't know what didn't did did or didn't click in his head it just he was moving very different in the situation. Yeah. And I was like, Dave, you understand this girl likes you. 
she wants she yeah, wants yeah, any yeah. I, he's just there, yeah I know I, you know I'll deal with it later whatever I don't know but it's just it made no sense to me it's like Dave sit down reevaluate your life reevaluate and look this is a girl that wants you and pursue yeah. it because she's great because I knew great. Tam I knew Tam from hanging out with her personally dude she's a nice chick she's a great girl yeah, yeah, yeah. she's caring she's responsible all this shit you know was living on her own or I think with her sister yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, still true, uh, still true. you know on her own had her own car like you know like she was for good girl. Be, being 17 years old yeah she's very mature for her age like dave this is the one for you but dave just i guess having that he had the, he had the clear size that she wanted him clear size like yeah. clearest as day yeah like like you know how me with, i was just chicks, about to say you know how me and shit goes over my head yeah, 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 yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> like no like it's like even more clear than that That's and funny. still dave yeah That's i don't funny. get it yeah it's crazy oh, man fuck. all right let's um I was gonna say, do you want to restart the audio and get into the last segment? Do you want to do that, or do you want to just wrap it? And we can let's get into one more segment. It doesn't have to be an hour; it can be twenty minutes. Yeah. But let's get like one more segment. But yeah, a little one because I yeah. don't need to pick the bird up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What are you, you good with that? Yeah. yeah, yeah All right. Yeah. Let's yeah. go one more. All right, I'm just gonna beep. See you in a second. And we're back. Here we go. Last segment. That's it. We hope you've enjoyed it. And we're oh, I know they've enjoyed it. <laughs> it's been <really laughs> good. It's been good. If you don't enjoy this podcast, well then, just You're follow fine. me on Hasted Fitness. Who's yeah. that guy? Who's that guy? Fuck. Jay, we gotta get a shot going for the last segment. Yeah, no problem. As much as the group said, what time? We'll figure it out. Half, please. Yeah, no problem. Yes, yeah, so Jay, what are you saying after this? I'm I'm hanging out with you guys until about nine ten. So. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah. Well, I'm after this. We're still recording, right? So everybody knows what my plan is for tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah after this, I'm gonna go pick up my squirrel. <laughs> I'm gonna go pick up my squirrel. Give her a nut. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Jay, send me the one that wasn't the second one you just poured. Jesus. Ooh. No, I'm taking the second one. Jesus. Jay. Yeah. So I'll go. Cause what time Jay's is got it? a night going. Yeah. So what time is it right now? Like six. It is yeah, basically well, five fifty four. Five fifty four. So I'll get my squirrel. Well, I'll probably be back in my house around six forty five. Six forty five. Seven. Then you guys can like come over whenever. Yeah, I'm down. I'll Whatever, just... back freckle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll text Riggy. Be like, yo, you guys can come whenever. Uh, Has he answered you? What's that? Has he answered you? Dude, I haven't texted him at all today. I texted oh, I him. She texted him earlier. No, 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 no. You, you, he's one of those guys you have to let him know ahead of time. He's probably proper text him now if you really want him to be there. Because he brings the kind of guy, whole hot plant set. It's gone to the point I don't really give a fuck. Rig needs That's a very friend. true, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All I know is I just want to do something. Either way, I'm going to be at my house getting fucked. You, you, you just want to do hood rat shit with your friends? A little bit. A little bit. Um, That's the best thing I've ever seen. It was that, uh, you know, the show Beyond Scared Straight? Yeah. It's yeah. like this little 13 year old black kid or whatever, and they're like, Why do you do what you do? And the guy's like, I just want to do hood rat shit with my friends. <laughs> what? Good answer. <laughs> Delinquent. Delinquent. I mean, this kid was like stealing and like doing B&Es and shit, but you know. Delinquent. Oh, fuck. Nastrovia. Kurumatara. Bing. God. Man. You know what I feel like, oh. Jay? We need to drink a lot to put up a front for this podcast. And I'll like it. I'll do it. But I do like it. <sighs> I like it. You just have me on. Like what do you mean? You got to start drinking. I think the podcast on, is going yeah, pretty smooth. It, it absolutely is. On he, the has next to go on, pick, he has to go pick up his Cleopatra. On the next one, we'll his judge. His bottom, bitch. My, my, easy. <laughs> easy. It's from the movie. Easy. It's from the movie oh I showed you. God. It's from the night school movie. She's top. We can edit it. <laughs> Stop. We can edit it in post, don't worry. <laughs> you remember that I showed you? That scene in the Kevin Hart movie, Night School? He's like, you know, my girl told me I got to get a job, you know? She's my queen, my Cleopatra, my bottom bitch. <laughs> Damn. Kevin. Kev. All right. Last segment. What do we got for these kids out there? A brief message. Probably even get into something good, uh, good here. Um, yeah, I feel like we can always get into something good. Hey, so we've appreciated you being here mm -hmm, for, for sure. Because sure, Jay and I run out of stuff to talk about. 
Mm-hmm. Dude, and we just fun. get lit. It's fun just to talk about some stories and shit, just ramble on about bullshit. It's yeah, fun. Sure. Get to know a little about me, a little about you guys, yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit more about you guys. Have you yeah, liked yeah. it? How, how have you enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah, whenever you want me back on, just let me know. I'll be, I'm down <laughs> to fucking Apparently street. Thursday, we're going to go in again. Apparently. Apparently. <laughs> hey, buddy, I'm on the north side of Shaver, so like you know where to find me. <laughs> I'm on the north side. <laughs> you know where to find Five me. minutes from my house. Yeah. Ten minute walk. Yeah, so I'm always down. This is yeah, it's been a fun time. Yeah, we need more of a. I need like another week ahead of me, so we have some more bullshit to get have it through our yeah, days. Yeah, yeah. So we can have right more of a topic. All it comes for me is like I mean, when I, when I go out stories. during the week. That's when I usually have stories for you because when I go out, shit always happens. That's why we when we end the segment, like we got like this whole weekend ahead of us and a little bit of the week and just shoot yeah. back on it. Like, dude, if I if there's like a weekend, I go out and like I go out for a weekend, but I don't I don't see him when I come to work on Monday. I just got stories for this yeah. guy. Great, I just yeah. have stories for him all the time. Cause shit. shit just goes down. You know. Like even last night was such a chill night in a garage. There's fucking funny stories that you can the way you can explain it yeah. is really funny 100 like absolutely when somebody comes out the gate and just goes yo brevetti remember when we locked lips at a bar three power. years ago power. power out the gate when i'm in front of the girl that i'm seeing and this is her best friend it's a story let me tell you it's great it's swamp water it's good i do remember that i like that that's great Yeah, listen. Crazy. Good looking girls all around. Good looking girls. Shit. Good looking girls. <laughs> Shit. Shit, man. Good like, yo, I around. saw her. I'm like, wow, you got good looking Mel. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. She was she was I was I was thrown off when she showed me the picture of her background and she had blonde hair before. I was like, yeah, What? Yeah, blonde. She's blonde blonde hair blonde. and she now she has she's jet like, black hair. Like it's crazy. Yeah, the black looked good though. And that's my pocket. It was black sleep. hair is my fucking pocket. Yeah. Holy shit, I love black. Yeah, Sarah. Sarah's. All dark haired ladies the hit me up. <laughs> yup. There's some good looking girls in this world. I don't know what else to say. Shit. That's it. That's it. Fuck. And you, I don't know who I was telling. I, I've probably told both of you. When it comes to us hanging out with chicks and even guys too, we don't hang out with ugly people. That's <laughs> so true. We don't. And no. uh, not to. That's the problem. It's, it gets dangerous. It's dangerous. We all hang out with very attractive people. Yo, we get into a lot of trouble, Jay. We hang out with especially as people? single single individuals as ourselves. Yeah, we well, get into yeah, a lot of. Well, you don't get into trouble. Ah, I do, but still. In the day. In the day, if I don't know you. But still, keep your girl on a short leash. Short leash, but still, it's a, no. Like if you think about it, we like generally don't hang out with unattractive people. We don't. I, I don't think we do. No. <laughs> nope. No, like I like Joanna, attractive. If I can speak freely, I like to think my girlfriend's very your girlfriend attractive. attractive. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. you can speak for her friend, attractive. We don't have Devin. Yeah, I, I like what's her couple, name? You know, handsome, de- handsome devil. Handsome devil. Like you know, Dev. Yo, you know what Dev needs more than anything in this world is somebody to take, take control, control of his, his life. life. <laughs> More than anything else, Dev needs oh, somebody Debbie, to take I love that guy. I remember yeah, him being on the dock at your cottage, just like, I just need somebody to take control of my life right now. Yeah. That was great. We were all in such a bad spot. It was yeah. great. Yeah. That was a good time. Those yeah. are the memories I always remember. That was a good time, yeah. Great once time. a year we go, and it's it's a good weekend. It's, it's, it's really a, a once a year thing, but it, that weekend is always yeah, great, man. It's always a good it's, weekend. It's just an escape from society and yeah. everybody. It's just You know great. what got me was when we went there, and you and Laura bought the food for everybody, but you came to us, and you're like, yeah, it's just going to be $20 for food. I was like, are you kidding me? And we didn't even finish all the food. Yeah. We yeah. had shit left over after. Like, you guys did a great job on, on Dude, shopping. Yeah, I, I, I'm so cheap, man. I buy food that's so fucking cheap. Yeah, so for us to go away for four days. uh, Three three nights, four days. Three nights, four days, and only spend 15 bucks on food, and we're stuffed. Yeah. Winning. Yeah, absolutely. It was, it was a great time, man. That last, the last supper. That was fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The steak, the garlic toast, oh, the pasta, yeah, the yeah. We just got to everything. everything. They cook everything. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yo, Stax, lower this part if you're just going to sit like that. There you go. So we can see your face. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Um, but we yeah, just no, see that your was face. great. That's man. it. That was great. That was great. We'll, do, we'll revisit that again next. 2021. 2021. Who's that? And also, I got who Who knows? Who knows? I got to say, because I say this all the time. I know you've heard me say it. I got this. We were going off of that. We hang out with attractive people. When it comes to guys, no homo. Pause. 
I got three, my top three attractive friends. No homo. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are both in the top three. Bing. I'll tell you that right now. Appreciate you guys are both it. top three. Yeah. Appreciate it's it. um. Good looking. Not ugly. It, you know what though? Like in this day and age, it really doesn't take appearances to be attractive. Mm. It takes something different. Everybody's the same. Everybody looks good. Everybody's got the same style. Everybody's got the same shit that breaks the first barrier yeah. of being attractive. It's something a little more. Yeah. I think for sure that's something that's a little more is being really go with the flow. That's number one. For sure, for sure. Like just I don't bring any bullshit to your table. Yeah. That's it. I don't bring any bullshit. I'm here to chill. I'll interject my opinion when it's valid, when it's funny, when it works. But um, other than that, I'm just I'm here to chill. I'm here to have a good time. Yeah. And when it's like that, it's uh, I I don't I really don't think appearance. I think appearance is 20 or 30 percent. They get you in the door. But that's about it, man. They don't they don't the, you could get a hot girl by being really ugly. I promise you. I promise you. I've, I've seen. Do you remember? Yeah. Um, you're by uh, Chibo. Mm-hmm. We saw that black dude with some like, <laughs> o- some overweight yeah. black dude. With the hottest blonde chick I've seen in my life, really, and I, I didn't, I couldn't fathom it's it. It's comfortable. It. Whether it's receding hairline too, and really, I didn't understand yeah. it. I didn't understand it. It made no sense to me. I was like, "Hey, nigga, do you? I guess you know you're doing your thing. Maybe you got a fucking hammer on you. I don't know, but still, yo, it really." It- yeah, man. Honestly, I think physical attraction is number one. Yep. If you're not Gets you hot, in the door, you know? If you're not hot, I'm not talking to you. Yeah. And then your personality just... The personality, it, it adds to it, yeah. for sure. It definitely adds to it. It yeah. makes or breaks what we're, what's going to happen with us. Like, listen, I'll, I'll be the guy to, to say it. Like, you can think I'm, I'm an asshole, I'm a dick, I'm shallow, whatever. Listen. Yo, I, click I, next, bro. Click next. I don't care. <laughs> I, I Listen, I like what I like. <laughs> if you're attractive... I'm going to go for you. Like, and, and it's the people can be like, you're being a dick. You're being an asshole. Like, you got everybody a fair chance. Like, no, listen, if, and, and, and the thing with girls too is they know when they're attractive. Girls definitely know. Yeah. When they know when they're attractive. hundred percent. But you know what, man? It's the girls that don't know they're attractive or don't put too much emphasis on it that develop more important qualities that actually sustain. Cause if you're and just those, like, and I call those the low key ones. I call those yeah. the low key hot ones. And we had a couple of those of power couple of low key ones yeah. that were like they weren't like strutting their stuff and because we, we had our at power we had our little popular group and a majority of those girls were hot let's be honest yeah but there were those low key ones too who were very quiet reserved whatever but they were they were hot but then they had the good personality to them too because yeah. i'll give that to them the girls that were low key they with them being low key they were hot themselves but they had a great personality as yeah. opposed to the girls who Everybody knew they were hot. They have a fucking shitty person. Yeah. Yo. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, okay, let's not even shout out a name, but the girl I took the prom. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yep. Yo, best looking girl in the school. Let's mm-hmm. just, whatever. There's a bunch of them. Like, they're all on the same line, but whatever. One of the girl looking She was hot. Was, she was hot. <laughs> but yo, personality was not there. Airhead. <clears throat> Space Cadet. New, so what? Dark, gets you in 30. the door. You feel good. You're taking this girl to prom. But at the end of the day, like, yo, you're not dating this girl. You're not going to keep hanging out with her. You're not going to bring her out to your friends in the important moments. Like, nah. And yeah. you know what? I, and I, I, 100%, I remember when it came to the prom and all that shit, I felt the pressure on that with everyone. Like, you feel that pressure being in grade 12. You got to take someone to prom. I felt the huge pressure of what's so on when I asked the first chick I asked. You guys knew that is. Yeah. When I asked her, then she came around and she's like, yeah, like our other, our, our other friend. He's like, he, we made an agreement that we were going to go to prom together. So, like, I can't oh, go with yeah, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, so at this point, there was, like, two weeks to prom. I was like, I don't have a date. I was like, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to fly solo because that's not that's yeah. not just a norm yeah, in, in the, the prom. Move. It's not the move at all, right? So, I went to, as you guys know who, I went to her and I was like, yo, do you want to go to prom with me? And we really like, do be not mentioning names on this podcast. Right we're, now. we're really... I mean, <laughs> names be na- but it's yeah, funny because yeah. if there's the three of us, we know exactly yeah, what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, but I went to her, I was like, yeah, like, do you want to go to prom with me? And she goes, yeah, no problem. She's like, I kind of feel bad for the guy who originally yeah. asked her. I go, don't even worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll take care of him for him. And I, I went to him. I was like, listen, I'm going to take her to prom if you don't mind. But is as my return favor, I will find you okay. another date. And he's like, yeah, no problem. He but you were there with me too. He butched the proposal. Which Fuck. Is, is that Banco? <laughs> Sorry, I needed, I needed to know. I needed to know. That's Banco. He 
botched the proposal. Yeah. It was one of the ones where he was... He's so such Rudd, a butch. He just butches it. So, you notice, Rudd did it first. He When he went to go ask uh, Katie Mazza yeah. to prom, he wrote... He walked into Mr. Martinucci's class, which she was... It was like fourth period. And he walked in and wrote prom on the board. And when yeah. he, and he was going to walk Yo, back he walked out. into a full class going on. Power. Full class going on. Power. Going on. And the move was he was going to write prom on the board, which he did. And then I was going to just stand at the doorway and hand him the flowers. And then, yeah. both, but when he did it, everyone was starting like, who's that for? Who's that for? Who's, who's this about? Whatever. And he just, he didn't say a word. And he just had the flowers and he handed them to Katie. And obviously you knew that was the thing, right? Banco, when he did it, he did the same thing with problem on the board. He said to me, he's like, just throw me throw me the flowers. I go, no problem. I throw him the flowers. The guy fumbles them, drops them, steps on them. I was like, oh, God, David. What are you doing, man? But, I mean, she still ended up going with him. Yeah. It was fine. Because you it, feel it was a good time. you, you want to say yes. You know, you're, you, you want to say yes. Wanna say yeah. no. Did she actually go with him? Yeah, she, yeah. Was, there. she, was, at, she was at Rudd's for the pre yeah. No, yeah, Katie, Katie yeah, went with yeah. Rudd. Because Katie went with Rudd and uh, Balinski went with uh, uh, Zendi. Because they were friends. Yeah, yeah. Are we talking about Banco? Yeah. Banco. He took, he took Julia. He took Kate. That's, he took Julia? He took, yeah. Julia who? Who took Oh, Kate? yes. Yeah. Who took Kate? Sorry, you named oh, so Rudd. many other people. Rudd. That Rudd. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. Yo, is it, is it a conversation to say what uh, I, I said to Spenny at that uh, prom? Yeah, run it. You go. You run it. You, you say it way better. Oh, okay, so we so after the situation happened with the girl, I originally asked the prom was like, "Listen, I gotta go with this other guy, our our friend Spenny." She's like, I, "I'm gonna go with him because we made we made an agreement. We were on vacation. Uh, uh, I go with him." So he was upset that I said I was gonna go with you and not him. So I'm gonna go with him. I go, no problem. And, and again, me easy one guy. I'm not gonna stress it. Sure, no problem. <laughs> I, I luckily managed to find another yeah, yeah, yeah. date. Not a big me, issue, which is fine, but. So we, so she's, um, it was this girl and Spenny sitting at the table, at their own table, separate from us. And Brady walks up and, um, Brady goes, Hey, how you guys doing? Good, this and that, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Looks at Spenny and goes, Uh, so Spen, who'd you come here with? <laughs> and it's just looking around aimlessly, knowing, damn, well, who the hell can he go? And Lady Spenny goes, Uh, yeah. Her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, was, I, was <laughs> I ran so much. Yeah. Well, what the fuck, man? Yo, because you know why? I went with uh, the hottest girl in the school. Not the hottest girl in the school. It's a weird way to put One of. One of. A good of. looking girl. A good looking girl. One of. One of. And like, yo, they, she was so fucking drunk, dude. And so, yo, that whole table, and I know Spenny, was ripping on me. Yo, your girl's drunk. Yo, she's so drunk. She's so. Yo, first of all, like, I know okay. this is your friend and you're saying your shit. Which is fine, but like so much trash talk right off the bat. I'm like, dude, I'm literally would never trash talk you, would never trash to anybody. I'm just here. Yeah. And so, yeah, they're just like get ripped rip into me for whatever reason. I'm, Spen, who'd you come here with, bud? They're like, who the fuck did you come here with? Some girl that you stole or what? <laughs> right? Yeah, it's right? crazy, man. Yeah. Like, bro, I remember that too. It was, um, from the party bus that we got. Oh, yeah. Which is, which is very small. It was. It, it consisted of first of all, there not being enough seats on the bus. So I told Demise, like, okay, the guys will sit down, and the dates just sit on the guy's lap, makes it easier. I told yeah. Demise, just, just sit on my lap. She's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'll sit next to you. Go, okay, whatever. That's I don't give a fuck. Whatever, that's fine. But I remember you. You tap me, and you go like halfway to this problem, and you tap me. You go, yo, look at Terry. All I yo, see, all I see is, <laughs> bro, I see Terry sitting at the back of the bus, just like this, just like try to figure it out <laughs> as <right>. always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> face yacked all over all those fucking all, all dress that, I think, dude was it granisha shoes May, yeah yo people got pissed at terry. they got pissed. yo ruined both of their proms terry's prom he got put into the security area because yep. he's so drunk ola was like in one the whole night because she was so sad and upset yep. a couple of girls had to attend to her yep. yeah ruined a couple of people's problems but that's terry yeah. in a nutshell yeah and so i remember um when we got there, I think uh, after, so we got like the first plate of food, which was like salad. And then we got, I think the main course was pasta or something. Something yeah. amazing. And yeah, I'm yeah, sitting yeah, there. Yeah. So our table, which was supposed to be 10 people, because there was so much shit happening with our group, there was only three people sitting at the table at the time. And it was me, you, and yeah. Camilo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, 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 And yeah. because <laughs> I was so lit, I look at Camilo, because I'm trying to make conversation, because it's so Poor quiet. guy doesn't know anybody. I go to him, I go, yo, I go, yo, buddy, I go, Who'd you come here with tonight? No one damn well. Who the hell he's been dating for the past two years? Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Tamara. I'm like, yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I, I was just there, just 
Nom, just nom, eating, nom. eating, going to work. Oh Scarfing my god! Scarfing it back. I had a great time. I, as much as the shit happened with our friends and our table, that's what made it whatever, fun. I, dude, I still had a great time. That's what made it fun. I had a great time. It was fun for me, honestly. Aside from the after party, which was like we couldn't go. No, nah, we didn't do shit with our dates. Yo, and, yeah, 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 yeah. There was a problem with the girls and stupid drama. I don't yeah. know, but yeah. I'm gonna uh, take a piss and then we're gonna finish five minutes and we'll, we'll cut it. Sure. What do you think, Hey, so that's all right, buddy. Yeah, works for me. I like it. Good. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are you texting? John, look, I'm trying to figure out when we're supposed to go to this place. Who are you talking to? Psst. Sorry? Who are you talking to? <laughs> Who are you talking to? <laughs> oh, my squirrel. My squirrel. <laughs> there she is. Oh, boy. Where is this place? 25 Telegram Views? Where the fuck? Never heard of. It sounds suspicious. Bro, I thought she lived in the same building. Sounds bootleg. Sounds fraudulent. She's fraudulent. <laughs> <laughs> Boozy Susie. Oh, man. So apparently this place she lives at is right beside 4K Spadina. <laughs> <laughs> Right beside it. Right downtown. Smack that. Smack that. All on the floor. Smack, smack that. that. Give me some more. Smack, smack that. that. Till you get some. Smack, smack that. that. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. She's fraudulent. She's fraudulent. Is that actually this one? I really don't. Uh, dude, I got tons of people reacting to my story. I put posted the story of uh, the fucking podcast. I have four people already on my line. Really? Messaging me. Well, it was like five people messaging Tell me. Tell them the info handle's coming soon. Right. Ajay Vetter. Uh, everybody Ajay just, Vetter. That's everybody it. just got questions. I got questions. All right. I got questions. Yeah, I know. Questions. One to charm me. <laughs> In the afterlife. afterlife. I got a rave, man. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta get back out there. I miss it so much. Is there? I miss it so much. All right, kids. We're gonna close out this segment in five minutes because he says gotta go pick up the squirrel. Squirrel. And you know what? It's been at least three hours, so we hope you've had uh, enough of us. For I feel like they've heard enough of us. Yeah. 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 We'll, uh, we'll get back to you next week, but for you guys. It'll be literally <laughs> all right at once. Right at once. Yeah. Close it off. What do we got? You know where to follow me. I said it a thousand times. Hasted Fitness. Follow me. At Hasted Fitness. Personal account at Hasted. That's the one. Personal account at J Vetter. Listen, women, if you want to be on the podcast, speak your mind. You can <laughs> 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 literally DM me. I'll let you know if you can come on. Girls it's probably that, gonna be yes. It'll be yes. Girls that we do know, don't worry. Get in line. You'll get your chance. That's fine. No problem. <laughs> the most I can give you is just a couple guys here. Just a couple. Couple. Especially his father. What a Papa guy. Terry. Papa Terry. Superstar. Big guy. Su- Big Superstar. guy. Solo Superstar. guy. Other than that, I mean, listen, we'll be here. We'll get you on. Don't come in my DMs with some bullshit. <laughs> I don't want none of that. Listen, I, you said this. You said, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I don't care. Because believe me, I'm going to read it and be like, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Delete. I don't give a fuck. Trust me. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. I don't care. Listen, it's 2020. Women want their equal rights. You got equal rights. Load, load your truck, line. bro. Load your fucking truck. Load your truck. As you, as you do have your standards. Or, sorry, as you do have your equal rights, there's a double standard in life. 
Just because you got your standards doesn't mean you can sit here and be like, I'm a woman. I need to be this. I need to be that. I need to be true. No, fuck all that noise. I'm like, fuck. Just do your shit. I don't give a fuck. Just do it. Certain situations, yes. I understand. No problem completely. I know you guys. I know you guys probably can put two cinder blocks on your shoulders and walk and, you know, like, do, yeah, no, that's not happening. I get that. But when it comes to loading your truck and you know who you are, load your truck. Load your truck. Load the damn truck. It's not a. Lo- it's not a big ask. It's not a big ask. Load, Load the, truck. the truck. That's <laughs> it. Load the truck. That's it. Or just read the paperwork. At least just read the paperwork. Please. <laughs> help out. Just help out. Just show some initiative, please. Please show some initiative. Because otherwise, because I, I don't like you. <laughs> I don't. I don't. But. I don't like you. <laughs> I don't. Just oh, please just figure it out. Figure it out. She'll never see this. It's fine. And and if she said, does, I hope to God she does, but whatever. Final remarks. Fuck, boys. That's it, man. It's it one hell of a ride. Gets all three fucking hours. Sir? Yeah, buddy. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah, you guys got to understand. Yeah. We're about to have a night. Yeah, we're <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to leave you guys here, but we're going to have a night. Yeah. <laughs> Jay's going to have a night. I'm going yeah. to have a night. Um, we'll see where Anda, I would, it, you know, I don't know. But. I'll see you at my house later tonight. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Awesome. And uh, Hasted will definitely be back on. Let us know in the in the comment section, comment if, you, section. if you want him back on but even if you don't want him back yeah on, i'm gonna be back on anyway fuck, so fuck you, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. don't come at me with that fugazi shit i'm gonna <laughs> fuck nah, dog. Nah. only only good comments any negative comments please switch it up take a leave hit next with the left like Ginobili. <laughs> <laughs> damn. damn shut up mo dog or sorry smoke dog moji still moving product moving lava wallahi <laughs> all right <laughs> one one shot to cap it off We'll exit it out. That's it. Okay? Not me. I got to drive. All right. That's all right. Half that's a fine. shot. We'll, we'll do, I'll give you a half one. And we're going to cap it off. That's it. We'll wrap it up. So are you just going to pick up more and then go back to your place? That's good, yeah. buddy. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. So much. Half of that. Thank yeah. You. Like, literally, I'll, get, I'll, I'll get, get home and I'll text you guys and tell you guys where the fuck to come over. Wow. Thank you, Jay. That's ready. Ooh. Ooh. Cheers. Stola. Hey, said, you Stola. have anything to drink? A water? Yeah, you got a water? Yeah, drink, 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 your water. drink your water. Drink your water. I literally have nothing. Okay. Yeah. You're good. Stola. Yeah. All right. Stola. Cheers to that. Jay, it's been a it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Black, it's Black. been a pleasure. Hey, said? White. No it's pleasure. been an absolute pleasure. Catch you later. And we're out. Peace. Let your father know I'm coming to dinner. Yo. That's it. Just let him know. Let him know. And with that, we'll see you guys later. See you later.